I repeat, we interrupt this program to bring you an important emergency broadcast. A large unidentified object has crash landed in the city. It is headed north toward Kasumi Cho, destroying everything in its path. A state of emergency has been declared in Ashitaba City. The neighboring three wards are advised to evacuate immediately. Please defer to the police for further instructions. Be advised that the express lanes are currently out of service. The roads are expected to face heavy congestion. Proceed with caution. situations might call for different weapons. If they're all concentrated in one area, you could use a wide impact armament, like the rocket launchers. What? What? Uh, okay. Rocket launchers? Oh, where's the rocket launcher button? Check your display. The rig is on your shoulders. Focus on them. My shoulders? Is this how I do it? I'll get him! Yes! I'm okay! Yeah! I got him! Fuyusaka-kun, can you 
evacuate. A massive kaiju is approaching from behind. What? Where? <laughs> Fuyusaka-kun. Number 15's taken damage to the rear exhaust system. Right. This again? What is going on? Come on, Juro. Let's go home. Shiba-kun. What's up with you? I just get this weird feeling sometimes. Like something's off. What the? Going to school, living my life. It's like I'm not supposed to be here. You've seen too many movies, man. a bit of a class clown but he's a good friend I always talk to him about action flicks speaking of movies I brought your video back thanks for letting me borrow it already I just lent it to you yesterday you wasted no time can you blame me Giant robots, fights in the city? I was on the edge of my seat. <laughs> you sure love Mecca, don't you, Jiro? Here you go. Let me know if you have any others to recommend. Sure, yeah. You've really turned into a movie buff, huh? <laughs> Do you think it's too much? Well, now that you mention it, I've been seeing the stuff in my dreams, too. Yep, definite movie addiction. You're showing all the signs. Soon enough, you won't know the difference between fiction and reality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I think I've seen a movie about that. Fuyusaka sounds asleep again. School's out for the day. Should I wake her up? Come to think of it, in that movie yesterday, the girl piloting the robot looked awfully familiar. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> it's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I can't help but be a little curious about her. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> and then she shows... I can't help but... She always seems to be sleeping. And then she... Sh I can't help but be... A plans with someone. Let me guess. It's... Nenji-kun, right? Ew, no. I mean, it is a guy, but... Yuri-chan met someone special, too. I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair. Deep breaths, Miwako. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need something? Uh... Not really. So as I was saying... It's... nenji -kun. Ew, no. I mean, By the way, it is a guy, I but... saw that one video up for rent. Oh, the one you told me about the other day? Really? Yep, gonna rent it. I've got to. Oh, crap. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. <sighs> it's always something, isn't it? Guess I'll wait here. Wonder what he's up to. Yuri-chan met someone special too. I'm the only one left. You're all so lucky with boys. It's not fair. Deep breath, Miwako. Hold on a sec, Miwako. Did you need something? Uh. Mm. So as I. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Sakasan, rise and shine. Uh. Huh? Class is already over. Kurabe kun? Um, thanks. You were out cold, huh? Just now, I. I had another weird dream. And you were there. Huh? Me? What kind of dream was it? Well, um... Dude! Huh? This sucks, man. Can't find Amiguchi anywhere. Wait a minute, what's going on here? You two are looking awfully cozy. <laughs> it's not like that. Hmm? Oh yeah? Then what's the problem? <laughs> Don't mind me, carry on. Sorry, Fuyusaka-san. Let's talk about this some other time. <sighs> yeah. I'm going home now. Okay. See you tomorrow. I'm going to. <sighs> Fine. What? This single girl. I know. I shouldn't home. tease you like that. But it's your I'll fault for keeping secrets time. for me. She always seems to be sleeping. <laughs> and then I can't... The new classroom. But the new one's not bad either. I can see the whole schoolyard. Everyone's training hard with their teams. They're really supporting one another. 
Maybe I should join a club too. It's about time for me to go home. But seriously, Amiguchi, we gotta catch that guy and quick. You wanna hang out again that badly? He's got all the good video games. They're just waiting for me to play him. But the sucky thing is, he's never around unless you make plans. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. You know, Amiguchi-kun usually grabs a snack on his way out. Maybe he's still around. Oh, in the cafeteria? That's right! He was there during break, too. Kurabi-kun? Hey, Kurabi-kun? What is it, Sawatari-san? Those papers on the podium... Could you take them to Miss Morimura in the nurse's office? Me? Well, it's your turn this week. Oh, is it? on the podium. Is this it? Y yes, that's right. Please take care of it. to Miss Morimura. Seriously? I'll do what you gotta do. But we're not giving up on Amiguchi, all right? I'm gonna head over to the cafeteria. Grab your bag and meet me there when you can. to come back here just for that. She becomes right every once in a while. I should bring it with me. Excuse me. Hmm. She's not here. What should I do with these papers? Can I just leave them here? Hmm? There's a document with my picture on it. What is this? I'll just take a peek. Juro... Izumi? It's my photo, but... The last name is wrong. I'm Juro Kurabe. <sighs> Symptoms. Psyche stabilized via drug administration. Patient is obedient. General good health. Drugs, huh? Kurabe-kun. I 
think you forgot these. Oh my. You brought them back for me? I was told it was my turn this week. I see. You're a good kid, Kurabe-kun. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Shiba-kun's waiting for me. I should go to the cafeteria. Oh, one more thing. Kurabe-kun, how is your current condition? My condition? You know. Any heart palpitations? Dizziness? Headaches? Are you getting enough sleep at night? Why do you ask? There's a nasty cold going around. At this time of year? That's a bit odd, isn't it? I'll give you some medicine, just in case. No, thank you. I'm fine. Really. I see. If you'll excuse me. Was there something else you needed? Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, he's got all the latest video... Miss Morimura? Have you seen Amiguchi-kun anywhere? Amiguchi-kun... the first year? I just made my rounds, but... I don't believe I ran into him. That's okay. You seem to get along well with Amiguchi-kun. Yeah. I was just thinking of hanging out with him again. It's a bit surprising, honestly. Do you two have something in common? Oh, uh... We just hang out around the TV. Movies, video games, that kind of stuff. Hmm. Now that you mention it, your eyes are a little red. Um, I guess I stared at the screen for too long. <sighs> you need to lead a healthier life. Shall I make a house call this weekend? Huh? I'm fine, really. I'll get my life in order. Well, all right then. Would you like some medicine after all? Uh, no, sorry. What do you need? Uh, well... Would you like some medicine after all? Uh... Was there something else you needed? You're still here? Shiba-kun, what's up? Amiguchi wasn't in the cafeteria. Figured I'd try here. Well, guess that's all we can do. Let's drop by the video store on the way home. Come on! <sighs> Something wrong? He couldn't catch Amiguchi. The video store was a waste of time. This sucks, man. It's true that one video was already rented out. But we didn't come back empty-handed. What, that old-ass kaiju flick? Daimos versus Mecha Daimos. It's a real masterpiece from 74. You and your giant robots. Hey, I got a flyer from the theater the other day. It showed what movies they're playing this month. Guess what was on there? The original Daimos. Do you want to go? Jeez, a hundred times wasn't enough for you? A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what would become a long-running series.
pass on the arcade. It's too shady these days. Why not get a game console? Then you can stay safe at home. My little brother totally tried that argument on our dad. He was like, if you don't buy me one, I'll fall in with the wrong crowd. Miyuki hey, and Alba sure is popular going home? these days. Wrong way, man. Right? I even see her in TV Ugh. commercials. Everyone at school seems to love her. Think she'll be in this year's award show? Come on, Juro. Look. The Sentinel isn't responding. The Aracoon? The activation. You know this guy? I know I did it right. Why won't it start? Miura-kun. Sure, uh, kun What's wrong? Is everything all right? You look awful. Do you feel sick? I'm fine. Your forehead. Did it just light up? Sorry, but... You shouldn't touch it. What the... My hand's lighting up too. No. What's going on? This is bad. Sentinel number 13. Transmitting. Don't tell me. Are you... Forced activation protocol. Well, this'll be interesting. Are you? You leave me no choice. I'm gonna need you to forget about this for now. Shibakun? So yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. Huh? Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly! An uncanny resemblance. Huh? Did she drop this? Student ID. First year, Niori Fuyusaka. Hmm. Might be worth looking into. Over? 
The teacher kept giving you dirty looks. Duh. You slept as a whole class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, I'm Sawatari. And I'm... Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? Miwa Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Nice to meet ya. You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first-name basis. I'm Miwaka. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh... You know, nowhere special. Kinda far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan? Yeah? You and Goto-senpai... Are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um... I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh... The guy I ran into is kind of cute. So, geez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight. Really? Definitely. It was a destined encounter. You two are meant to be. Um, you think so? Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> what is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. Oh. You sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really, it's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but last night, I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me, and then I woke up. Uh... <sighs> Is it lunchtime yet? Still out of it, I see. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um... You're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuno-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't! This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. 
Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Is it your class next door, not Chun? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. Minami-san, there you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I think I know that kitty. It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwa-chan? All the time. Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. Guess that nap did her some good. Where? Where could it be? Oh! I found you! Hi, kitty! What are you doing hiding back here? Huh? Where'd it go? But why? Don't act like you don't know. It's Kurabe-kun, with Amiguchi-kun. We have something here. Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? <sighs> I want to pursue this with you. Please. I don't know. It's just... Huh? Fuyusaka-san? What is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? Don't mind me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> me and this guy? Dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? <laughs> Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. So, what are these dreams? Well, lately, it's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. 
Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? Anyway, I'm just saying. Whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually... I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Cause I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. Let's go, Fuyusaka-san.
the defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D-forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. confirmed. This area is now protected. Are your sentinels still operational? Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Who's there? Are you fighting? You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are now. I believe that's sentinel number 12, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okinokun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. He cut off his comms. I found his Sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. <sighs> we made it. Looks like they're starting to panic down there. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. Here we go, son. Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama-kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. But you're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? 
But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I... I... <sighs> I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. But that's... No, you're probably just confused, that's all. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. You're kind of a simple guy. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying... I'm gonna miss you. But my key just finished decrypting. <gasps> so, that's it. This is goodbye. <clears throat> Kiriko-san? She vanished? That's impossible. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. Where did Kiriko-san go? Oh, someone's coming. Oh, he's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But... If he's working with her, then... He might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Give it up. There's nowhere to run. Doji. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing, then. His real name is Tsukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. Don't joke about that! You're just trying to confuse me! Okay. 
This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Answer me, or I'll do more than laugh at you. I'm going to time travel to another era. Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality, not some penny dreadful. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. Escaped from here into the future. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well... So you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right. Your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Starting to think he ain't gonna show. He knows you'd beat his ass watching him, son. Probably shitting his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? Noodles stir fried in sauce and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pawn. Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my friggin' arm out of its socket. You wanna apologize? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry? Sorry, don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. So, I don't have money, if that's what you're after. Wait, Wajima-san, I heard about him. People been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Wait, yeah. This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Take care. Walk away! Come on! My yakisoba pot! I didn't even get a single bite! You just made a big mistake, punk. You got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. You heard him, boys. Sick him! Stop! We're sorry! Look, we'll get you another snack, man! I've got no mercy for people who waste food. Especially Yakisoba Pon. What the hell happened? I thought you called me up for a fight, Wajima. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? 
I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. Wait, it's you. You're that jacket snatcher. Uh, Hijiyama or something. Takatoshi Hijiyama. At your service. I told them I didn't need the help. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. Come at me. Well, you're gonna regret it. This. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here I figured I'd have to check up on you. What? I know that voice. And that face. Wait! Oh no. I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. Out of my way, damn it! Looks like it's almost dawn. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. You found me. Kiriko-san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I... I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so... Got some breakfast for you, too. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year, thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yucky soba pond. You didn't get any yesterday, right? You got yucky soba pond for me? Hey, look, that, that's not the point. Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no, what'll you do? Push me over? Pin me down? I would never! Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? Uh... Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl? Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. She's serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... Is 
Is she serious? She says she built this. So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Uh, oh. You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> Let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident, and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh... Then who or what was it made to fight? Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book, you know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids, and Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof. You're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over, then you can ask me to do whatever you want. How's that sound? Anything I want? No, I... What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? Oh, right. Your yakisoba pawns on the desk inside. <sighs> wow, was that your stomach? You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. can't trick me with food. I'm not an animal. Stop being stubborn and go get some breakfast. You can't trick me with food. Stop being... Fried in sauce, and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pawn. Where'd he go now? Maybe he really was just manipulating me. 
Well, it is Yaki Soba Pan. Not much I could do. If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. But what's he trying to accomplish there? Well, as long as I've got it. <clears throat> so good. The sauce is so sweet, yet so spicy. Mm. I'd hit the spot. For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school.
practice rounds over. Take this! How's that? Try again. More enemies? Is there no end to them? Looks like I made it in time. I'm going to activate Aegis before they overwhelm us. You're that guy from before! What are you scheming? I won't allow it! Wait, Hijiyama-kun. Let him handle this. Are you sure? He's about to do something to the saucer! It's all part of the plan. Besides, there's something I want us to try. <sighs> Fine. I trust you. The terminal has a few defense mechanisms in place. Now that we've got access to them, you should be able to command them yourself. Let the terminal attack the kaiju directly. We can make the saucer itself attack them? Let's give this one a shot. This phase plasma EMP. destroyed themselves like magic if we had that kind of weaponry you should have told me why bother with the sentinels when we have this it takes time to activate and if we get taken out before it's ready then it's all over it means the terminal would be fully locked down nobody could ever open it again is that a bad thing this is Renya Goto you were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Sentinels are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many Sentinels are online now? So we made it through.
Minami-san. Nachan. What are you guys talking about so seriously over here? N nothing really. Just talking about what our dreams were last night. Oh, yeah. That video you asked for the other day. I was just about to bring it to you. No way! Yes! This is it! Thanks a bunch! I was super bummed, you know. I couldn't record last week's UFO mysteries. That baseball game was going on for freaking ever. A special series airing on TV. All about the latest UFO discoveries. I'm so glad I got a recording of it. I haven't watched the video you lent me yesterday yet. Come on! You gotta watch EXT! It's a classic. I saw it in the theater three times at least. You can't talk about aliens without seeing that movie. I don't really intend on talking about aliens anyway. Thanks for recording this. No problem. An alien stranded on Earth establishes a bond with a young boy in this sci-fi movie. It's a real 1982 classic. Bet you're thinking, here she goes about those UFOs again. <laughs> no, not at all. Bet you're thinking, here she goes. No, no. You'd be the same if you watched this. They're already here on Earth, you know. Yeah, they look like octopuses and want to destroy us all, right? No, no, no. You've got it all wrong. That's from a book. You're thinking of the War of the Worlds. <laughs> oh, not John. There's no stopping you once you get going on this stuff. Just watch. One of these days, I'll work for NASA. And I'm gonna find a real alien. You're gonna have to get better grades in science, then. Oh, man. You're right. I'll get this back to you soon. Take your time. See you guys. Bye. See you later. Fuyasaka-san, hmm. we have to go to the audio-visual room. <laughs> oh, that's so right. stoked! Everyone's already there. Gonna pop I in my headphones, my turn off all the lights... Yuki-chan! A classic sci-fi novel by that one famous writer. It features Martians that look like octopuses. They have three-legged weapons called tripods and use them to invade the Earth. Huh. You still haven't gotten your new uniform yet? Oh. Yeah, who the hell knows? But never mind that. What are you smiling about? Something good on that videotape? Oh, this? <laughs> Okay, okay. It's a recording of a TV show on UFOs. A friend let me borrow it. <laughs> that explains it. Glad to see Dr. Space is still alive and well. I'm weird, aren't I? Of course not. It makes me happy, actually. To know you're still my notch on. <laughs> but maybe don't call me Dr. Space anymore? We've outgrown our kid nicknames, don't you think? <laughs> Whatever you say. Well, if it isn't Takamiya. Oh, Gata. So that Kuri gang you beat up, they're hanging around our school now. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> what are you, my mom? Huh? I'm no damsel in distress. I can take care of my own shit. So beat it, pinhead. What did you say to me? Okay, chill out, Ogata-kun. You don't need to start a fight in the middle of the hallway. I didn't start anything. 
She's the one walking around here like she owns the place. Come on, you too, Yuki-chan. <sighs> Fine. Sorry, Nachan. <laughs> what the? Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Don't worry. That stuff happens all the time to me. Oh, by the way, can I come watch you practice again today? Sure. There's the bell. Better get back to class. See you soon. <laughs> Get a better time today? Oh. Well, it was kinda windy today. Running against it and all, you know how it is. <laughs> hey, first year! What's up, senpai? Me and the manager have to go and talk to the teacher. There's things to discuss about the next meet. Sorry, but could you handle the cleanup today? Okay. Huh? Where did everybody go? Am I the only one still here? Mm -hmm. Another suspicious looking man. I saw a couple of them in the schoolyard too. I wonder what they're doing here. Seems like they're looking for something. Hmm. Men dressed in black suits. <gasps> Wait a minute! Could they really be... men in black? An organization that monitors alien activity. Maybe... there's a UFO that's landed near here. A lone alien left behind by a UFO. Being pursued by relentless men in black. Its only hope is to be rescued by one chosen Earthling. Man, what a story that would be. Whoa! Sheesh, watch where you're going. Haven't seen that uniform before. Wonder what school he goes to. Secret agents rumored to deal in the extraordinary and silencing those who witness UFOs. They call them men in black. No one really knows much else. <sighs> I'd better hurry and get on with the cleanup. Don't want Senpai to get mad. Okay, let's do this. done.
Uh, I'm too tired to change. Maybe I'll just go home in my gym clothes. Uh, I am pretty sweaty. room I heard you scream I was just coming to help plus all those creeps in black suits been seeing them everywhere so I thought you're the only creep around here you moron get out of here already damn try to do something nice around here um hey there to capture this alien. The thing they were looking for. This explains it. And that means... I must protect him. Welcome to Earth. I can't believe this is really happening. My dream is finally coming true. Is that your name? My name is Natsuno. In our Lassiter code matched. Hmm? Huh? Natsuno. Yeah! That's me! His name is BJ. His mission was to protect Earth from other evil aliens. I don't mean to be rude, but... Is that a spacesuit you're wearing? Like, is your brain inside of a jar or something? Not to know. Need memory cell. That's amazing, BJ. Where'd you learn how to speak my language? Go to gate. Gate? I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. But it's okay. I've seen the movie. You need to call your home planet, right? And then, a UFO is going to come and rescue you. Don't worry. I'm going to help you. Search gate. Wow. This technology is crazy. You want to go there? I know exactly where that is. It's a shrine near school. 
Whoa, wait. You can't just go walking out like that. The black suits would spot you in a second. The location BJ pointed out on the map. It's a shrine nearby the school. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. <sighs> I can't leave with him exposed like that. I can get him there, but I'll have to hide him in something. out by the school. It can fit more than it looks. Hmm. Maybe he can fit in here too. Sorry about the tight fit. Nuh uh. You gotta keep your head down. I'll get you to where you need to go. Just hang tight, okay? <sighs> okay, it doesn't seem like we were followed. This is it, Toki Saka Shrine. This place has been here forever. A pretty good hiding place too, now that I think about it. I mean, who would have thought somewhere like this was really a hub of extraterrestrial alien activity? Here, BJ. Whoa! What is all this? So bright. Are these holograms? Access code approved. I've never seen anything like this, except in the freaking movies. Designating sector. Wow! This is awesome, BJ! Oh man, you're really gonna... pretty crazy even by dream standards one second we're at the shrine then we're surrounded by this weird light and now we're in this place what the heck happened to this city it looks like there was a war ah, there's more the government has released a statement at 5.40 p.m. Japan time. Communications with major cities around the world have not yet been restored. It is likely that these cities have also come under attack by the same unknown enemy that has besieged Japan. Domestically, multiple locales are reporting serious damages. 
Currently, the unknown enemy has made landfall, swarming a large area across the bay. They are now thought to be headed in the direction of Kasumicho in Sakura Ward. That was news footage. Wait, no. That's near our school. Is this... Are we in my town? I need to know more. It's hard to see here, but we have to understand. What can only be described as monsters have descended upon our town. It's quite difficult to comprehend. I see five, six, seven, no. There's more every time I look. What are they? Some say we are finally witnessing a takeover of aliens from space. Could this really be the end of humanity? Will our species not live to see past 2064? They're nearly upon us. To all of you watching, good luck. 2064? We're in the future? 80 years to be exact. This can't be real. Can it? Hey, where are you going? used by aliens to invade Earth. And now they're destroying my home. Is this really happening? Was Earth really attacked by aliens? Do they want to destroy humanity? BJ, why? Why did we come here? Search. Memory cell. Yeah, I know, but what is that? Looking for this? Sentinel. Sentinel number 17. Natsuno-san, you're a natural. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our sentinels were designed chiefly for long-range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long-distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. So if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering rams for both arms in case of close quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. Okay. Got it. Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. 
Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Miracle, they're coming. What do we do? Should we shoot? Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us, but we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Mirakun, I'm... I'm kind of shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Look, Mirakun! They're coming at us in one straight line! <sighs> I'm in the perfect position. I won't back down. They don't stand a chance. Take that! Enemy signal terminated. That was awesome! You got them all in one shot! That electromagnetic ground has the power of a salvo from 46 centimeter battleship mounted cannons. But a weapon that powerful comes with high energy costs and high risks to match. If you don't use it carefully, you might end up out of power at the worst possible moment. Uh, Roger that. What to do?
my shot. This is usually a good shortcut, but it is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. Hmm. What's up? You look bummed. It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again. Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megami. 
People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megami. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online like me. It could really help you come out of your shell. I think I'll pass. <laughs> You really are great at singing, Tommy. You watched my Inaba Rabbit video? Mm hmm I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. Hmm? What is it? Did you see that? There was a light. I saw it in the water. Probably just a car headlight. Report this to the police. Uh, right. <gasps> Something's happening. Get out of there. Right? Where am I? No. When am I? When? Well, today is October. No. The year. What year is it right now? Oh, it's 2024. 2024. I must have been forcefully shifted here. The front line's been broken. <sighs> it's over. It's all over. Um... Should I call an ambulance? Uh, who are you? Oh, um... I'm just from the school nearby. No. Then that means... This place is next. I'm Juro Izumi, and I've come from the future. This timeline... they're coming.
A cat? Oh, it looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. Are you all right? You look a little lost. I was just thinking. In 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. still fight. I have to go. N no you can't. They won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself. It's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all, but I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? Uh, I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh, Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. <sighs> right. Megami, tell me. I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yakushiji-san? <gasps> I need you to stay focused. Miss Morimura, how is Juro doing? You must forget about Juro Izumi. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. <gasps> From now on, you cannot go near him. But... It's for his own good. No, wait! <gasps> Juro! Huh? This is the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. I'm sure he would agree. It had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me. You're doing this for him. Not a kitty. B what? All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are gonna start to think you're crazy. That cat just talked to me. I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. That's stupid. 
cat can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you know my name? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <laughs> Looks like I hit a nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, I don't go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. Assuming this isn't a dream, or a hallucination, or some kind of cruel joke, what exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world, one that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. It is called the Dimos Code. Oh. It spreads like a nasty curse. ...and has begun to infect this world, too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. And the no big deal, Jarby, you get to do. If it's so easy, why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. You're only damning yourself if you refuse. A contract with a cat? Are you gonna turn me into a magical girl or something? Well... I am curious to see what this is all really about. And more importantly, who's behind it. I can come play with you for a bit after school, okay? Just cause you're so cute. Sure, make fun. Just the fate of the world that's at stake. There's nothing impossible about it. <sighs> Alright, I'll give you some time to think about it. I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical. Instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears. Make no mistake. You will accept my contract. It's just a matter of time. Uh. If it really is true, and there is a way to bring back Juro, then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to. I have to apologize. 
If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be... Look, there's only one thing I want an apology for. I got that switch because you shot me, right? Because, like, did you have to put it on my back? I'm gonna give myself a cramp swiping that thing. But you gotta fall back, Megumi. Your sentinel's at its limit. I'll handle this. No, Tommy. We'll fight together. Come on, dork. What's the point of fighting together if it gets you killed? You gonna be dumb? Or are you gonna listen to your best friend? Yeah, you're right. Sentinel number 23, return. Wait a sec. I get it now. This thing's the cockpit of my Sentinel. You charged out first all thumping your chest and it took you this long to get here? The train stopped. I got kind of lost in the crowd. But I got this now, Kizaragi. You can hang back where it's safer, okay? I just got here, you moron. I'm not going anywhere. Fine, whatever. Just tell me which of these bozos I gotta trash. The one with four legs, right in front of you. Tomi's Sentinel won't be much good against it. But your first-generation Sentinel is perfect for close combat. survive. 
23. Moving. We must win. We will not lose. We must win. Return. I need to think things through. I can do this. This is all pretty freaky.
like any other punks. Sentinel number 10, defensive mode active. This could get up within enemy threat range. Secure. Hey, he's that second year. Renya Goto. He's from the future. And further into the future than me. Megumi, when we're done with all this fighting, we should go get some crepes. I know a great little place near school. Yeah, wouldn't miss it for the world. Yakushiji, prepare to intercept. The D forces have changed course. That's the gang from Curry High. What's going on there? Don't talk. Hey, Wajima. Trying to get a date? Amiguchi. Got nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Threatening a girl? Not a good look, man. You think these chumps are a threat to me? Really? Just another pack of posers. What? You gotta call in your punk friends to take me on? He ain't with us. Otherwise known as Tack of Curry High. One of the top dogs in the gang at Niga Curry Industrial School. You stay out of this. Sorry, but you know I'm always on the lady's side. You think she's gonna fall for that shit? That's Takamiya from Suzu High. Wait, the gang leader? The one who beat all you guys up? <laughs> no way! I only trashed three of these clowns. Now it's payback time. Can't let some chick get away with disrespecting us. We got a reputation. How you doing? The name's Amiguchi. Back off, lover boy. Still running that mouth. Now come on. Bad move. Hey, cut that out. Last time I'm gonna say it, Amiguchi. Walk away. <laughs> Did you seriously just. News flash, buddy. I can't walk away from a cutie in trouble. Amiguchi! Time to go. Follow me. Hey, you gonna be. 
be okay after that? What do you mean? Wajima, man. You know that guy's an amateur boxer, right? My days are numbered, huh? Well, do I get a last wish, Takamiya-san? Because I gotta say, I'd love to know your first name. Uh, does this guy hear himself? What? Sorry, you're gonna have to speak up. It's Yuki. Yuki Takamiya. I'm Shu Emiguchi from Sakura. Huh? What's up? That's where I'm transferring to. You're kidding! Well, hey, that means it's gotta be destiny. You wanna go get a drink somewhere? I'm good. You can just let me off. I got places to be. Well, I'll drive you. I'll take the train. Really, it's fine. Where am I headed? Take a hint, man. The crosswalk in front of the Shikishima building in Aoi. I know it. Gogyo Street, right? Big commercial district. What, you get a part-time job? Look, you want to make this an interrogation. I'm getting off. Ah. Oh. Okay, you win. I'll save the questions for later. Just hang on tight. We're going full throttle. Thanks for the ride, I guess. But your driving sucks, man. Hey, uh... You got a boyfriend? Oh, uh, hell no! Oh. Cool. When do you start school? I'm transferring next week. Can't wait. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. This is Ms. Morimura. And this is the Shikishima building. Shikishima Industries. They're the ones who make ships and planes, right? What's our school nurse doing in there? I guess that's it for the Type 98 bipeds. Turned out to be pretty useless in close combat. Wish I'd had some arms. Maybe then we'd stand a chance. Yeah, a big metal weaponized punching arm. Would've been great. Hopefully Kisaragi-san and the others managed to escape. As long as they got to the shifter gate, they should be okay. You realize how far we are from that gate. Too far for us to make it. Don't give up yet. Can you check that 98 over there? Pop the maintenance hatch. We're not out of options yet. 
You really think there's a point in fighting anymore? Not fighting. Escaping. <sighs> right. It was through shifting that we got the 98s into this era. So it could be linked to a shifter. It might just get us out of here. I've already input the shift coordinates. You disengage the auto control and switch to manual. Where are you going? We're going to need more power if we want to jump. I'll see if we can get it out of the downed 98. A direct feed, huh? Looks okay. Basically everything's operational aside from the legs. Again. That's definitely not how she usually looks. But I know that was Ms. Morimura. Huh. A giant mecha, a ruined city, and a gorgeous teacher in a cat suit. Jeez, like a kid who's been watching too much anime. <sighs> but man, I still remember how the ground felt under my feet. That felt way too real. Did I leave the TV on? Kinda late for a music show. I feel like I recognize those lyrics, too. Oh, she's that new idol. Been getting big lately. How'd it turn itself back on? broken finally I finally found you now it's a drama late night TV gets weird I've been looking for you for so long please help me Shu Amiguchi <gasps> you're the only one I can turn to Shukun what the heck? Is this a hidden camera thing? No. This is no TV show. Shukun, I'm talking to you through the TV. Please, save me. you on all sides here I don't take orders from you I gotta fight not John wait something's coming up it's a sentinel number 22 number 22 advancing two aerial models which means Amiguchi and Takamiya I presume uh, it's just Goto we're going to have the terminal defend itself I'll need your help screw you buddy do it yourself if I don't find Nachan fast. There, I finally got through. Yuki-chan, it's me. Nachan, I'm glad. 
glad you're safe. Wait, you got in? I thought I told you that thing was dangerous. Just hold on. I'm on my way. What? No! No, you stay back where it's safe. We got buttloads of kaiju over here. Damn it. Goto, we gotta do something. Now. Glad to hear you're feeling so cooperative. I see things in the air. Are those enemies too? I've confirmed their position. Those are aerial daimos called hunters. Great. We got flyers now? They specialize in aerial mobility, much like our fourth generation sentinels. Melee attacks won't reach them. We can't rely on ground-based missiles either. Kinda short on anti-air options here. Amiguchi-kun, just collect the metachips. They can expand our mech's functions and unlock new weapons. How about you guys handle this tech stuff, and I just kick the shit out of them? Good boy. We all better watch out for her. Hope I can pull my weight. Okay. 
What's the plan? No way out. Where'd he go? Wait! You must know who I am, don't you? That's why you've been following me. Of course I do. You can't escape us, eh, Sekigahara? Sekigahara? What do you want from me? Tell me! I guess you have a death wish. Wait! It's because... you came from another dimension. Another dimension? Enough with the games. Tell me the truth. Resistance is futile. Surrender now, or else. If you won't answer my questions, then talking to you is what's futile. Another dimension. Could that really be true? Even if it is, there's no way I'd be able to tell. My memories, they're gone. Phaser. I should have two or three shots left if I can serve power. This gun does feel a bit out of the ordinary. Could it really be from another dimension? Hey, Seki Gahara. It's no use. I can't remember anything. But that's what he called me. It has to mean something. Good. He's still alive. 
I made sure to set it to stun, not kill. Just who are these guys? something on him that'll give me a clue. Just a pair of handcuffs in his pocket. And... some old communication device? It's huge. All he has left on him is his wallet. You won't mind if I borrow these, will you? Nothing in here but cash. Might as well put it to good use. I haven't eaten a thing in two days, after all. Hang on. This is strange. The designs on these bills look completely different. There's even a 500 yen bill. Aren't those out of print? And these coins are from back in the Showa era. As long as it's set to stun, it won't kill anybody. But it's strange. Why do I know how to use this? A. Sekigahara. That name doesn't sound familiar. But it apparently belongs to me. I'd better not use this here. Its range looks to be only one or two kilometers. That means his little friends can't be too far. If I mess with it now, they'll know I'm nearby. An outdated transceiver for communication purposes. It has a very limited range. Public transit is too risky. It's likely under surveillance. It might be safest to travel along the river. But before that, I should really get something to eat. Two days ago, I woke up in that alley. My memory's gone. Since then, I've been on the run non-stop. carrying a weapon. Hey, miss. Are you okay? <sighs> she isn't breathing. I wonder... what happened here? That's no use. I still can't remember anything. Did this? Looks like she's bleeding from the abdomen. Based on this evidence, the gun appears to be the most likely cause of death. Is it possible this woman and I know each other? All I know is I woke up next to her with a gun in my hand. Was I the one who killed her? This is where I woke up. Did I miss anything? Pills? It's highly likely these belong to me. All right. I should see if that woman has anything useful on her. It might serve as a clue to what happened here. Oral NM C0204 is printed on the label. The bottle's made of plastic. There's nothing inside. something in her skirt pocket. A piece of paper with numbers written on it. Are there any other clues around here? The note says, 
443-685-3214. What could it mean? A password of some sort? She has nothing else on her. There's nothing else here. Oh, I haven't checked my own pockets yet. Let's see. An ID card. A student ID, to be specific. And... a key. But to what? This appears to be someone else's student ID. Sakura High School, Class 1B. Iori Fuyusaka. Fuyusaka... Her face does look familiar, but I can't remember how I know her. It's uncanny, though. Almost like she's important to me, in one way or another. There's an emblem on it. Maybe it's a car key? It's a student ID from Sakura High School. It appears to belong to a female student. Iori Fuyusaka, Class 1B. Someone dropped an envelope here. Could it have something to do with that woman? Whatever's inside seems to have stayed dry. There's nothing written on the envelope. Some documents are inside. There's a note and what looks like a personnel file inside. Chihiro Morimura. Occupation, teacher. There are instructions written on the note. If capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. A key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. Chihiro Morimura, a key member of Shiki... Chihiro Morimura. There's no doubt about it. That's who this woman is. Well, was. This is the place. Let's see what we can find. Someone's coming. I won't be able to talk my way out of this one. I need to get out of here before they see me. Check down this back alley, too. Oh, they've got me surrounded. I need to hide. What a mess. Where'd that boy run off to? He has a gun. We'd best proceed with caution. We're authorized to use deadly force if necessary. Yes. We need to clean this up quickly. If he gets away again, we're in deep shit. Let's contact HQ and tell them we're on it. I'll leave that to you. We'll monitor public transits. He can't have gone far. Sounds like I'm the one they're after. And that means... I must be their culprit. Why can't I remember? No time for that now. I can't let myself be captured. At least until I figure this all out for myself. What do I do now? If I don't get my memories back, what'll happen to me? Hey! A fancy leather wallet. There are a few bills and coins inside. No credit cards, though. Chihiro Morimura, 31. Sakura High School nurse. 
a key member of Shikishima's weapon development team. The one I found dead. A note that was included with the files on Morimura. It says, if capture is not possible, then shoot to kill. Did I kill her? Did someone order me to do it? Did you need something? You stick out like a sore thumb in this part of town. Get yourself somewhere with lots of people. I still don't know how they do it, but they're able to track your general location. Wait, who are you? I'm here to return the package I borrowed from you. A package? Yeah, I left it over there. said this belongs to me? Hello. I can't imagine how seeing this must make you feel. Forgive me for the theatrics. I didn't have much choice. I'm sure you've noticed by now. My name is A. Sekigahara. I'm you. If everything went according to plan, then I'm talking to myself, but with no memories. We don't have much time. So I'm only telling you what you need to know. This is not your world. You're a human from another dimension. This place you're in right now, your stay here was intended to be temporary. But there was an accident, a very grave one. And now many people are unable to return home. I, well, you are stuck here as well. But don't give up yet. There's still a way back. Unfortunately, I can't tell you here. You understand now, don't you? If they see this recording, they'll know. So I've hidden the information you need elsewhere. Its location is known only to me. You must find it. And don't get caught. If you do, there'll be no escape. You have to trust me. I only hope you make the right choice. to believe all that still it does line up with what those men in black were saying first things first I need to get out of here if what that girl said is true then I'm not safe here Shinonome, Karabe, Hijiyama, Miura, and myself. 
The rest of you will defend the terminal until Aegis activates. Operation Aegis. We're really doing this, huh? We're short on firepower and time. We'll need every trick, every weapon in our arsenal. Right? Do it? Neutralized. Uh, you're just a machine. 
What's our plan? Target confirmed. A hit! Enemy signal now terminated.
must have taken off already. You are Chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. So many stray cats around here. Maybe <sighs> someone is feeding them. Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? That kitty. Think it's the same one I saw at school? I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right, Yuri-chan? Didn't... After this, you wanted to go to the record store, right? Yes! You must really want that new Idol Group's album. Well, you know the lead vocalist? He looks a bit like amikuchi -kun. So what? Jeez. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Me and love is wonderful. About amikuchi -kun, I heard he's not joining the basketball team. What a shame. He's so good at it. Back in grade school, he played soccer. But one day, he just got bored and quit. You guys knew each other back then? Yeah, in fourth grade. Nachan too. We were in the same class. Now every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. Even just watching from afar. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. It's like your heart's wrapped in a warm blanket. Are you sending your love letter, Miwa-chan? I don't know. My fortune said bad luck this week, so... I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan. Uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. You should get a four-leaf clover, Yuri-chan. Huh? It's a love charm. I saw it in a magazine. If you include it in a love letter to your crush, your wish will come true. Uh-huh. And what was it last week? Put a photo of your crush inside your pillow? when Mori Mora walks in? Mm. How Let's do just I? say, they're not looking at her eyes. She does have a nice figure. And I can sort of understand. As for guys I like, Aww. I think Amiguchi comes here. Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again! I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone is feeding them. That kitty is around here. Maybe someone is feeding them. Splitting a 
this up. Yeah, why don't we all just gang up and beat the crap out of them? No, we need to focus on protection. The kaiju are going to try to burrow underground to attack the terminal. If they get that far, then the sentinels won't be enough to stop them. This is the only way we can stop them. We cannot allow even a single one through. If they manage to get past our defense squad, then our battle really will be over. We need to balance our priority between defense and directly neutralizing the invasion force. Fine. My place is in the offensive line. You guys just hang back and watch me kick their shit in. Your units will have a hard time dealing with aerial enemies. But we can predict the kinds of dimos we'll be seeing in the oncoming waves. We should probably build our offensive team based on what we know they'll be up against.
Yeah. Maybe this shit'll make sense once I actually get to punch something. That should be enough. Even if there's something we forgot, there's no turning back now. Yeah. Let's get going. Nice. Thanks. Much 
life. I guess life comes at you fast.
those creepy looking dimos? They're excavation models. Drill flies, looks like. Those things are already flying. You're telling me they go underground, too? Not great for my mech. I can punch like a truck, but I can't reach the guys in the air. The EMP's what you want there. They'll come crashing down to punching range. <laughs> Pain in the ass, though. Losing the Type 98 tank was a big factor in the design. The first-gen Sentinels went in hard on close-quarters combat. They ended up with a focus on raw power over mobility. They didn't know they'd have to deal with these flyers. Hey, hold on a sec, Amiguchi. How do you know all this crap? Well, uh, funny story. Guess you could say it just came to me in a dream. The hell are you talking about?
shield them. Much obliged. Let's see. No point over making it. Get out of here. Here goes. The practice round. So what do I do? Let's go, Nacho.
That's the operating limit of your Sentinel. You'll feel better once you're out. Piloting the Sentinel is an intensely demanding process. Using it puts massive pressure on your brain. You can't remain deployed for extended periods, or you start getting backlash. Don't overdo it. I'm not responsible if you end up decoupling your brain from your nanomachines. I suggest you get out of the Sentinel right now, unless you want to forget your entire life. Not exactly a user-friendly robot. Let's get out of these, Fuyusaka. Yeah. Let's go. All right. <sighs> Man, I'm really off my game today. All these weird dreams must be getting to me. And that show that came on in the middle of the night. Wish that was just a dream. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. <laughs> Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. Yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. They'd have me committed. Man, she's cute. A bombshell like that sending those curry guys to the hospital? I've never met anyone like her before. I just might have fallen for her. My motorcycle's a Shikishima GRD250. I woke up late this morning, so I came to school by bike. But I've got it parked off in the shopping district. That way the school can't get on my case about it.
Yuki-chan's supposed to be in Class 1A. No sign of her, though. I don't see Karabe-kun. I wanted to talk about my dream. Might be out in the passageway. Oh, it's her. She's in 1B, same Whoa, class hey, as Karabe-kun. She's not even my type, but I can't get her out of my head. Must be from all those dreams. Come on, let's go. Kun might be waiting for me. <sighs> Karabe Kun. Kun might be waiting for me. I should get going. Huh? Isn't that... Hey, Mira-kun. Amiguchi-kun. You still on the run? I can't go home. Even if I could, it wouldn't solve anything. Look, you don't have to tell me any details if you don't want to. But it sounds like a pretty rough situation. Well, for what it's worth... You can crash at my place whenever you need to, okay? I owe you a debt of gratitude for all you've done. I'll be all right. I'm staying with an acquaintance now. Oh, yeah? Glad to hear it, man. So, uh, what is this thing? Uh, well, this is... Don't forget your promise. It talks? Whoa! An RC robot? That's crazy. Is it yours? Not exactly. Wow. Deja vu. Oh, yeah. I feel like I had a dream about something like this. You were in it too, Mira-kun. Maybe that's your big secret, huh? You're some runaway hero from a ruined future, here to save us all. <sighs> My dreams are always somewhere in the future. But I feel like I know everyone I keep seeing in them. Well, maybe I really am just dreaming. Makes more sense of them being premonitions. I don't know if that could really be our future anyway. Everything in them is way too crazy. Even that dream. Was that drone scouting for the kaiju? Hope they didn't find us. Kisaragi-san? There was this great cake shop on the first floor here. And they had this pear tart. It was amazing. And now... Even my own apartment... It's all ruined. 
all gone. Are you gonna be okay? Sorry, just had to get that out. I gotta stay strong. My, my voice is all scratchy from crying all day. You sound good to me. And scratchy or not, I'd still tune in to see you. You're such a dork. Let's try to get to the cross-country road. We might see a rescue copter flying around or something. What, up there? The only things flying around are the weird bug things. Nobody's here to help us. Even online, nothing's getting updated. I think it's like this around the whole world. Those things erased everybody. Like how everyone in the city just vanished at once. I saw it happen. I bet Mom and Dad were... That's the part I don't get. Whatever these big killer alien things are, they've clearly got us way outclassed in tech. They can wipe out whole crowds without a beam or anything. And still, with all that power, they come here in this gigantic horde. They dig these holes all over town, and then... They just stop. No carnage. They're just sitting there. Like they're waiting for something. <sighs> and us. We didn't get killed or vanish or anything. There's gotta be a reason for that, too. How are you still this calm? It's crazy that you can still keep it together, even with all this stuff. I... I'm really not. Trust me, I'm freaking out too. <gasps> Look out! <sighs> you okay? Look, it was just a building collapsing over there. They didn't find us. Yeah. <laughs> what? Huh? Uh... Well... You really changed. Back in middle school, you were a total nerd. Glasses and all. It just makes me wonder... Why do you make such a big change to your image? Uh, oh, uh, well, funny story. I was listening to one of your streams, and... You said you kinda go for tough guys. Cool guys. That's... basically it. What? Oh... That's it? That's why you started trying to be such a badass? I guess I got the look down, but... I couldn't walk the walk, huh? Come on. Seriously, this isn't the time for jokes. You were already popular enough back then. Why would you go that far just because I said... Well, you know fate? As in the letter F and number 8? What? That's... actually my username. What?! All this time that's been you?! Hey, it's not like I was keeping it a secret. <sighs> I only got so far because of him. That's why I started getting serious about my singing. Because he supported me. Told me I was a great singer. Well, you are a great singer. And I, um... I guess I always sort of had feelings for her. Over here! <gasps> I can't believe it. There were other survivors. We came to rescue you. Morimura-san, they're over here! My name is Keitaro Miura. What about you two? I'm Tomi Kisaragi. I'm... So the drone found these two then? Now, who are you? Me? I'm Tetsuya Ida.
Yes. Cool. <sighs> Man, I'm please weird. Yuki chan's. Kisaragi I saw in my dream. Did you say something? Gotta make sure. you actually had a belly I'm sorry what now you're calling me fat what the hell is your problem this dream's probably way way off in the future looked like it was in some kind of lab never figured she'd turn up but that was her Tomi Kisaragi I saw her hanging there. Or half of her at any rate. Maybe it really was just a messed up dream. I already know what Karabe-kun would say. I gotta lay off the splatter flicks. <sighs> Such a skis ball. What's with this guy? Ida. We look identical, but that's not my name, so... It's weird. I keep seeing Kisaragi in my dreams. Except it's not exactly me. My name's Ida there. Just two people struggling to survive. Wonder if they're in love. My motorcycle's a Shikishima... Miyuki Inaba. She's a celebrity. Man, she's cute. Kun might be waiting for me. I should get going. Fuyusaka, you the only one here? Hi, Amiguchi-kun. Karabe-kun's not here, huh? I had this dream. It's bugging me. I kind of wanted to talk about it. How about you, Amiguchi-kun? Yeah, my dreams have been crazy lately, too. Do you see robots, too? No. Well... Okay, sure, yeah, they're kind of like robots. Mm. 
What kind of robots? Well, they were more like androids. I mean, you couldn't tell them apart from human beings. And I'm there in some kind of lab with all these androids? I know that place. I was there too, in my dream. The sixth biggest underground laboratory in Shikishima. Or something. That place is... underground? And I saw Usami-chan there too. Tomi Kisaragi. Yeah, me too. It's gotta be the same place. Begin. Initializing composition. The simulated personality and memories have been synchronized. Please, come back to me. Tommy, do you recognize me? Uh, Ida-kun? His older brother? Hmm. Did he even have a brother? It is you. He looks so grown up. I'm sorry it took so long. It took eight years, even with the technology underground. Hmm? Huh? I I can't move. She's having trouble understanding her situation. I will inhibit her emotions to avoid a panic attack. Uh. Huh? What's happening? Please listen. Try to stay calm. I analyzed your data from the records in Sector Zero. I found data for your old memories, your mind. And now I've transferred them into an android body. You mean I'm... I'm not... human? Am... I... Tamao-san, please turn up the sensitivity on those inhibitors. Kisaragi-san, you're like me now. An AI, based on memory data. You are constructed to think and act just like her. To be Tomi Kisaragi. You're still you. Uh... Let me try to calm her directly. Could you connect us? Do what you can. Please. We've got a problem with the Sentinels, Itakun. The Sentinels we thought were complete aren't responding. The Sentinels are working off of the same code base as the D series. So it has to be the D code control holding them back. If we want to disrupt that function, well, we need someone compatible to maintain direct access. Something wrong? No. Is this a bad time? No, everything's fine now. Really? 
told me? What happened to the real me? Well... Please, be honest. Juro killed you. You and the other kids. And I put him down. Damn it. That dream again. Man, what time is it? No way I'm getting back to sleep after that. So in that dream, my name's Tetsuya Ida. It looks like it takes place in the future. And Fuyusaka's apparently been seeing stuff in the same place. Huh. I've been seeing things through Tetsuya Ida's eyes. But Fuyusaka... Actually, now that I think about it... The Ms. Morimura in my dreams looks pretty familiar. She kind of reminds me of Fuyusaka. talking to his TV. Okay, maybe I'm just going nuts. No, you're not. I'm glad you talked to me. There you are. What is going on? From the sounds of things, this might still take a while. Yuki Inaba. Yuki Inaba. She's a celebrity, a pop star. Who'd believe me? Hey, so I've been talking to this pop star through my TV. Ugh. Yeah, no. No easy way to drop that bomb. They'd have me committed. Are you the real Miyuki Inaba? Or something else, just wearing her face? There's only one Miyuki Inaba in the world. But whether this face is just a mask, it's hard to say. Sometimes a mask is all an idol has. Sometimes it's all they are. I know this is a normal TV set. It doesn't even do video phone stuff. Pretty sure I shouldn't be able to talk to someone through it. You yourself are the transmitter. The TV is just the receiver. 
This is the only way I can communicate with you. I was blocked by universal control. The system denied me access. So I had to sneak in on this broadcast. Kinda over my head, but I guess the point is... You hijacked the airwaves, and that's how we're talking. You could say that. Why me, though? You're the only one I can find. More accurately, your ID is the only one I could locate. But even beyond that, I know I can depend on you. Okay, back up. You said something would take a while. What were you talking about? It will take a while to help you understand. Understand what? Our situation. <gasps> I'm being tracked. I'm cutting the connection for now.
Takatoshi-san. A brand new schoolhouse with all its luxuries. And not a single student attending. They need every able-bodied student at the factories. I know, we're in a state of emergency. Just a shame that it's come to this, I suppose. He's a year above me, but we're the same age. We grew up in the same town together. He was such a mess. Seems like he's shaped up, though. He's found a certain dignity ever since he enlisted. I heard a rumor from the Marines at the port. They say we have no ships left. That it's a hopeless war. I heard a What's wrong, Keitaro? You resent being drafted? No. Just, of all people, why'd they choose me? Don't let your nerves get to you again. You'll get to fight for your country before your peers. That's an honor and a privilege. You don't have to worry anyway. One look at it, and you'll know this war is ours. At what exactly? I can't say too much out here, but... We have a secret weapon. Our own key to victory. You'll see it in the armory soon enough. <laughs> but we're just students. Why do we have access to something so secret? Because... We've been chosen as pilot cadets for that very weapon. But keep it quiet. Maximum level security. Not even your family can know. Understood. A secret weapon powerful enough to win the war. And out of all the potential pilots across Japan, they chose me. What can I do? Will I be any help at all? So what is this new weapon? We've been calling it a Sentinel. A heavily armored craft that requires a pilot to operate. It'll help us gun down the enemy at our shores. So the Americans really are coming for us. We've been forced to abandon many of our posts overseas. At this rate, we'll have to end this on the mainland. Our homeland's future is in the hands of this Sentinel. But they're good hands. A single Sentinel rivals aircraft carriers in terms of power. No, it could outmatch an entire military on its own. Whatever they've got will keep our homeland safe. And one day, we'll take the fight to American soil. <laughs> huh? I didn't think anyone else would come here. I'll see who it is. Tamao-san. So this is where you've been hiding. Takatoshi-san. Goodness, look at you. Such a gentleman now. Hey, Tamao-san. What brings you here? I had to see Keitaro-san off. And when I heard you were back too, I had to come. I wanted to give you this. I made some ohagi for you. Maybe you and Takatoshi-san can share them. Well, I am partial to ohagi. The rations don't give us that much sugar. I'm afraid they won't be very sweet. I'm sure they'll be delicious. Thank you. Is this a friend of yours? Yes, I invited her along. Pardon me, but... Have we met? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. It's fine. You really don't have to introduce me. But he's asking about you, Kiriko-chan. <sighs> I'm... Kiriko-doji, sirs. Uh, I'm... Uh... I'm, uh, Takatoshi Hijiyama. Pleased to meet you. Wait, Doji? Any relation to Professor Heizo Doji? 
I'm his daughter. I hope that doesn't bother you. No, far from it. I just never imagined his daughter would be so... Uh... I've heard about Kiriko-san's father. They say he's a remarkable teacher. Though I didn't realize he was a professor. Professor Doji's here? If he's at the armory, that can only mean... That's enough, Keitaro. His involvement with the new weapon is highly confidential. <sighs> I mean... Damn it. <laughs> oh, don't worry, we won't tell. You're pretty funny. Keitaro-san, do you know where you'll be stationed? He'll be working alongside me. The armory's not too far from here. However, it may be some time until he's back. Tamao-san, you and the Kurabes have been nothing but kind to me. I can only give you my thanks from the bottom of my heart. I'll have to leave my little sister with you, so please take care of her for me. Don't you worry about a thing, Keitaro-san. I'll take good care of Chihiro-chan. And tell her I won't be gone for long. The second I get time off, I'll come visit. Keitaro, it's almost time. They're expecting us. We'd better get going. I'll be back. Do take care, you two. I promise. I'll be back. What was that just now? Some kind of flash. Lightning, maybe. It came from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Chihiro's probably worried about me. Our new top secret military weapon called a Sentinel. I've been selected as a cadet to pilot it. Air raids have plagued several regions for months now. At this rate, the Americans will completely destroy Japan. We have to do something. Kiriko-san disappeared after that incident. And Professor Doji has gone silent ever since. It just doesn't make sense. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you? Uh... Shouldn't you be wearing pants? Huh? Maybe wearing gym clothes wasn't the best idea. I don't know why you're here, but... It's dangerous to be out this late on your own. Allow me to escort you home. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. I'm stationed at the armory nearby. But I'm off duty now, so I was on my way home. So, uh, what's your name? Natsuno. Um, Natsuno Minami. Which way to your place, Natsuno-san? Good question. Kind of a complicated answer, though. Wait. What's that sound? What's 
going on? An air raid. They're trying to bomb the factory. But that's near where the Karabes live. Stay here. It should be safe at this distance. But what about you? I have to go help. Wait! Follow him. What? Seriously? Do I have to? Ugh. Fine, whatever. If everything goes wrong, it's totally your fault. Chihiro! Hot, hot, hot! Hey, hold on a sec! Why did you follow me? I don't know. <sighs> Fine, but just stay there. It's clear here, but the flames are stronger up ahead. You're not going in, are you? I have to. That house up ahead is where my sister's staying. How could they attack civilians like this? There's a munitions factory in Higuramocho. If they just level the entire neighborhood, they can't miss. But that's... <coughs> this is horrible. <coughs> this can't be happening. It's completely gone. It must have been a direct hit. Chihiro! Tomo-san! This belongs to Chihiro. Chihiro! Tomo-san! Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard, but she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth, not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. Tamao-san. Right here. <sighs> Kitaro-san. Tamao-san. It's all gone. I know. But you're alive, and that's what matters. We ran to the shelters as soon as we heard the sirens. But Chihiro-chan ran off alone. She said she was going back to the house. Because you were coming home. Was there to see you? You'd be really sad. Chihiro. <gasps> so they're all safe and sound, huh? Uh, Natsuno-san. <laughs> Everything on that side of the Kaede River is on fire. Looks like it's headed toward Kamazumi next. Big Brother! Why are they showing up in this era? I've always heard the U.S. had an industrial advantage over us. That thing has to be one of their weapons. They've finally come for our homeland. And if we don't stop them... Uh. Tamao-san, 
Please take care of Chihiro. Big brother! Stay with her and do as you're told. Understand? Tamao-san. Can I ask you to look after Natsuno-san too? Huh? What about you? I'm going back to the armory. You stay with Tamao-san. She'll keep you safe. Now go. I'll show them that Japan can still fight. This is the day I've been training for. Against the Sentinel, they don't stand a chance. You hear all that? Natsuno! I know. I'm on it. Must have taken off already. Af Maybe, but come on. Have you seen all that? Let's just say they're not. You watch. You saw me. Every. About. That's me. Are you? Love is. Me. Romance aside, I'm still hungry. Let's get more treats. Where should we go? Let's get sweets. It's a hot day today. Why don't we get soft serve? Nah. I'd rather have crepes. Let's let Yori-chan decide. The soft serve place just got new flavor in. I wonder what it tastes like. Don't you want to try it, Yori-chan? Which one do you want? Crepes? Soft serve? Oh, I can smell the crepes now. Freshly made. I agree with Usami-chan. Crepes sound good right now. Then that's that! Let's go! Get your usual chocolate banana, right? Double strawberry was half off. I have to try it. Yum. Let's see. How is it? Mmm. So many strawberries. Crispy edges. Lots of cream.
you know? What if I got the tuna in mayo? I could have fed it to the cat. Hey! Cats can't have crepes. I actually have cat treats with me. If you want to feed him, give him those. So you're the one who's been feeding them? Jeez, Miwako. Next time I see one. Thanks, Miwa chan. I'd love to go back to that one place. Their stuff <gasps> is pretty good. Aww. Did you see that, Usami chan? It was that kitty again. I don't see it. Must have taken off already. So many stray cats around here. Maybe someone's feeding them. After this. Miwa chan. You should do it. Send your love letter. Huh? But it said my luck for this week is bad. I see. Confessions take a lot of courage, huh? Yuri-chan. Uh, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me. Let's see. Now, where were we? That guy's shallower than a cookie pan. Romance aside, Where should we go? I'd love to go back to that one place. Their stuff was pretty good. At this point, we've hit up most restaurants in town. Let's get sweets. I need it. The soft serve place soft just serve. got a new flavor in. We've had crepes a lot lately. So, I agree with Miwa-chan. Yeah, okay. All right, let's go! Sweet. You know what my lucky item is this week? Soft serve ice cream! <laughs> Guess things are looking up for you then. They really are! <laughs> I can tell! I'd love to go back to that one place. Stuff was pretty good. Um, do you think we'll put on weight? Mm, we did just eat a lot of sugar. Yori, are you on a diet? Is that crush getting to your head? 
Don't tell me. You two are taking things to the next level? It's not like that. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Being in love is wonderful, Sami-chan. Even Miwa-chan. Yeah, I'll pass. Man, all the guys at school suck. There's not even one you might like? Sami-chan, even just watching from afar. <sighs> Did you see that, Usami-chan? It was that kitty again. Must have taken off. Must. So many stray cats around After here. This. Admirers. Even just watching from afar. It's like your heart back in our world. Don't forget, you got your lucky item today. Yeah, just tell him. Oh, stop. It's so embarrassing. Watching from afar is good enough. But I do envy you, Iori chan. You talk to Amiguchi kun like it's no big deal. You two are chatting on lunch break, right? In the passageway? What about? Well, uh... Dreams? Let's see... Now, where were we? Hmm... Amiguchi-kun and Kurabe-kun's dreams... They sounded a lot like mine. I wanted to talk to them about it. Maybe we're all connected. Karabikun! <gasps> Oh, Fuyasaka-san. What brings you here? You weren't at your desk, so... I thought I'd check outside. Are you waiting for Amiguchi-kun? Well, trying to. More dream talk? I'm sure that's what he'd want to do. But <laughs> I just want to play games. I thought I'd ask to hang out at his place. You know, I've been thinking. I know we just met here at school, but... Doesn't feel like it's for the first time. <laughs> Have we... met somewhere before? A long time ago? Um, I don't think so. Oh. Fuyusaka's here too. Amiguchi-kun. Did you have another dream? You guessed it. It was crazy, man. I was in this tank thing with legs, walking around, beating up monsters. Were you watching some sci-fi B-movie before bed? So you've been having dreams like that all this time? Oh yeah, especially lately. You too, right, Karabe-kun? Mine was about a UFO. I went back in time using the UFO's transmitter. I have dreams like that all the time. But in my case, I think I'm too easily influenced by movies and stuff. Why did you come here anyway? Don't tell me you're interested in our dreams. About that, the truth is, I've been having weird dreams too. It seems like they might be related, so I thought I should talk to you guys about it. Oh yeah? What kind of dreams? I think that was...
was you in my dream, Amiguchi-kun. The riverbank looks so empty. There's no Century Tower. This must be before it was built. I went back 16 years. Looks like I'm the only one who made it. Were Jiro and Okinokun unable to escape? This must be around the time I was born. And I'm all alone. What am I supposed to do? sent here by the future you to the year 2089 the future me she asked me to find you on Sumire bridge 16 years prior and tell you about our battles we'll defeat them this time for sure it's getting noisy I don't want to get caught let's get out of here what about that thing are you just going to leave it here? Don't have much choice. Gonna need it eventually. I'll worry about it later. For now, though, I think it's best you come with me. restaurants in town. Think it's the same one I saw at school? 
I don't know. A lot of cats look like that. You saw it too, right? You after this. There's not even one. Cookie pan. You've got a strange taste in men, Miwako. Man, all the guys. <sighs> Maybe, but come on. Have you you seen how the guys react when Mori Moro walks? Let's just say <gasps> they're not looking at her eyes. She, she does have a nice stick. Hmm. How do I? As for guys I like, now's the time. I'll use sure. Miwachan's treats. How the guys react when Mori Moro hmm. walks in? Probably. They're not hey. looking at her eyes. Hey! Miwa chan! Over here! Oh, one moment. I'll get the treats. He ate the whole thing! And they're very similar, but I think the one at school looks slightly different. So there's more than one. You got a good look at the one at school, huh? At the front gate with Karabe? Oh, you saw that? Oh! That guy's kind of weird, don't you think? What were you talking to him about? It was... to it oh kitty early cat gets the mouse huh oh he's sleeping good morning for yasaka san Just like a stray I've seen by my house. Maybe they're siblings. You would Usami? Strange. <laughs> Kurabe kun. Do you still have those dreams? Yeah, sometimes. I have them too. You know that one you talked about earlier? With the UFO buried underground? UFO? Iori! Morning! Usami-chan! Good morning! What were you guys up to over there? Oh, um, just looking at a cat. Talk a little more. Uh, okay. Megumi? Oh. worried with you all by yourself if something were to happen to you I drill stop <sighs> I'm flattered you feel that way 
But I can't think about this. Not now. I don't want to leave you hanging. No, I get it. I don't know what got into me. This is no time for a confession. It would only make things more complicated. But, listen. When this is all over, I'll talk to you again. Promise. There it is again. Were you able to find the source of these tremors? Okino-kun. Remember the kaiju that were immobilized? They're starting to collapse. The tunnel is blocked. We'll need to find another route to the surface. There's no use rushing. No one's left up there anyway. You don't have to say it. So you remember. I'm so sorry. About your mother. It's okay. Our work here is a good distraction. I'll check the terminal over there. I didn't mean any harm, Morimura-san. Don't worry about it. This one block of data is still being analyzed. It's been three days and it's only at 1.2%. That's unusually dense. Still, the system's logical structure... It's not so far off from our own. Was Okino-kun right all along? This could be a relic of an ancient civilization. I wonder what this is for. Something incredible, surely. If you asked me for my best guess, I'd say it's a transmission device. In other words, a teleporter. <sighs> Don't give me that look. Hear me out. I actually found some associated data. Come on, you've taken quantum mechanics. Transmission of matter isn't possible. That's what our science says. We can't assume that alien technology is bound by the same constraints. If my theory is correct, we've got an explanation for the disappearances. Including those of your parents, Morimura-san. Guys, come take a look at this. The analysis took some time, but I found this. What is that? The map. This relic is enormous. It's 30 kilometers in diameter. And the whole thing's underground, right beneath the city. It looks like a giant saucer. Fascinating. So this isn't just any alien facility. It's a buried UFO. We're only 300 meters from the surface. This facility is huge. How could it have never been discovered? It's not likely. Rather, it may have been intentionally hidden. A government cover-up of alien life. Sounds like a movie from the 20th century. Those monsters on the surface... Are they trying to unearth this UFO? Just what are they after? may have something to do with this. It's a data signal being emitted by this facility as we speak. What does it look like to you? This is... A countdown. It started when the Kaiju came in contact with the mainframe. Since then, the clock's been ticking. We should investigate further. We should investigate. So when the countdown reaches zero, 
What happens? Hmm. It may be related to the gravity wave abnormality. Do you think it might... launch? Let's just continue the analysis. There's no time for what-ifs. We need to find out what's going on. Strange dreams. They keep me up. Was your a giant UFO country? buried underground. Was it a premonition? <laughs> That's crazy. Maybe Natchan's getting to my head. When she starts talking about UFOs, you'll never hear the end of it. Gotta love her, though. 2080. At my old school, we never had problems Saturday. Cart. Really? Yua Chan's my good friend. She's gentle. Your grade wasn't so Usami Chan sits ago. at the desk in front of my. Can I stop talking about this? I was going to study last night, but then I turned on the TV. Miwa Chan? Yes? What were you watching? A special on Haley's Comet. It's coming next year. Oh, I wanted to see that too. The next one won't be for another 76 years. A once in a lifetime encounter. It feels so romantic. And that's how you blew off your studies. This school gives way too many tests. I thought it'd be easier here, not harder. What school did you go to? It sounds quite different from ours. Actually, it's, uh... Usami-chan. Hmm? What's up, Iori? Did you tank the math test, too? Those formulas put me right to sleep. So you got an F? No! It was close, though. Don't worry, Iori-chan. You're good in other subjects. You know, pretty similar. This school gives way too many tests. I thought it'd be easier here, not harder. What school did you go to? It sounds quite different from ours. Actually, it's, uh... You know, pretty similar. The best cure for the blues is good eats. It's true. You know that bakery? Their hot dogs are so good. If we're talking about meat, I could really go for some Mikuman. Oh, yeah? Which do you want, Iori? Me? Gotta be hot dogs, right? They make them fresh each day. Warm sauce I want to in a slightly sweet Let's eat hot dogs. Yes! That was a cute bakery. Right? Let's eat before it gets cold. Yeah. It's kind of spicy. 
It's chili sauce. Yum. Love the kick. I'm not a kid anymore. Gotta be mature to handle this stuff. Usami-chan, you've got chili sauce all over your mouth. Uh... <laughs> By the way, speaking of TV shows, I saw a real weird one the other night. It was from the Explorer series. What is that? Usami-chan? Huh? What's up, Iori? It's a popular segment on Weird Wednesdays. Last week it was... Terrible Tales of the Massive Mummy. The Amazon's Underground Secret. I think that was the name. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The mummy was so fake. Who believes that stuff? Wait, why do you know so much about it? Do you watch that show? More like Nutchan wouldn't stop talking about it. Oh... I watched the whole damn thing, but it left me with more questions than answers. Yeah, it's always like that. So you know it? The boys in class were talking about it. I usually watch the music show in that time slot. Miwa-chan? Yes? Well... Lately, I've been getting into idols. Oh, yeah. The one who looks like Amiguchi-kun? Yes. And also, there's a female idol I like a lot, too. She's so cute and has a wonderful voice. Oh, is she that really popular one? Yes. She's coming out with the record soon. Maybe I'll buy it. Dang, you're really into idols, huh? You might like her, too, Sami-chan. Today's top hits remind me of old times. Old times? Really? These days, music is trending more towards pop. I think it's pretty different from before. Huh? Oh, right. Are you pretty into music, Usami-chan? Kinda. I'm more about singing than listening. Wow! You can sing? What kind of songs? I'm curious now. Well, uh... It's kind of hard to explain. Is it foreign music? Not exactly. I don't get it. I can't just say it doesn't exist yet. Huh? Ah, nothing. Don't worry about it. Why are you being like this? Sorry, Miwako. The best cure for the blues is goodies. It's true. I might put on weight. <laughs> You know that bakery? Their hot dogs are so good. Let's get both. <laughs> Which do you want, Diori? Me? Gotta be hot dogs, right? They make them fresh each day. It's a bit chip. Silly today. Perfect time for Nikamon. All right. That deli's Nikumon are huge. And so warm. Time to taste test. For a date. Just buy two of these, stuff them in your shirt, and bam! Instant Morimura! Uh, 
give it some thought. You'd burn yourself. <sighs> you look sleepy again. Are you doing okay? I'm fine. If something happened? I told you, remember? Yuri-chan collapsed in the science room. I was still at school, so... I took her to the nurse's office. Oh, yeah, you did tell me that. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, thanks for coming with me. Goto-senpai really saved the day. He carried her there in his arms like a princess. I could hardly believe my eyes. That's the shocking part. So Ever dead. since that day, I can't stop thinking about him. Was it all just a dream? <sighs> and that about does it for the sweeping. Good going, Karabi-kun. Something wrong? The door won't open. Goto-senpai gave me a keyring, but... none of these seem to open the storage room. Well, that's a problem. What do we do with all the equipment? I guess just leave it. We can't do that. from the teacher's lounge. You can go back to class, Kurabi-kun. I'll take care of the rest. Sorry about that. Hey, no worries. Good job today. She's in the same grade as me, but she talks like she's my older sister. Looks like you've come, too. I'm so glad you're okay, Yuri-chan. Miwa-chan. You were lying on the floor. Completely unconscious. How do you feel? Are you alright? senpai Huh? So don't push yourself. You should stay in bed. Um, I'm okay. How did I get here? Goto-senpai found you. He carried you all the way here. He did what? The Burning City. Were you there too, senpai? I don't know what you're talking about. 
You had collapsed in the science room. Huh? The science room? While you were in there, uh, how do I say this? Did you see any weird flashing screens? Anything like that? No. There was nothing of the sort. A dream. That's all it was. I'm sure. A dream? Miwa-chan. I saw it. The burning city from my dreams. Another nightmare? No. I was actually there. <sighs> Let's calm down, Yuri-chan. It was just another dream. A dream? <laughs> There's no way. It was real. And I saw... him. <laughs> he was there. At the burning city. Yuri-chan. What is this place? It's destroyed as far as the eye can see. Just like the place I saw in my dreams. <gasps> I see someone. Hey, um... Oh, you're... No sudden moves. Huh? Is that... a gun? Who are you? I'm Iori Fuyusaka. I know that much. Huh? Uh, how do you... Who ordered you to come here? Ordered? I just saw a flash in the science room. And the next thing I knew, I was here. Wherever this is. You really don't know? This is Ashitaba City. In the year 2065. The future? No way. If the gate reacted to her, she must be one of the 15. And that's not all. She unlocked the gate. A locked gate can only be opened with Morimura's ID. It's as I suspected. Iori Fuyusaka is the real Chihiro Morimura. Morimura? You mean our teacher? Uh. How was the city destroyed? <gasps> We're safe at this distance. From the kaiju movies? Not a bad comparison, but this one's a machine. Those things appear in droves, hell-bent on destroying the world. Before long, they'll take over our very own town. Wait a minute. How do you uh, know so uh, much? Don't get the wrong idea. I saw it in a dream. A dream? That monster was wrecking the city. And it was coming for me. I ran for my life. There were other dreams, too. People talking about monsters. Maybe they weren't dreams after all. A giant UF... That's right. We lost the fight and ran away. A monster was chasing us. And the person with me was... <laughs> Koto-senpai. When did I get so obsessed with boys? <sighs> they keep showing up in my dreams. My dreams have been so strange lately. So I've been thinking... Maybe they're premonitions. What are your other dreams like? What sort of dreams are you having? In 
one dream, after the city was destroyed, I wound up underground inside a big UFO. In another one, I escaped to the past all by myself. Were those all real? Morimura told me the same stories. Dreams, huh? Um, who are you? Wait, do you hear that? Huh? A drone. Shit. <laughs> they found me. There's no choice. Come with me. Huh? Um, okay. Sekigahara got away. Did you find Sentinel number eight? Yes. It had been taken over by the Daimos. I suppose it's risky to send units out autonomously. I'll restore manual control to number eight. Go ahead and shut it down for now. By the way, we had a surprise visitor. A Sekigahara. He's in this sector. Unfortunately, he got away. And not only that, can you see her? She's a student from Sector 4. <gasps> Could he have brought her here? She looks familiar. Same class as Kisarangi, I believe. In any case, bring her back. Shibakun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. That movie's... Amiguchi-kun. Bad news, Juro. Amiguchi's gone missing again. Eddie's at the cafeteria. Get ready to head over. Are you thinking of crashing his place again? Why not? Oh, yeah, oh, I almost forgot. I forgot I had a flyer in there. I never finished reading One this. for the Dimos movie. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what would become a long-running series. A sci-fi movie first in what would become a long... Come to think of it. I saw Shibakun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. Is that this week's issue? <laughs> yep. Last week was a real cliffhanger. I'm glad to know what happens. I gotta get going. Well then, allow me to explain. I should head out. After all hell breaks loose, See the me main later. character just... Later. Bye. Stop right there. One more word, and you're going on my shit list. I guess it's about that time. Hey, remember the original Daimos movie I mentioned? Mighty Kaiju Daimos? They're showing it at the theater right now. Wanna go see it? 
Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsutsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV. Cheaper, too. We can't go to his place every single day. <gasps> what if we're annoying him? Then let him be annoyed. I still get to play his games. Okay, it's not the one you were looking for, but... <laughs> I found a little something else you've been wanting to see. You know, that hardcore foreign movie? Don't make it sound so creepy. It's just a sci-fi flick. I also taped the next episode of that drama series. The one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports from the UFO to the bridge? Uh -uh. Oh, you've seen it already? I don't really remember watching it, but... I don't know. Maybe I did. In that movie, an alien's UFO breaks down. So he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. Hey! About Fuyasaka-san. I notice she always leaves during break time. And? What about it? I'm just wondering where she goes all the time. Judging from what the other girls have been saying, she runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You want to follow her to bed? Ah, come on, quit it. While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week. They were airing UFO Wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. Released in 1977, this was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy far, far away. Its popularity holds strong no matter how much time passes. I actually taped UFO Wars myself. Wanna borrow it? Oh, I'm in luck! The quality's not that great, though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. Didn't you want to go to Amiguchi-kun's house? Whoops. This is no time to be reading comics, huh? Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. Let's head to... I just got Miyuki and Abba's new album on tape. I don't have a cassette player. Then why'd you buy it? Cafeteria. That's the long way around. Let's use the other stairway. What's up with the yakisoba pond lately? They're always sold out. I heard there's a guy who buys shitloads of them. Here either, huh? Well, crap. So much for gaming today. Think the girls might know where he is? Maybe they've seen him somewhere. I know you were eavesdropping earlier. You know, Kisaragi and the others. Did they mention him? Uh, I don't know. Huh? Oh, 
Juro-kun. Hi, Minami-san. Uh... What's up? Well, uh... You know, about that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. Um... He's got a lot going on, you know? If you could let him stay a bit longer, I'd appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've gotta go. Let's talk later, okay? Who's that chick? Minami-san, my neighbor. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. What are you trying to <laughs> imply? This is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Guess we're out of options. Let's just go home. Guess we're out... Ever since that day, my life's been turned upside down. Uh huh? Uh, guess I fell asleep. Mmm. Smells good. Sleep with the TV on. Thanks. Go ahead and place them at the table. She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks, like for a married couple. That only makes me feel even more awkward. Here we go. <laughs> it's like we're newlyweds or something. Okay, no. I'm not following that train of thought. I need to come up with a way to kick her out. Dinner's ready. Shall we start? You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because... <laughs> you're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl. Alone together? Puberty exists! Uh, are you trying to torture me? Hey, uh, we really shouldn't be living together like this. Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's part of it. Anyway, I want you out of here by next month. If you say so. Someone's here. Hide. Jeez. Jiro-kun, are you home? Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh my god, Juro-kun! 
I didn't know you cooked. <laughs> So, uh, what's this favor you need? The favor is... Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yagashiti-san, our classmate? Wait, no way. Are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just... You know... Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in! Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kinda complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? I understand you're Tamao-san's grandson. How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. <laughs> That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks, see ya! Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? <sighs> there goes my simple high school life. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. Yeah. Let me guess. Amiguchi-kun's not there. He's probably at the cafeteria. Thanks for making my life easier, man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. Would you like to get crepes on our way home? I just I'd love to. I've kind of got somewhere to be. I don't have a cassette. Mm. I never really mm. wanted to Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house, and then brought over Miura-kun out of nowhere. As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushiji around. I always dreamed of living on my own. So much for that. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of... stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey! I'm worried about you. Iyori-chan! Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. But first, I'll take a peek at Amiguchi-kun. Okay, that's a little creepy. If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machines. The break area? Yeah. Crap. I gotta get going. I should head out too. There are drink vending machines at the break Bye. area. Bye. It's located at the corner of the schoolyard. If what Fuyusaka-san said was right, we should be able to find Amiguchi-kun there. Miss Morimura forgot them again. Chiro, 
You'll be home for dinner, right? I'll cook something for you. Hey, watch what you're saying. We're still at school. And shiba -kun's here. It's too hard to talk to her with shiba -kun around. Hey, I think I know where Amiguchi-kun is. He's probably outside at the break area. Huh? You mean that place with the vending machines? Let's check it out. What's up with the yakisoba pond lately? They're always sold out. I heard they Arcade. Amiguchi-kun. Ah! Oh. What's up? Come to... Shall we? That movie. Amigu... A scythe... In that movie. Really? Could we hang out again today? You got it. Let's see... Why don't we go to your place this time? Wait, Juro's place? No... Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house... ...and then brought over Miura-kun out of nowhere. As if I didn't have enough problems with Yakushiji around. I always dreamed of living on my own. So much for that. It's true my grandma's away visiting relatives, but... His TV's a piece of junk. Well, right now... I have a... guest staying over. Things are a little awkward, so... Uh, sorry. It's just not a good time. Well, alright. Let's go to my place, then. That's my man! Thanks. Time is money. Let's go already. Oh. My favorite drink is sold out. Come on, dude. Quit dawdling. It says it's out of change? Never seen that before. It's already seven o'clock. so many new releases on CD. The TV shelf is full of things, too. Looks like laser discs. This is incredible. Man, Amiguchi's place is the best. Any game you want to play, he's got it. He really is a rich kid, huh? I'm jealous. Ah, crap! Don't talk to me right now. You'll break my concentration. Ah, just one more, okay? I need to try that again. If I die this time, I'll switch with you. I can't see! I can't see! You said you wanted a drink, right? You cool with soda? Thanks, Amiguchi-kun. I can't see! <sighs> it 
It's getting dark. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You already paid for my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Damn. That means I've got to pay too. Ah, just one more, okay? I need to try that again. Oh, did you watch the video? Hey, I'm not gonna ignore a friend's recommendation. Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> for a B-movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. Whoa! What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki Inaba. She's been really getting big lately, hasn't she? I mean... You know how it is. Just got curious. I'm getting hungry. Did you want to just grab dinner and go home? Actually, uh... Do you think I could stay a little longer? I'd really appreciate it. One more, okay? I can't see. My old man's probably at his mistress's place again. And I'm all by myself here. Stay as long as you want. Thanks. Say, uh, any specific reason you don't want to go home? Well, the person I'm living with is, uh... <sighs> I can't put the blame on her. I'm the one with the problem. If I'm around her too long, I might... Huh. Anyhow, wanna get food? We're leaving. Hold on, I'm almost done. We could swing by the video store. Pick up something new to watch. Oh, speaking of... Before I forget again, here you go. Is that the sequel to that sci-fi flick? All right, let's check it out when we get back. We can watch it together. I'm gonna have to pass. Oh, not in the mood for horror? That's not it. <sighs> Sorry, it's just... I think I've been watching too many movies lately. I'm getting kind of scared. I keep having weird dreams. Again? In the dream, I... I went insane. I killed everyone around me. Including Fuyusaka-san. And you. Oh. Yakushiji, too. So now I feel anxious whenever she's around. I'm scared. I might end up actually killing her. Disaster was you. What? It's your nano machines. You all have them. That's what's calling the Dimos here. As long as you kids are alive, 
hordes will keep on coming until they've destroyed all time and space. You're lying. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is the only way. No! No! I'm sorry, Yakushichi. The pain will only last for a moment. Too late to back out now. I must kill my doubts and finish the job. In order to escape from this eternal cage, it must be done. The cause of this was us? You're persistent, Ida. Don't worry. I'll put you out of your misery. <clears throat> What have you done, Jiro? Morimura-san! Where's the wound? Let me see it. <sighs> this... was all... for you. Morimura. Okay. Let me guess. I think he's at the break area. Thanks for making my... Would you like to get crepes on our way home? I'd love oh. to, but I've kind of got somewhere to... Chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of stressed out. Sorry, Shiba Kun. But you're just fine, right? I have to drop off hey, these papers. I'm worried about you. Again? Jeez. You well, just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Shall Amiguchi. Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. Oh. Churo. You'll be home for dinner, right? I'll cook something for you. Hey, watch what you're saying. For tonight, I'm thinking Hamburg steak. Your favorite. <laughs> Knock it off. If people find out we're living together, we'll be expelled from school. Hmm, is that so? I don't mind. Well, I do mind. So please. Sorry, sorry. It's our secret, I know. I'll be a little more discreet. <sighs> Don't stay out too late. I'll be waiting for you. <sighs> Jeez. It feels awkward going home like this. I'm gonna be restless all night. We're just teenagers. We can't be living together already. <sighs> what is she thinking? Just showing up at my place and treating me like this? That's strange. The front door was unlocked.
there wasn't a break in. Huh? You're. You're from my school, right? I think we're in the same. <gasps> it's been 40 years. I've missed your touch. What? Hold on, back up. What are you doing in my house? I'll be renting a room starting today. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Hello there. You're joking, right? I spoke with your landlord, Tamao Karabe. She gave me this rental agreement. My grandma? I've already moved in my furniture. Jeez. I mean, yeah, there was an empty room. And she said she was planning to rent it out, but... I didn't expect it to be a girl from school. <sighs> what were you thinking, Grandma? <sighs> There's no way. I can't do this. Grandma's going to be out this whole month. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That means it's just the two of us here. If the school finds out, we're going to be expelled. Well, that wouldn't be so bad. What? Anyway, I need to get started on dinner. As thanks for letting me stay with you, I'll be taking care of your meals. I hope you like it. Hey, wait! Karabikun? Miss Morimura. What's the matter? You seem deeply concerned. You forgot these again. Oh my! Sorry for the trouble. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Kurabe-kun. Well, that saves me a trip. Now, I wonder if she come to. She. That video. I mean, a in the, really, there, that dream was awful. I was going around killing students. I shot so many, like Fuyusaka-san and Yakushiji. Minami, that girl, she always stands a little too close to me. It's awkward. I get really self-conscious all the time. How am I supposed to interact with her? What do you plan to do? Yakushiji. I've gotten permission from Morimura. I see. Even if that's the case, it isn't looking good. There's an issue with Juro's condition. We can't let it continue as is. You still plan on using him, don't you? You can't. I won't let you. <sighs> Please. Let him be free of the Sentinel. As of now, he's the only one who can fight. I can't promise anything. I recognize the position you're in. You harbor feelings for him, correct? But you must understand that he is no longer the Izumi you knew. Izumi? He is Juro Karabe. You would do well to consider him an entirely different person. The new personality is not stable. Don't disregard the danger this may put you in. 
Juro will recover. I'll make sure of it. Even if we erase the personality of Juro Kurabe... What? It would be a futile effort, as I've already explained. Izumi's memory is gone. There is nothing left. You're a difficult one. Izumi? For your own good. Haven't I heard that name before? I, I think Shinonome Senpai called me that. You must oh, return to Shinonome. And I saw it at the nurse's office, too. There was a document labeled Juro Izumi. You're a difficult one. This is for you. Karabe. Juro. How long have you been listening? What was that about? Who is Izumi? Uh, I'll cook one of your favorite meals tonight. So please, come right home, okay? No eating out. <sighs> I'm a different person? Juro... Izumi? <laughs> That's ridiculous. And yet, why do I have this sinking feeling? It's like... The one Yakushiji has feelings for isn't me. It's... Izumi. Patience, Juro. I'll let you borrow it when I'm done. Didn't you want to go to I, I should have. We've got to get to the break area. See you, Miwa-chan. If we're too Later. slow, we'll lose him. Bye. Guess it's about that time. to the break area. Hold on. Hey. Hey, Karabe kun Are we on for today? Uh... I've got somewhere to be. Uh... Well, all right. What a bummer. After all that, I think I'm gonna cry. 
What a bu- Sorry, man. No, I'm sorry for asking all the time. A sci-fi movie. asking her about that talk she had on the stairs but she just dodged the question she had a sad look on her face Bad news, Jura. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Usami chan. Patience, Juro. Do you need something? Uh, not really, sorry. Saka's avoiding you. Did you look up her skirt or something? No. What kind of kai do you think I am? I'm just saying. It is weird, though. I wonder why she's acting that way. Silver pond lately. Karabikun, over here. Well, this is awkward. If I go talk to her, Shibakun will never let me hear the end of it. We've got to get to the break area. 
If we're too slow... It's too hard to talk to her with Shibakun around. Hey! It's too hard... Saka-san. Well, um... You know that dream you were telling me about? The truth is... It's... Real. It actually happened. What do you mean? What was that dream about again? Uh, you don't... Remember? You just mentioned it again last week. You know, the one about the shootout? Shootout? Something about taking refuge in a harbor. But you ended up getting shot and captured. I was the only one who managed to escape. Oh, yeah. In order to prevent killer robots from being invented, a factory got blown up, right? You remember now? I didn't know you were into action movies. That's the plot of Exterminator 2, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. So you don't remember after all? Of course I do. That movie is a masterpiece. I'm not talking about a movie. This is something that actually happened. And it wasn't just a dream, either. <sighs> I try. You know, the, there. In that. A cycle. I'm good. That. Shit. If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? It's an episodic show where the story plays out in different ways each time. In this one, an alien seeks refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. You've never seen it before? That was a real event. It took place on Sumire Bridge in the year 2089. Now that you mention it, that scene did look like it was shot at Sumire Bridge. I was the only one there. You never made it, Kurabe-kun. No, that's not true. I was there. You and I were transmitted together. Wait, what? Released in 1977. Does that mean UFO Wars is real too? There is a UFO. It's beneath us. 
Oh. No way. It's just like the movie, isn't it? We're going to ride that UFO and fight off enemies. No. That's what the Sentinels are for. Sentinels? Giant robots. They were created to defeat the Kaiju. Oh. What about this one? Is it real too? If the Daimo showed up in real life? I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Well, lucky you. You'll be seeing plenty of them soon. Huh? Daimos is the general name for them. But there are many different types. Some as big as a truck. Some bigger than a whole building. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. You're so interesting, Fuyusaka-san. Don't you already know all this? You're the one who told me about it. Remember when we were cleaning up the science room? You said you saw a shootout from the future in your dreams. Cleaning up the science room? Now that I think about it... I've handed you the key. Be sure not to misplace it. Renya Goto, second year. Popular with all the ladies. <laughs> A snob. When you're done cleaning, be sure to lock up. Then return the key to Miss Goto Morgan. Goto-senpai is so mature. It's hard to believe he's just a high schooler like me. Sorry for the trouble. Okay, there's not much left to do. Let's get this over with. I'll wash the equipment over there. Could you put the beakers back on the shelf? I'm hungry, man. Cleaning duty sucks ass. Shiba Kun. Stop complaining and get to work. Did you say something? You were mumbling. Speak clearly, please. Just. It's Saturday. Kinda sucks to be doing cleaning duty. Rules are rules. Just deal with it, okay? Cleaning is just so boring. Goto Senpai is so mature. It's hard to believe he's. Isn't Goto Senpai responsible? No wonder he's so popular. Where should I put this? Beakers go in the big cabinet in the back. It goes in here. This one, too. That's all of them. Finished with the beakers? All that's left now is sweeping up. <sighs> what is it? into you. Is there something on my face? Uh, sorry. I was just thinking about the woman from my dream last night. I think it was you, Fuyusaka-san. Me? In your dream? You were dressed in all black. Strong, commanding, and honestly, pretty attractive. Uh, <laughs> you're just talking about the dream, right? What happened in it? It's kind of embarrassing to talk about. The apocalypse was coming. To prevent it, we had to go back in time. 
and blow up some sort of facility. But that got us in some trouble. Thanks to the bombing, the cops came after us. It came down to a shootout, and the two of us got separated. Oh, so I was a criminal. Well, kind of. It was a just cause. Uh-huh. Well, that does sound exciting. I'm curious to hear how it ends. Oh, yeah? I can keep going. Were you shot? Show me. It's nothing. I had a misstep, too. I failed to kill one of the researchers. The deed is done, though. The entire facility's been destroyed. We did good. The Interstellar Development Project was sent back to square one. Do you think we've changed the future? Sure hope so. If not, then we'll have killed all those innocents for nothing. I'd like to believe they haven't died in vain. <laughs> A patrol boat. They're onto us. I'll handle this. You go on ahead. This wasn't part of the plan. I can barely walk. So what, you want me to abandon you here? You just need to make it through today, remember?
It's like a tripod. Oh, that's a high quad. I just bought one earlier. It's basically just a huge crane, though, right? Don't underestimate it. That thing's set with all kinds of weapons and defensive devices. The plasma cannon's what you need to watch out for. Sentinel armor doesn't stand a chance against it. But it's just a big, dumb crane. Why'd they put all the weapons on it? Once they started facing resistance, they updated their designs, trying to match our own force. Wait, you mean those things only have weapons because the Sentinels showed up? Maybe. But we can still take them down. At least, we probably can. Keep it together. Everything will work out. How do you know that, Megumi? They're coming. Be careful! We're toast if we don't win here, right? So, let's get out there and fight back! We will not lose. Initiating shield, thank oh, you. Thanks. Don't waste any chances. Let's make 
on. How was that? Next. As long as I can keep this thing moving. Okay, what's the plan? No fight I can't win. What's the situation? any chances.
always think ahead. Okay. What now? Number 10, moving out. They ought to be used to fights by now. Gotta keep it. The together. practice round's over. Here goes. Stay on guard. Gotta do something. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur.
Even if it ends up tearing this city apart, what else can we do but fight back? Did we... win? Let's keep it going. We're all surviving this. Shots? We 
don't know anything about its payload. But it seems hell-bent on delivering it. Whatever the hell it is, it ain't gonna be fun. Let's take it out before it can drop the goods.
That's my win. The practice round's over. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. Let's see. Sentinel number two. They're after me. I'll try. Range.
They're going for me. They ought to be used to fights by now. What's the plan? No room for hesitation. Number 11, stay on guard.
Juro. I won't let you get away this time. It's you. Well, the you of 16 years ago. You're not aware of what happened, are you? That's disappointing. <laughs> what happened? You and I were in love. Hand in hand, we struggled to save the world. That... it was all for naught. Not entirely. We did find the truth. This is but one small part of a massive operation. Even if I tried to explain it, it would be lost on you now. The plan needs to be revised. Please, you must let me go. Do you mean to say you'll be taking even more lives? You've already killed the four that came with you. You misunderstand. I backed up my data on Sector Zero before the final battle. That was all I could do. I'm not aware of what happened to the others. That's not what Ida-kun said. That guy... I can't trust a word you say. The 25-year-old Morimura felt quite differently. You said you'd loved me since the day we met. I can't imagine that's changed. Please, open the way. I can't. <sighs> Juro. Again, I need to look for him. Usami chan sits at the de Oh, you a chan um, every I had a Oh, wait, the science room. The door's always locked. How do I get back in? Yeah, I'm fine now. A giant UFO buried underground. 28. That's right. That's right. We lost the fight and ran away. A monster was chasing us. And the person with me was... <laughs> Koto-senpai. When did I get so obsessed with boy? <sighs> they keep... Stop jumping to conclusions. I'm just kidding. I already talked to him. He went on a trip that day. A trip, huh? Hi, usami chan Welcome back to the land of the living. Gotta say, sleeping as much as you do is a real talent. <laughs> How are you doing, Miwako? Me? I'm just fine. Well, okay. That's good. Hey, Miwa-chan. Good morning. You were quite sleepy, huh? I saw you nodding off the whole time. The teacher was glaring at you again. <laughs> Usami-chan, you were absent the other day. Did something happen? Oh, um, well, I had a stomach ache, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm fine now. I see. Hey, Usami-chan, Nenji-kun was absent too. The very same day as you. Could it be... What? Stop jumping to conclusions. I'm just kidding. I already talked to him. He went on a trip that day. A trip, huh? Uh, 
it's my turn to clean up the science room. Sorry, dude. That one's a real pain. <laughs> eh, whatever. Maybe the other helper's a cute girl. Let's see. Oh, it's so Atari. Lucky you. Is she your type? Eh, I don't know, ma'am. Maybe that's my key to the science room. Miwa-chan! How are you doing, Miwako? Me? I'm just fine. Well, okay. Hey, Miwa-chan. It's your turn to clean up the science room, right? Uh-huh. I have a favor to ask. I don't know what you're planning on doing. But be safe, okay? Chemicals are dangerous. Relax, it's nothing like that. I'll be sure to lock up when I'm done. Don't worry. Okay. I'll take the trash out now. Do what you need to. Thanks, Miwa-chan. All right. Popping up right about here. Hmm. There has to be something. <sighs> Come on. Anything? Everything's normal. for my dream. An alien? Is it dead? Looks like a computer. Hmm. There's text on the screen. Another one. This reminds me of something. What was it? These computers are analyzing the UFO. We must have brought them here. Just like in the dream. Do I hear footsteps? Someone's coming. Oh no. What if it's an alien? I need to hide.
He's still after me. Is that Shinonomi-senpai? No good. It's not moving. 426 must have shot it. There's no choice. I must retreat for now. Why must you keep running from me? I'm... Stop. <sighs> 426. You won't get away with this. That again? Give it a rest. There's not much time left. Come with me. I'll protect you. Please, Ryoko. Don't... Stop trying to confuse me. No way. Just when I thought we could meet again, he's in love with someone else. Who's there? Iori Fuyusaka. Are you alone? What are you doing here? Well, um... I wanted to see if this was all just a dream. And... I guess it was. Uh... In any case... You shouldn't be here. Go back to your sector. Guess I'll send you myself. Miwako's taking a while. She said she had some papers to deliver, right? To the art room, I think? Yeah. Mm. What's up, Iori? You look bummed. Huh? I I'm fine. We're going to Tsutsuji today, right? Miwako did say she wanted to stop by the record store. She wants that new Idol album, right? Is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Usami, you look. That's right. You know what? I saw Natsuno chan just now, but hey, the boss is here. Later. Wait for us. The sun's already gone down. It's because you were waiting on me. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry, Miwa-chan. We couldn't even get the record you wanted. I can't believe all three stores were sold out. It's getting kinda late. My dad's a worry ward. Maybe I should call home. There's a phone booth over there. You gonna call? Yeah. You gonna... Dad? It's me. 
Uh-huh. How'd it go? Pretty much how I thought. He wants me to come home ASAP. Figures. The train's probably fastest. seen a few guys like him. They've been hanging around our school lately. Let's go around, Yuri-chan. Hey, <laughs> what school are you from? Didn't they tell you not to roam around after dark? Um, who's this geezer? I'm Heizo Onishi, police force, juvenile division. Uh-oh. You may know me better as Onishi the Ogre. He's gonna take us into custody. Judging from the uniform, you're from Sakura High. It's 8 o'clock. What are you doing out at this hour? Um, well... We were shopping for a record and it got dark before we knew it. It's true. It's dangerous for young girls like you to be out on the streets at night. The reason doesn't matter. We're sorry. If it happens again, I'll write you up. Now hurry on home. Right? What do we do, Yuri-chan? It is what it is. Let's make a break for the station. Time. I know the perfect place. Watch him. Onishi the ogre. Don't tell me. You're up to no good again. I haven't done anything yet. Run along home. Or would you rather come with me? <sighs> Damn it. Thank you so much. me worried there. Let's go. Just hurry up and go home. You ambushed us in front of the station. And forced us into this creepy alleyway! Don't think you'll get away with this! The police are on their way! Oh, shut up! <laughs> Wajima-san has something to say. So listen up, will ya? Hey, knock it off! You know... Oma... 
my life, I've been shit out of luck when it comes to women. Until now. I'm telling you, girl. The moment I saw you, I knew you'd be mine. <laughs> Get it, Wajima-san? No! I consider myself a man who minds his own business. But I can't abide by this. You need to leave those girls alone. Get out of here. Now. Who the hell are you? Another poser, huh? <sighs> Hard of hearing, are we? Don't say I didn't warn you. It's you! You better not be messing around. <laughs> <laughs> It's a boxer. A tad rusty. You got a few hits in. Um, thank you. But why? Um, mere coincidence. You're lying. Uh, they must have heard the commotion. Explain what happened here, Wajima. I feel much better with the policeman here. Thanks, Usami chan. You should have just bolted past the ticket gate. You're such a slowpoke sometimes. Sorry. Anyway, how'd you get out of this mess? A really cool guy came in and saved us. You mean the one who ran downtown? Yes, that's right. I wonder what school he goes to. I wonder where he is now. I might never see him again. I don't want to bother him. No. If I don't run after him... I know I'll regret it. Even if he turns me down, I have to tell him how I feel. <laughs> Sorry, guys! It has to be him. He's nearby. somewhere. seen with me. The men in black suits will go after you, too. Black suits? I'm being hunted. Do you get it? 
Now go home. All right? Oh. So that man I saw over there. I've got you now. Damn it. Let go of me. Don't even think of drawing your gun here. Watch this. Not getting away, Sekigahara. Just run! Forget about me! Is this girl with you? No. The hell's going on here? Perfect timing. Give me a hand. So women and children are fair game, huh? What? I don't stand for that, buddy. Over here. Get on. Right. That girl. She seemed to be associated with the men in black. Did you recognize her? No. It was too dark. I see. You might want to hold on a little tighter. You're gonna fall. Uh, okay. Where do you live? I'll take you home. It's now or never. Hey, um... I know this is sudden, but... I need to tell you, I... I love you. What's this all of a sudden? Some kind of prank from this era? It's not a prank! I know... You already have Shinonome-senpai. It's probably awkward to hear this from me. But... Even if it ends up breaking my heart... I just needed to tell you. I needed you to know how I feel. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Ryoko-san is not my girlfriend. Huh? I spent a lot of time alone back home. Parents weren't around. So she stepped in. Looked after me like a big sister. She's family to me. In that sense, I do care for her. I want her to be happy. That's all. You mean it? Middle school was a rough time for me. Haven't heard a thing about love since I was a kid. Until now, that is. Oh, she's not his girlfriend after all. You know, it seems the two of us are bound by fate. What would you do if I told you I'm an assassin from the future who came here to kill you? It wouldn't matter. I would still love you. A guy whose name you don't even know? Well, yeah. <laughs> You feel that strongly, huh? Didn't see that coming. My name is A. Sekigahara. A. Sekigahara. So, um, I haven't heard a no. Let's get you home. Don't follow me again, all right? I'll be in touch. Okay.
right. Of course. Mr. Ida! Shinonome-kun. I have a question regarding what we talked about today. Will you answer it for me? <laughs> Mr. Ida? I thought I had made myself clear. You are to avoid contact with me while at school. I will make an exception this once. What is your question? It's about your feelings, Mr. Ida. You said I was special. You are special. The thing is, I felt it too. The moment you arrived, I knew you'd be special. That something might happen between us. Mr. Ida, the substitute teacher. He's here to fill in while our teacher is on maternity leave. I've come to find he's quite mysterious and comes with his own set of secrets. Mr. Ida, I've never... I've never felt this way before. Just thinking about you makes me... I have already explained to you what my position is. While you are important to me, to all of us, you and the rest of those chosen as pilots, your well-being is of the utmost importance to the mission. You do understand what I'm saying, don't you? Please don't cause any trouble for me, Shinonome-kun. It is true you are quite exceptional, Shinonome-kun. Your intelligence and adaptability are above average. And your piloting technique is more than sufficient. With you on our side, we stand a real chance. But you must be fully committed to the cause. To achieve victory, one must prepare with a full heart and great tenacity. The internet has been talking of nothing but what happened last week. A group of invaders had come ashore. Their attack held back by a mysterious robot. Mr. Ida, is your only desire to put me inside one of those things? If we don't defend against the attacks on this city, it is no exaggeration when I say that the world will be destroyed. We succeeded in defeating them in the first battle. By ensuring that they were unable to reach the heart of the city, we were able to minimize the damage that was done. But the invasion is just beginning. That attack is nothing compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on here? Hey, Kun. Weren't you the one that said not to contact you? What do you want with Ryoko-senpai? Sekigahara-kun. Stop, Eikun. I'm the one who has to talk to him. Senpai... That is true. Nevertheless, we're drawing attention to ourselves. I'm leaving. Wait! I'll do it. If it's what you want, then I'll fight. Are you certain? Yes. I've made up my mind. Then we will meet after school. I'll give you more details then. Wait. I'm in too. You will fight as well? Yeah. I'll do it. 
I'll go with Ryoko Senpai. That is excellent news. Then I will see you after school as well. Are you sure about this? I am. Ryoko. Matsuyuki Cho secured. Area D7. 23 remain in the seventh wave. Number 14 has secured a path. Just a little more. Don't stop. You're almost there. Number 14 has taken damage. Shinonomekun, pull back. Number 14. Number 17. No response. Miss Morimura, something's wrong. I'm not getting a response from Sekigahara either. The system's being attacked. From where? Through the laser link. The attack is originating from number 15. Sekigahara Kun? Sekigahara is transmitting it to every sentinel. Access the autonomous type number eight. We can buy time with that. You two, head for the gate. Itakun. Please hurry. I'd rather not die a meaningless death. Miss Morimura, we need to go. to the very end. All so we could escape. <sighs> this must be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous criminal. It'd be foolish to go in unarmed. Remember what Mr. Ida said. To achieve victory, 
One must prepare with great tenacity. Prisoner number 426. That's what he was called when imprisoned in the future. And now he travels through time, trying to thwart our work. This must be his hideout. 426 is a dangerous... A gun made in the 2100s. If it comes down to it, I'll use this on him. There's still some ammo left. Ryoko-san. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. Whatever it is you're trying to do now, I don't care. But I can't forgive you for what you did to Mr. Ida. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? There's nowhere left to run, 426. Who told you I was 426? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. We're done talking. I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious. I'll do it! Huh? The trigger's locked. I'm the registered user. It won't shoot me. I'll take you on myself. Really? With those injuries? Besides... What are you doing? Empty. Like I thought. They'll wear off soon. <sighs> I'm sorry, Ryoko-san. I tried. But I couldn't save you. Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Shinonome-san? Do you know what year it is? 1985. What's the last thing you remember? 426. He got away from me. I won't let him escape next time. I see. All right. How are you feeling? My head really hurts. Maybe I should keep you here for further observation. My internal clock just needs a bit to readjust. You're putting too much of a burden on your nervous system. You need to stop shifting. Do you still have your pills? Make sure you're taking them. should make me feel a little better. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects. But don't worry, your memories will return quickly. I need to go back. You can't time travel right now. 
But I need to fix the Sentinels before the invasion begins. You can't stop me. I need to go after him. I'm not trying to stop you. We just can't use the gate right now. These pills are hard to swallow, but it's the only way these headaches will go away. The invaders appeared in 2064. They destroyed the world, but they won't stop. They're coming for us here, too. The coordinates for shifting through time, they're set in 40-year intervals, so we can't travel freely. Why can't we time travel right now? The gate has been sealed by someone. I'm looking into it. The gate is locked. There's only one person who could have done it. It's him. It has to be. 426. The one that set up the gates in the first place. So we're stuck here? In the past? Are you alright? Who are you? Miss hmm. Morimura, are you still overworking her? I've had no choice. The coordinates. The source of the disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. It's only a matter of time before 426 makes contact with someone. I need the list of those who are compatible. Of course, that includes the people of this era, too. I'll see what I can do. There's no other option. If we don't find him, the result will be worse than anything we imagined. <sighs> or would you rather... I go ask the students, one by one. Fine. The file is on my desk. It isn't everyone, but it does list those who are compatible at this school. Humans with the capacity to pilot the Sentinels. They have already been identified in the future. I'll fix it as soon as I can. If I get any information on him, I'll let you know immediately. So this is it. The plan to gather all the compatible ones. Four girls, including myself. Wait, only girls? Fuyusaka and Kisaragi, Class 1B. Yakushiji in 1C. All of the compatible girls are first years. These files are only for the girls. That's all we have here. Gotokun has information on the boys. You can consult with him. We're counting on you. And you are? Rinya Goto, a second year, like you. I've been assigned to offer you support. <sighs> Tell me who the compatible boys are. Certainly. But there's something I'd like to ask you first. I wonder... Why do you hate 426 so much? Are you serious? The fate of the world is at stake. Even so... I sense your hatred stems from something else. <laughs> I don't have the list. Therefore, I don't know. Renya Goto has the information I need. Because he ruined the Sentinels. Because he destroyed my home. Thing deserves no sympathy. 426 is not human. He's an AI created in the future. And now he calls himself A Sekigahara. Hmm. A 
picture of 426. He calls himself Ace Gihara now, but he's gone into hiding. The one that ruined the Sentinels, the disaster that will destroy the world. If we don't capture 426, there's no way we'll be able to withstand the invasion. I don't have the list. Tell me who the compatible boys are. 426 could try and contact one of them. Or maybe he already has. According to the clock on the wall, it is time for lunch. They should be in the cafeteria now. Let's go. looking for you. Doesn't look like I can push my way through. That's Shu Amiguchi. He's one of them. I have a question for you. Have you seen someone that looks like this? Hmm. No, never seen him. I see. Oh! Ah, oh, jeez. Were you able to get your bread? You need my help with anything? <sighs> About last time, I wasn't able to do anything then. But I want to make up for it. You did try. And I'm grateful to you for that. Where are you going? Would you quit talking to me in front of other people? What is this strange feeling? When I see him talking to another girl, my chest feels so tight. It feels like I'm jealous. No, about him? That's ridiculous. There's no way. <laughs> My head... it hurts. This should make me feel a little better. Fuyusaka and Kisaragi, the first year classrooms are on the third floor. Shu Amiguchi. I get a strange feeling when I think about him. It's almost like I'm in love with him. Now what? Doesn't look like I... Where are you going? Time to find the compatible girls. the compatible ones. I should look at the pictures in their files. He calls himself Aseki Gahara now, but he's gone into hiding. If I show his picture to the compatible ones, maybe I can figure out who he came into contact with last. I don't see them. Look, it's Goto 
senpai? <laughs> oh, it is. Uh, he's so hot. Student council elections are coming up. He's running for president, right? Really? That's amazing. Smart and handsome. Everything a girl could want. <sighs> My head. It hurts. Should make me feel a little better. No, none of them. Hey, look at that girl with Gordo Senpai. Taigumi Yakushiji. Right? The one from the rumors? Yeah, her. I guess she got hurt in some accident. But, but why is she with Goto Senpai? You don't think she's his girlfriend? What? Yakushiji-san, can I talk to you? You don't have to follow me. Don't say it like that. My job is to help you. Doesn't seem likely. Why don't you tell me what you've gathered so far? So I can better assist you. What are you staring at me for? You probably think I look awful. That is true. Those injured, frail arms. To think they could produce such raw power. It's hard to comprehend. You saw that? The last battle. I was assisting Miss Morimura. <laughs> My head. Now what? Now what? What is it? calls himself a... Have you seen this person before? That's 426, isn't it? You know him? I mean, I've heard about him enough times by now. So Morimura told you. You know, the way you're acting, it's going to be difficult for you to pilot number 14. Number 14? Fourteen. Number fourteen is my sentinel. This is number 14, the one you piloted. I'm glad we were able to recover it. Even in Shikishima's largest hangar, it was barely able to fit. Transporting it here was quite the challenge as well. But now, including number 14 here, we've been able to recover three Sentinels after the incident. Unfortunately, the new models are all still missing. We also have yet to find number 12. And Okinokun, too. So are the Sentinels fixed? With the systems infected as they are, repairing them will be no easy task. And now that he's taken control of the Sentinels... So unless we capture 426, we won't be able to use the Sentinels. What's her deal? Uh, oh, yes. Let me introduce you. This is Megumi Yakushiji-san. Hello. She's one of the compatible from the year 2025. Worst case scenario, she will be piloting the Sentinel instead of you. What? effectively is not possible in your condition. But number 14... Mr. Ida chose me for it. 
It's my sentinel. Then you're the one who should have been in it. If you're really that possessive of it, then why didn't you fight instead of Juro? It doesn't matter. You'll forget this too. Just like everything else. Yakushiji-san! Are you all right? <sighs> you should get some rest. You don't need to worry about me. Answer the question. 1985. I know what you're going to say. I'm fine, all right? I see. I just forgot to take my pills, that's all. <laughs> the coordinates. Please. Number 14. We're still unable to time travel. I already know that. Just tell me when it's fixed. I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. There must be some sort of clue. Something that happened in 2064. Kisaragi-san, can I talk to you? <gasps> Goto-senpai! Is there something I can help you with? Anything at all? Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. <laughs> so what sort of women do you like? Have you seen this well, person before? I... <sighs> what do you do on your days off? I'd hey, rather what's going not on? say. Why are you doing this? Uh, you need to run. What's going on? Did something happen? No, all good. Uh, Come on, Mibuko, let's go. Uh, oh my where head. are you going? It hurts. Run away? Why do I need to run? You don't have to follow me.
Yakushiji-san. Can I talk to you? Look! It's Goto-senpai! <laughs> oh, it is... There's really nothing you can do about it. Do about what? You know, your... condition. Senpai. What? I've already asked you to stop making fun of me. I'm Kurabe. Juro Kurabe. Goto Senpai. Apologies, Kurabe. You can go ahead. Kurabe? But he's Izumi kun. I don't understand. I bet Renya Goto knows something about this. the wrong person that's not possible i wouldn't mistake him for someone else <sighs> there are certain things you're better off not knowing damn it just tell me juro izumi doesn't exist anymore he's juro karabe now his mind could not withstand the battle he had to be turned into someone else there is no chance of recovery as I do.
finally meet. You're Ryoko Shinonome-san, right? Who are you? I'm Juro Izumi, and I need your help. We're going to save the world with that robot. Sure. following me. He's Ragi, so... Yeah? What do you do on your days off? I'd rather not say. Do you like... What did... Oh, no. What did... You like... What sort of women? What do you do on your... What sort of women? What do you do on your days off? I'm sorry. Yakushiji-san, can I talk to you? I guess there's really nothing you can... You do... I can't go... Look! It's Koto-san! He's not good. You're all right. Oh, it is. I'm relieved. <laughs> the last of them. I need to get more pills before it gets worse. The nurse's office should have some. A I'm out of pills. I need to get more from the nurse's office. So cold. So sweet. I can't get enough. Uh, what seems to be the matter, drink. young lady? I can take my pills without it. I'm not a child anymore. I don't need it. If there's something troubling you, I can try to help if you'd like. No thanks. Uh, I suppose it's to be expected, looking like this. It's 
open. Good. Morimar is not here. Now, where are those pills? here last time. Where are they? I'm out of pills. I need to get some... There's a student asleep in here. This girl. She looks familiar. Yori Fuyusaka. She's one of the compatible. There's something under the pillow. An ampoule. This must be the medicine she was given. The label says NM0206. So she injected you with nano machines. What is Morimura thinking? Why give Yori Fuyusaka nano machines? Medication record. Maybe there's something useful in here. Yori Fuyusaka. Nano machines anchored. Memory transplant attempt number seven. Memory transplant? It can't be. Ryoko Shinonome. Uh, memory separation. Progressing. Third phase. As with Jiro Izumi, administering personality synthesis? Oh? Where's Gojo-kun? You didn't have permission to read those. What does this all mean? It's a necessary measure. Well, did you find the culprit? Ugh. What are you planning? You're in even worse condition than I thought. Uh. You need to take your pills. Answer me. What are you doing to Yori Fukusaka? What are you doing? Maybe it's time. Shinonome-san, how are you feeling? How much can you remember? <sighs> As I suspected, you're starting to disappear. Dream. Morimura. She's been modifying personalities with nano machines. She wants to change both me and Yori Fuyusaka into different people. I can't believe what Morimura says. What do you do when you're 
about club member recruitment. That doesn't concern me. Something I wanted to ask you, actually. But it doesn't look like right now is a good time. You really don't look so good, you know. Your face is all red, too. Maybe you have a fever? Just leave me alone. This isn't... Shinonomi-senpai? I'll take it from here. Yes, sir. Ryoko Shinonomi. Female. Teenager. No matches in the registry, no prints on file. According to the written statement, reports repeated falsehoods, possibly delusional. Psychiatric evaluation necessary. So what? You're gonna get rid of me by claiming I have a mental disorder? What about my sentinel? How are you going to explain that? We're still investigating. How'd you get something that large into the city? You'd think someone would have seen it. What even is that thing? It's a weapon. Created to fight Kaiju. Hmm. Kaiju. The ones you said appeared in 2100? They're mentioned in the statement as well. <sighs> 2104. What was that? They first appeared in the year 2104. <sighs> so, if you're from 2104, what are you doing here? I came from the year 2064. I've told you this already. I don't know why, but when I woke up, I was here. Your story is just too unbelievable. My apologies. 
But all investigations regarding this case will cease immediately. And you are? Mr. Ida! Tetsuya Ida, advisor to the Special Investigations Unit. You will throw out all statements and records and hand over this witness to us. Come with me. Mr. Ida! I'm so glad you're safe. I'm sorry for not coming to get you sooner. Special investigations. So it was true. An intelligence agency created from private contractors. But does it come with actual authority? Orders from the Director General of the Defense Agency. Please, look them over. These are confidential matters relating to national security. Therefore, it needs to be kept a secret within the police as well. Monitoring public safety also falls under our jurisdiction. <laughs> You're all right now. Let's go. Yes, sir. You okay? You should probably take it easy. At least until the nurse comes back. Th thanks The nurse's office was left wide open. So I'm sure she'll be back soon. I was saved by Mr. Ida. Is he really alive? And Shu Amiguchi. Why do I remember when I look at him? This strange feeling. It makes me so anxious. I don't even know what it means. I just... I feel like I'm forgetting something important. Sure. Are you... About Mr. Ida. Where is he? Uh, he's been missing ever since the battle. You don't remember? About Mr. Ida. Mr. Ida. He didn't die in 2064. He helped me when I got here. How could I forget something that important? Who are you? 
Come on, senpai. It's me, Shu Amiguchi. Amiguchi? I don't know you. Leave me alone. Senpai. I've never seen him before. But then, why does he seem so familiar? You should probably go to the nurse's office. I'm fine. I just need to take my pills. It'll go away then. I guess they're done selling. chasing after Sekigahara. Oh, right. You might not know, but... But you have to capture him to fix the Sentinels. <laughs> and he's 426. Is that right? You knew? Yeah, because you flippin' told me! I don't remember that. Is Morimura doing something to you? I can't go on. My head... You don't remember being in a ruined city together? A ruined city. Lock. Doesn't seem possible to force a connection. <sighs> Ryoko san. Just like I thought. I knew you'd show up here. There's nowhere left to run, 426. I'm 426? Who did you hear that from? I saw the access logs. It was you, Eiseki Gahara. The program that infected the Sentinels. It was created with 426's ID. <sighs> Looks like someone left some foolish evidence behind. <sighs> no! These pills are hard to swallow. But it's the only way these headaches will go away. Don't move. The shift radius is off. I haven't set the input, but the shift's still being executed. Get back. I won't let you mess things up again. Ryoko-san, you need to stay out of this. No! Shifted. And to the wrong place, too. Now there's others involved. Not good. My location's going to be tracked. I need to delete the gate's logs. All these kids... because of him? Time. 
time to end this. Tomi Kisaragi, one of the compatible. This just wasn't your day. Ryoko-san. I've got you cornered now, 426. It's time to pay for what you've done. Because of you, he's... You... You're still going on about Ida? I should kill you right here. <laughs> then do it. Shoot me. Go on. I'm serious! I'll do it! I'll take you on... Your condition's gotten worse. How long has it been since you've taken them? Guess I don't have much choice. I've got those pills, too. Go on. Take them. You're not gonna trick me, 426. I don't know what you've been told. But I'm not the one who infected the Sentinels. I'm not 426, Ryoko-san. We never lived too far apart. Ever since we were kids, wherever you went, I followed. My big sister, Ryoko. Don't you remember? Hey, come. Please, take them. This hideout isn't safe anymore. You need to take the ones outside and go back. Understand? I need to get out of here. He's not 426? Then whose fault is it? What's going on? I don't understand. Wait, I need to know. Well, well.
gotta do it. Thanks. Their target 
secure. Ending tactical analysis. Oh, jeez. That's not good. I found Miwa-chan with the drone. You found her? Oh, that's a relief. No, listen. Miwa-chan's heading right for the next terminal. What? Miwa-go, what are you doing? That girl has no sense of direction. We can't just leave her. I'm gonna go meet up with her. We'll make sure she runs somewhere safer. We're counting on you. Where's Kisaraki? Where did she just run off to? Well, uh, um... Kisaraki, what's your status? Answer me. <sighs> Kisaraki, the girl is... I know. I'll get back to the battle once Miwa goes safe. <sighs>
that kaiju just looks like it's got a big fan on it. What even is that thing? That's an Apsos. More officially, it's an APS feeder. Oh, that one. They're pretty nasty to fight. They can put up deflective barriers. Probably easier to say it's like a support kaiju that can give other kaiju shields. It's got shields? A shield matrix. The 4th Gen Sentinels have those as well. Oh, I get it. Like the one on Amiguchi-kun Sentinel. Your own 3rd Gen unit should have a weapon that can disable that too. The EMP stunner. I think that's the one. That'll stop the D-forces in their tracks with an electromagnetic pulse. The EMP should also deactivate any shields they have up too. That said, you'd be better off destroying them before they get the shields up at all.
I guess life comes kind of out fast. Let's see. What to do?
I can work. The practice round's over. Number 12, I'll try. Guy. Class is in session. Yeah! Are we winning? Man, we've got it rough. Number 20, moving out. I'll make it work.
vanished from the city. It looks like the battlefield is totally empty. He really evacuated 1.2 million people. You did all that, Chihiro? That's crazy, Chihiro-chan. What did she even do? The D-forces are coming. But it's like she said. Now we can fight without worrying about collateral damage. Yikes. There's a ton of those bug guys coming this way. They're bigger than tanks, but still too small for sentinels. They'll be pretty hard for us to hit. Workers. About eight meters in size. They're general-purpose drones that can handle any terrain. They can also link up with the quadruped units. They form a kind of crane arm. Come <laughs> on. 
Nothing special. What now?
not used to this thing. No fight I can't win. Number 21 on this the This is all pretty freaky. Jeez. You really gotta stop doing this.
Sentinel number 17. Created to fight against the tripods. It's also the robot that BJ used to pilot. His name? He's an alien that came from a highly civilized planet. His mission was to protect Earth from other... Secret eight. Buddy... You gotta stay quiet if we're gonna keep you hidden. Let's go. Let's go to the gate. I'm almost done with practice. We'll go there after. Sound good? Now to know, the gate. Now to know, let's go. Now to... I do feel bad locking you up in here, but I don't know where else to keep you safe. It's like I told you this morning. Sorry, BJ. But if I left you in my room, my brothers would come in. They'd be able to find you even if you were hiding. Once school's over, I'll help you find what you're looking for. You just gotta be a good boy until then, okay? or those men in black will find you. You really do seem to be everywhere. I'll come back during break. Just stay quiet until then, okay? So you're gonna be a good little alien, right? That means you gotta stay in there. I'm sorry I have to make you wait, but I'll be back soon. My room gets raided by my little brothers pretty often. Either way, I can't leave BJ at home. As for the track room, no one goes in there until after school. If I put him in my locker, odds are no one would see him. Again. Natsuno? Oh, hi. That box on the floor, it's yours, right? Uh, um, why? You always put it in your locker. Oh, you saw, huh? What is it, anyways? A clock? Uh... Um, what it is, is... Uh, well... It's a... It's a secret. Oh, I get it. Another silly UFO thingamajig. Whatever. Just put it away before Senpai sees. <sighs> oh, boy. She's gone now. <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information, after all. If BJ is about to be seen by someone, I'll just hide him in my PE bag. Crisis averted. <sighs> you don't have any idea, do you? What would happen if they found you? 
you'd end up in Area 51, dissected on a table. Okay, we're here. Activate gate. Sentinel search range. Where should we look this time? How about Sector 1? Sector 1 has been searched. No Sentinel found. I see. Bomber. What about Sector 2? 2065. We have been there. That's where we saw the tripods. It's too dangerous. What's that one at the bottom? Sector 5. 1945. Whoa. So we can travel to the past, too? Hey, that's the year the Pacific War ended. Let's check it out. Access code approved. Designating sector. building is all old and musty in my time. But it smells like fresh wood. They must have just built the place. This all feels like a dream. Check it out, BJ. It's my school in the past. You really can drift back and forth through time, can't you? Not you know. I know, I know. We have to be careful not to change anything in the past, or else we'll totally screw up the future. This is my classroom. The sign looks a little different, though. If we're 40 years in the past, then Dad's only three years old. He's probably at Grandma's house. I'd love to see that. A quick peek wouldn't hurt, would it? There's something old now to know. Man, okay. So, is the Sentinel here? I've detected a drone signal. An active Sentinel is present. So... Someone's here. We've gotta hide. Hmm. <sighs> Goto-san. Right on time. <gasps> Here's your pill supply for the month. 
Are these the same ones I had last month? Why do you ask? Please, just be honest with me. The pills you've been giving me, they let me see the future. But these new pills are different. I feel awful when I take them. And they make me forget what I've seen in my dreams. You must continue your treatment. They'll completely eliminate your nightmares. Nightmares? These don't feel like... Trust me. They'll help you revert to your original state. We're putting an end to this operation. Goto-san, please wait! I can't forget. It's our only hope of survival. It's no use. I can't remember. The weapon at Ayame Pass. No. I can't remember anything. Was that Goto-senpai? How's that even possible? How could he be here? Forty years in the past. Maybe it was his grandpa. Looked just like him. A sentinel at Ayame Pass. Huh? The place that woman mentioned. All right, Ayame Pass. Wait, you mean where the park is? There is no park in 1945. Let's go. If BJ is... Try not to ditch me! Can't believe we're running around in a military base. What if they find us? So this is the Sentinel. It's huge! How does someone lose something so freaking big? The Sentinels are linked to the shifter. It was shifted here. Crazy. Anyhow, I'm just glad we found it. This is Sentinel number 19. Wait, so it's the wrong one? Right. You said number 17. Correct. We're searching for Sentinel number 17. Number 19. Belong to a comrade. I cannot pilot his sentinel. What happened to him? I have confirmed a cease in his vital functions. Do you mean... he's... Correct. He is dead. BJ. A critical change has been detected. Huh? The Sentinel's primary system has been altered. Someone bypassed and rebuilt it. I don't really know what that means. Maybe one of the people here did something to it. That would be impossible with the technology of this era. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow at 0800. <gasps> Someone's coming! If BJ is... I don't understand. Why is Professor Doji suspending operations? I know the Sentinel like the back of my hand. And I have no problem taking it to the front lines. Even there, I can perform at full power. So, why... All right, enough. 
I'm starting to sound like Takatoshi-san. Nothing to get riled up over. I'm sure the people in charge have their reasons. Once the order comes, I'll be ready to lay down my life. And even if it never does, I'll still be ready. He's gonna fight too? Dang! Now someone's coming from the other way! Jeez! It's been a while, number 19. Let's have a look at you. Huh. Well, it looks like an alternate route was successfully created. It actually worked. And on my second test subject, no less. Impressive, Keitaro Miura. Nanomachine reconstruction agitates the brain. But you endured the process without losing your mind. With this data, I'll be able to take over the Sentinels. Goodness, I should be on my way. Professor Doji's security detail will return any moment. As promised, I'll remove the lock on the Sentinel. And there's one more thing I'd like to do. Just for good measure. There we go. As long as they come into contact with Miyorakun, the data should spread to the others. Who was that guy? Very should leave. Let's hurry. Yeah, you're right. We're here, BJ. Someone's coming! Quick, hide! I'm pleased the data is complete. I suppose negotiating with the professor was the right choice. The settings have been tampered with. Was someone just here? It seems this gate has been compromised as well. I'll set it back to its original key. I'd best take my leave. Just use the gate? Is he an alien too? He changed the key. I can no longer shift. Seriously? We can't go home? Analysis will be complete in 78 hours and 24 minutes. I can't stay here that long. Can't we find another way back to the future? The gate and the sentinel are the only safe methods of shifting. The sentinel? What was that just now? Someone else is coming. If BJ is... It came from around here, I think. Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe I saw a visiting god. <laughs> Not likely. So much for my first day of time off. It's already night. Shihiro's probably worried about me. Shh. <laughs> State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you?
Why so tense? It's your house. Take a load off. <sighs> Ignoring me, huh? You must think you're so cool. People notice you're always alone, you know. Aww. Come on, you're always so sensitive. A real high maintenance girl, aren't you? I was trying to say that you're smart. Friends are pointless. They'll all be toast once the end comes. Being alone is the most logical solution. What should I make for dinner? I think we have some ground beef. I'll make Juro's favorite meal. Time to cook some Hamburg steak. And done. You really are an unpleasant cat. <laughs> Be honest. You know you like me. The first time you saw me, you were all fluffy, fluffy. Chasing me around with that dumb look on your face. That, that's not true. So, what did you think about your first time? <sighs> did you already forget? You know, with the gun. And you shooting Renya Goto? Don't say it like that. Don't go all gooey on the inside now. Come on, you can tell me. What was it like? Shooting that pale, arrogant prick. It felt great, didn't it? My first task after agreeing to the contract. The first witch I sealed. I wonder what happens to them. All right, whenever you're ready. If you're ready, that is. Easy for you to say, but actually pointing a gun at someone is just... It's not just a gun, it's a magical gun. Or would you rather it be a magical kitchen knife? I don't want that. You extinguish the evil in the person you shoot. Oh, if they could, they'd thank you for saving them. Still... Ready or not, here he comes. Hmm. Yakushiji. It was quite unexpected of you to ask for me. What do you need? Um... Well, I just wanted to see how things were going. You didn't need to call me out here to do that. Why didn't you just come to the hangar? I, um, don't really like looking at that robot too much. I see. Anyway, we need a password to remove the infection. But it has yet to be found. If you gotten the Sentinel right now, You'd likely end up in the same state as Juro. You don't say. This is insane. I can't just shoot someone. This is ins. Anyway, we need a password to remove the... Look over here. Oh. Just shoot him already. Idiot. This is insane. Don't worry. We'll find the answer before they arrive. And if you don't, 
Then we fight with the Sentinels as they are. We couldn't possibly win like that. Maybe so, but we cannot do nothing. At least Juro has not lost his ability to fight. <sighs> I won't let him hurt Juro again. I have a better idea. <sighs> oh no! What have I done? You shot him in the arm. That'll do. Are you sure he's not hurt? Yeah, yeah, he'll just be a little loopy. How am I supposed to face him after this? It's called a magical gun for a reason, numbnuts. His memories of before and after being shot will be all fuzzy. He won't even remember coming to meet you. Well, we should probably make ourselves scarce now. Wait! My first task after agreeing to the contract, it's not something I like to think about. I only did what you asked me to do. What I asked you to do? You shot him in the arm, from point-blank range. I didn't ask you to pull off a stunt like that. But as long as it was on some part of his body, it shouldn't matter where I hit him, right? Oh, maybe I chose the wrong person. This one's got no sense of ownership. Your future's looking pretty bleak, kid. Listen, this isn't some idiot child's errand. We have a contract. Do I need to say it slowly for you? I'll grant your wish. And in exchange, you shoot the witches I tell you to. That was the deal. All you gotta do is shoot them, I don't care where. But if you fail, our contract is broken. Oh. Shouldn't you have already made up your mind about this? Yes. I have. Oh, that reminds me. Make sure the gun is loaded before you use it again. It's still in your bag, right? Well, go on then. Let's see the magical gun. This gun... is it really magical? will do. You do see how tall I am, right? Put it on the floor. Still has enough magical bullets. Good, good. You never know when you might need to use this. So always make sure it's loaded. You keep calling this thing magical. So why does it have to be a gun? What does it matter? You'd rather it be a sparkly, magical wand? What? You want to put on a frilly pink skirt? And wave around your magic stick like some idiot? <laughs> All right. You made your point. It's for you to shoot witches. That's why it's a gun. Ah, oh, hell. He's coming. Well, time's up. We'll discuss the next witch tomorrow. 
Meet me at school. I thought I smelled something good. Have you had dinner? I just made some. Would you like to join me? <laughs> no. I won't fall for that again. You can only stay here the rest of this month. Yes, of course. But I did already make this, so... It would be a shame to waste it. Mm. Well, I wouldn't want all this to be thrown away. <sighs> Fine. I'll eat. Thank you. to be seen together. That's why we've been leaving at different times. A meeting like this defeats the purpose. Should we start going together then? <sighs> You're missing the point. Oh. Yo. Good morning, Amiguchi-kun. Morning. Hmm? What's oh. up? Oh, uh, it, it's nothing. What are you listening to? Just brushing up on my English conversations. Wow. I'm obviously kidding. I'm jamming to rock, of course. Oh, well, your grades are always so good. It seemed believable. <laughs> you think so? I was wondering, can I come over today? Sure, why not? Great. Oh, right. Gonna swing by the vending machines before class starts. Okay, I'll see you after school. haven't spotted the witch yet. I'll keep a lookout. Meet me after school. In the passageway outside the old building. Got that? Teacher asked me to carry this stuff. From the old building, you know? That place is freaking scary at night. It's all dark and totally deserted. I heard some shady people hang out there now. of different kaiju. If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? You've never seen it before? You're so interesting, Fuyasaka-san. That girl. I hope she turns out to be a witch. Kushiji. So, you and that girl. Looks like you two are pretty close. <laughs> what are you talking about? More importantly, why are you talking to me? We'd get expelled if they knew we were living together. That's why we decided not to talk to each other at school.
I have to go. Fluffy's waiting for me. Fluffy. Huh? There's nobody here. Why are you hiding? Here, kitty kitty. The hell are you doing? Huh? But you were just over there. All right, crazy. Come on, it's time to work. <sighs> the next witch is inside the old building. He's a boy with short hair and is wearing a school uniform with no buttons. So I just shoot him and his powers will be sealed, right? Uh-huh. Now, there could be one small hiccup. He's got a very not magical gun, and he might use it on you. That seems like a pretty big hiccup to me. Well, in case you've never been shot before, it hurts. So... Uh. real? What do you get out of here already? There's no one here. Maybe he made a mistake. Stomping around with your gun out like that? You're not sneaking up on anyone that way. So you've been hiding. You're from Sector 3. <gasps> you're from back then. So you're the one. You're one of Juro's friends. What are you doing here? It doesn't concern you. I don't think this was your idea. Who are you being used by? I'm fine with being used. If it's for Juro, I'll do whatever I have to. Wait!
Juro, where are you? The last place the Sentinel was seen. It should be somewhere nearby. One sentinel to do all this? Unbelievable. Please, you have to help him! The moment you enter the sentinel, you inflict irreversible damage to your brain. Your memory is destroyed. In worst case, you become a husk. <gasps> Just being inside for a few minutes can be fatal. Izumi endured that pain. He fought in there for over two hours. He displayed incredible strength, but... You understand, don't you? It's too late for him. Are you from the future, too? There was a time I fought alongside him. So you're one of his comrades, and yet... You won't even try. Please! There must be something you can do! Izumi was a dependable and true ally. I will mourn this loss as well. I'm back. 
I guess Juro hasn't come home yet. Fluffy isn't here either. I should get dinner ready. What should I make for dinner? I think we have some fish. I think Juro would like some fish. I'll grill some mackerel. Oh, and simmer some taro. And done. I'm home. Wow. What a feast. Miracle. Did you make all of this? Amazing. We'll eat once Juro gets back. Why don't you go wash up while we wait? Right. Sounds like you're pretty hungry. It's okay. I will wait. Well, it seems like Juro is going to be late. Go ahead and eat before it gets cold. No, I could never. Please, I insist. Go ahead. Uh, uh, are you sure? But what about you, Megumi-san? Don't worry. I'll eat with Juro. I see. In that case, I'll do as you suggest. Thank you for always preparing our meals. It was as delicious as ever. Oh, thank you. Can I help you with anything? That's okay. I've already put away the cutting board and everything. Why don't you go watch some TV and relax? TV? That's better. Mm. You know, Miyura-kun, you don't have to wear your hat in the house. The surgical scar on your forehead doesn't bother me. How did you know this scar was from surgery? Did I tell you? Oh. Oh. Well... It, um... Just a lucky guess. I see. Oh. It all happened right here. And that's that. Keitaro Miura is a witch. You can't overlook him just because he lives here. But Juro could be home any minute. Does it have to be now? Yes, right now. <sighs> now, on to the next headline. The video store explosion that occurred today in Keiakicho. An investigation found that the accident was the result of a gas leak. This is what happened before. Don't come over here, you coward. Hurry up and shoot him right in the forehead. Oh. wear your hat, even when you eat. Megumi-san? Why is that? It's because... I have a scar on my forehead. I thought it might be unpleasant. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. That's 
car. It allows you to pilot a sentinel. Isn't that right? How do you know about that? You want to know how? I'll tell you. But can you show me your forehead first? <sighs> Sorry, but I have no choice. This will hurt, but you'll soon forget. I'm sorry, Miyurakun. Don't touch him. He's dangerous. <clears throat> Just as I thought. He's had surgery. There's a component embedded in his forehead. It forces them to use their magic. Who would do such a thing? Humans, obviously. There's many that greatly covet this power. But it's not entirely bad. That component gave him immunity to the curse. This is a good catch. The curse? Yes, he is able to use magic and not suffer the same fate as Juro. Huh? All right, you see him. It won't be long before he wakes. I'd get out of here if I were you. A curse, huh? Next, we bring you a follow-up report on the gas explosion in Kiyakicho. The administration claims these explosions are being taken seriously. Gas companies have been put on immediate notice and instructed to be vigilant in their inspections. Gas explosions? Something doesn't feel right. I'm home. Huh? Mira. Sure. Have you been at home the entire day? <laughs> Welcome back. Dinner's on the table for you. It's fine. I'm not hungry, actually. Come on. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you start. Why do you care about me so much anyways? Oh, is that... bad? <sighs> Just quit treating me like a child. Miyurakun? What's wrong? I'm sorry. But there's somewhere I need to go. I won't be long. A gas explosion? I need to see for myself. Top half of the third. Fluffy. Shimada coming in to pinch hit. He's close again on a thousand hits. This could be it. You failed to shoot a Sekigahara. You're going too damn slow. All right, sorry. Why were you taking so long in there anyways? Striking stupid poses with your gun doesn't accomplish anything. When it comes to things like this, you need to do the deed quick. Quickly, you got that? <sighs> I'm sorry I didn't catch that. Got it. Well, nothing that can be done about it now. But you'd better not screw up this time. This time? Shu Amiguchi, the floppy-haired dunce that hangs around Juro. He is also a witch. <gasps> you should still have some bullets left. Seal his powers tomorrow. Think you can handle that? I'll get it done. weren't you? Uh -uh. I keep telling you, if they find out, we'll, we'll get expelled. expelled. <laughs> yeah, I know. <sighs> right. Oh. 
go. Good morning, Amiguchi-kun. Huh? What's up? What do you want? Huh? I'm not here to talk to you, Kurabe-kun. It's you I'd like to see, Amiguchi-kun. Me? You're from 1C, aren't you? I am. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Cool. So what can I do for you? Well, I don't really want to talk about it here. Could we meet somewhere later? Just the two of us? <sighs> oh, I see. How about after school? Let's say, the roof of the new building? The roof? Yep. I'll be waiting. It's hard being so popular. Does that bother you? No. Bye. I see. Fluffy. I know what you're going to say. Do the deed quick, right? I won't fail this time. Ugh. You better not. So I heard about the delinquents at our school. Apparently, they used to be a lot worse. I heard that too. My senpai told me. Ogata-kun from 1D really reformed them. But isn't he a delinquent too? Yeah, but he's different from the others. Plus, Amiguchi-kun hangs out with him. Oh, he is so dreamy. How'd you do on that quiz? <sighs> Terrible. Man, pop quizzes just aren't fair. Hey, you know Amiguchi? He's a first year like us. The girls fawn over him. He's great at sports. And his grades are higher than those nerds that study all the time. Wow, he's really got it all. Totally unfair, man. Shu Amiguchi. I wonder if he's already on the roof. this thing. You're one dangerous girl. Can't have things go that way. I need to wait for the right moment. Yakushiji-san, from 1C. She stopped me this morning. Told me she had something to talk to me about. This shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry, really. But I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Oh, sorry. Awkward. 
So, what do you need? I guess I just assumed. Sorry about that. Well, what is it then? <sighs> To apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. Uh. Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20, transmitting. Uh. What the hell did you do this time? Fluffy! He must have come into contact with Miura, too. Damn it, how irritating. Juro, he... he saw me do it. I'll take care of it. What are you still doing here? I need to manipulate his memories. And make him forget everything he saw. You think I can do that with you hanging around? Take a hint and scram!
Don't tell me I got stuck with a wimpy one. Its shoulder gyros can carry up to 600 tons, so it can fly, but it's about a quarter of the weight of a third gen. But hey, that's some crazy mobility, Yuki-chan. Besides, it's got a lot of power in those legs, right? The spiked heels are powerful pile bunkers. They can also release a high voltage surge to overload enemy internals. But that requires a massive amount of energy. If you overuse it without any cooldown, you'll find yourself out of power fast.
What's the plan? Just fight! Like no fight, I can't win.
you guys go on ahead. I'm giving my Sentinel a break for repairs. I'll go find a motorcycle nearby and catch up. Stealing bikes again? Thought you said you were gonna stop that shit. Hey, don't say it like that. I'm just borrowing it. Cut me some slack, man. It's an emergency. Could you give me a ride? You're dismounting too, Shinonome Senpai? Sure, let's go. You're gonna let her ride behind you? Yeah, what's wrong with that? <gasps> Don't tell me you're... No, dumbass, I am not jealous. I got places to be. Guess we pushed them back.
Kaito-kun found the math on how many kaiju were produced, but those figures aren't matching up with what we're seeing. By now, you've taken down more than we ever thought were made. Maybe his numbers were off. No, the math was based on the factory in 2105, running at full capacity. Our own projections corroborated what he found. Then, what does this mean? Why are there so many? Wait, what's that? Warning, the Daimon signatures identified. Enemy in range. Strange. That kaiju isn't in our data. It must be a new model. Hey, the signals are picking up fast. Oh, shit. Is that thing making more? I know this one. It wasn't meant for land or terraforming. It was in the data for interstellar development. An RPF. That's a roving production facility. Guess we know how they boosted their numbers now.
single kaiju type too. More of those flies? No, this one looks like it's churning out twin tails. Thanks. They're like no point over. They're like any other punks. Number ten, Gotta moving keep it out. Together. What's our plan? Now! Take that! Threat suppressed. What do I do? They're like it. Okay. They're like it. They ought to be used to fights by now. I'll take them down quick. Deploying decoys. Nah, I gotta think. Sentinel number 13. We will not Defensive lose. Defensive mode active. Initiating shield. I'll try. Let's do this. Take it. See ya. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Again. This RPF looks like it's working on drum mines. Those self-destructing ones? Just our luck. Lucky to have her. I'm going to try reaching the mainframe. If 
I'm home. Oh. Shiro. Um. What is it? You're making a weird face. Huh? Um. Well, because of what happened on the roof today. The roof? What are you talking about? He really did alter his memories. It's nothing. I'll start making dinner. Oh, you don't have to. I'll just make instant noodles or something later. You can't eat that for dinner. It won't take long, so hang on just a bit. Okay? I really just wanted some ramen. Now to the ongoing story of the American helicopter crash. Huh? During a routine flyby, a U.S. military helicopter clipped Sakura High School at low altitude. Uh. 
and crash landed into Ayame Park. A U.S. military helicopter? That was definitely a sentinel. Did Fluffy do this too? Oh. What a nice evening. Fluffy. Fortunately, there were no injuries reported in the aftermath of the U.S. military helicopter crash. First gas explosions, now helicopter crashes. Human cities really are the worst. There was no U.S. helicopter crash. It was different from the one Juro was piloting. But it was a sentinel. Altering the news is part of your powers, too? You think cats are some kind of little furry gods? You're no cat. Well, duh. It'd be pretty crazy if there was a talking cat wandering around. Wait a minute. What if you're the crazy one? Maybe I'm just a figment of your imagination. Maybe there's no such thing as magic. Juro's memories of what happened on the roof. You really did erase them. You gave me no choice. But if you can do it so easily, what's to say you won't do the same to me? Well, nothing really. So it's possible that you won't restore his memories, and are just using me for your own personal gain. If I was a bad guy, sure. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Clark's three laws, huh? Well, guess there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'm a cat-like robot from the future. I even gave you a secret gadget. Oh yeah, the time machine's inside your desk drawer. Wanna check out my four-dimensional pocket? Quit messing with me. The Daimos Code. By sealing those that hold power, we'll be able to defeat the Kaiju. That's what you said, right? I said that you all wouldn't have to die. Tell me what you're really trying to do. Otherwise, I won't help you anymore. That's going against our contract. Fine, I'll make an exception this time. Even if you seal the witches, the kaiju will still come. Then what are we sealing them for? This is a game. A game of survival. I've simply been readying the playing field. And now the witches will join in the fight. They'll have no choice but to take their sentinels into battle. Then, what I've been shooting them with is... A magic that forces them onto the battlefield. No. Anything can be resolved with a magical spell. A happy ending for everyone. You know that's not the way it works. Your world's future is on the line. You need to fight to win it. I'm just here to watch it happen. You're talking to me way too much today. What does it matter to you who I am anyways? Your only concern is for Juro, right? I've been looking for memories in that busted brain of his. It's like trying to sift through mud, and it's all for you. But if you want to break our contract, then I'll stop right now. It won't be hard to find someone more capable than you. An honest girl who actually wants her wish granted. <sighs> now, if you plan on upholding your end of the contract, then I need proof. I want you to shoot your friend. 
Tomi Kisaragi. She's a witch. I can't do that! Remember your contract. Remember it real good. Tomi! Juro? Why are you sleeping out here? You're gonna catch a cold. Don't wake him up. You again. But how? I said, don't wake him up, idiot. I'm fixing him. This prank is starting to get on my nerves. I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Is someone trying to test me? You really are a suspicious one, aren't you? Your cute girl charm is quickly wearing off. It's time to start accepting your reality. But... talking cats don't exist. That's right. And yet here I am. Even better, I know your wish. Hasn't Juro said anything to you? Something about his dreams, perhaps? Now that you mention it, he did say he had a dream about getting in a robot. Yes, I've been digging through his memories. Will that make him remember everything? Maybe, if they're still in there. I can find memories and put them back into an empty head. Pretty amazing, I know. Well, that's the end of your trial period. I gave you a preview of the benefits you'll get from me. Anything further requires a contract. <sighs> oh, fine, I'll answer any questions you have. And then, you have to decide. After you agree, there'll be no more questions. I expect you to carry out your duties with no complaints. What exactly are you? A magic cat, obviously. You said you came from a world that was destroyed? That's right. My world was destroyed by Daimos. Daimos? You mean the kaiju, right? You heard that from Juro Izumi, didn't you? The curse that summons them. That's the Daimos Code. And all the witches in this world are affected by it. Let's say I do agree to this contract. How do I know you'll hold up your end of the deal? Well, aren't you rude? Cats are free spirits, but they are not con artists. A cat who betrays his word is nothing more than an animal. If you don't trust me, then say so. You're only wasting time. <sighs> Can you tell me more about the witches? They are those born with the power of magic. Piloting sentinels, using gates. It's only a fraction of their power. And Juro is one of them? That's right. He's a witch, too. The Daimos Code. You mentioned that before. You said it was a relic of an ancient civilization? A terribly old relic from a magical civilization that existed millions of years ago. But if it's from that long ago, humans would have still been apes. It's pretty crazy, right? What will I have to do to fulfill my end of the contract? At least a general idea. 
Your job isn't hard. First, I will give you one of my magical tools. You will use that to seal the witches. Seal them? What happens after that? The Daimos Code will call the Kaiju. If you seal the witches that have access to it, you will be able to live longer than you are fated. Don't be shy. Ask me something. If you're not going to ask anything, then make your choice. Don't be shy if you're not going to ask him. I'm sorry, but having a contract with the cat is just too weird. Whatever, your choice. Have a nice life with Juro. No, wait! Maybe I just need to think about it some more. Ugh, women are so indecisive. Don't be shy if you're not... You can fix Juro, right? Sifting through someone's head is what I'm best at. Oh. Okay. I will accept your contract. Then it's settled. Now, this should go without saying. But this agreement between us... If anyone finds out, the contract will be broken. And you'll never see me again. Oh. What's your real name? Call me whatever you want. Well, I don't know then. You called me something when you saw me at school. What was it? Oh, um... Fluffy. Now, how lame. Not very original, are you? Lots of things are fluffy. Well, whatever. I guess that's fine. in forever. Yeah. Good Me morning, Osami-chan. Morning. I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. You don't want to go with your friends? You're my friend, too. Or did you forget that? Well, anyways. I noticed something the other day. It was how unusually quiet your room was. So you can understand my surprise when I saw that all your things were gone. Right. I'm sorry for not saying anything. It's okay. Just kind of feels like a waste. Not taking advantage of the apartment Shikishima got for us. Huh. Then again, they are Showa-era buildings. So I guess they're not that great. So, where are you living now? Oh, um, at Juro Karabe's house. Hold up, you're living with him? Seriously? You have Morimura's permission for that, right? Well, probably. Oh. You've changed, Megumi. You think so? You've been way more proactive since you came here. Which is a good thing and all, it's just... Well... You know, he's not... I know that. But 
I don't care. Since the day Juro showed up, no matter how much the world might change, I decided that I would always be by his side. Oh. Aha, oh, sheesh, Megumi. But I get it. I'll help any way I can. We're friends, you know? You can talk to me about anything. Oh, right. Thank you. Come on, we're gonna be late. Tomi, I don't deserve your friendship. I hope one day you can forgive me. and strawberry milk. And for me, we'll go... Uh, yakisoba pon and melon pon. No, wait, not melon pon. She wanted a cornet. Hmm. So counting mine, I need two cornets? Hmm, I also wanted a tuna sandwich. Oh, with milk and a tea to drink. You sure you want to wait here? If you don't hurry, they're gonna... run out. <laughs> Tired of the chaos buying a piece of bread brings. From today on, I'll only have nice, relaxing bentos from mom. Saragi. Oh, good timing. Hold this. Hey. All right. One more time. Hey, wait. I need to buy something too. Fine. What do you want? Oh, uh, Anpan. I thought you didn't like sweets. Huh? I like sweets. Well, whatever. I'll get yours too. Keep holding that. Tony. Hmm? You trying to buy bread too, Megami? Yeah. Get something for you too? Oh, no, I'm still looking. If you don't decide soon, there's gonna be nothing left. Okay. Out of the way, you nerds! Tony, please forgive me. Tony, what happened? Are you okay? Hang on. Don't push yourself. <laughs> no. Anpan. Do you need me to take you to the nurse's office? Huh? The cafeteria? Why are you here? Oh, right. Rock, paper, scissors. Hmm. What else did I need to buy? <sighs> Thank you. 
That girl. Hey, you. Hang on a sec. I saw you. You did something to Kisaragi in the cafeteria, didn't you? Huh? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Hang on. Don't play dumb. And this isn't just about Kisaragi. <gasps> I can't remember it exactly, but... You were the one who helped me before, I think. Is that right? Please stop. If you don't leave me alone, I'll call for help. that it was her I'm home. Oh. Juro, are you sleeping? Uh, Yakushiji? Sorry, did I wake you? That dream, the woman at Sumire Bridge, it was Fuyusaka-san. What? Oh no, you heard me? Fuyusaka-san is in your class, right? This has nothing to do with you. <sighs> was he dreaming or remembering? And why about her? What a nice evening. Fluffy. Juro's dream mean? What are you talking about? The one about Iori Fuyusaka. Why is he dreaming about her? Don't ask me. I had nothing to do with it. Seems like he dreamt it on his own. Oh. He is a boy, and right at that special age. No surprise he dreams about the girl he's into. That's not true. Could that really be true? Does Juro have feelings for that girl? You know what that means. You're in the past now, right? Well, maybe this, Juro. Enough. How about I give you an order that'll change that? Yori Fuyusaka's a witch. So she's one too. Indeed. Time to shoot and drag her onto the battlefield. Fluffy? Is this your idea of a joke? What are you doing? you get here?
Are you trying to mess with me? Oh, what? What's up with you? Is this about the other night? No, that has nothing to do with it. I knew you were being annoying. Uh, maybe I need a break. You'll feel better after you shoot Fuyusaka. You know you want to. I'm only doing it because she's a witch. They say jealousy is flattering. But lying about it is just sad. Did you want to talk about? <sighs> Juro is mine. How dare you try to take him away from me? No, that's not why I'm doing this. This is for him. Um. So. for Juro. Kurabe-kun? But... is it really? Who is this for? <gasps> this is for me. Yakushiji-san? Even so. Why am I... How did I get here? 
here. What did you do to Yuri-chan? Oh. Miwa-chan? This girl's been acting strange to Yuri-chan. I saw her just this morning in front of the school. She was talking to the gate, like you could talk back or something. <gasps> to the... gate? You mean you couldn't see Fluffy? Oh my god, she even named it! This must be it. Of course, the track room's all the way in the back. Oh. <laughs> You got tall, Nachan. Your hair's so long, Yuki-chan. I almost didn't recognize you. You're the one who told me to grow it out. Remember? That's right. You stopped writing back to me. I was worried, you know. Yeah, sorry. A lot of things happened after the move. But I just got transferred here. Today's my first day. Really? I knew you went to this school, too. Figured I'd find you eventually. It's good to see your face again. Though, I never took you for a track girl. <laughs> oh, there's so many things I want to talk to you about. Aren't you in the middle of practice right now? I've got to get somewhere, too. But now, we can see each other anytime. Totally. Keep working hard, Nachan. You know it. Later! See you tomorrow, Yuki-chan! Yuki-chan... So you're finally here. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school. But we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. Don't call me that. I don't like being called by my name. But I just heard... I didn't ask your opinion. Shut up! It's fine if it's her. Uh, you remember me, right? I don't know. Who are you again? How about the guy you were destined to meet? More like a random guy I bumped into in the shopping district. Don't get all weird about it. Aw, you're so cruel, Yuki-chan. I said, quit calling me that. Hey, I'm Iguchi. I've been looking for you. Ugh, Nenji Ogata. The hell? Well, well, well. If it isn't Takami of Suzu High. What are you doing on our turf? Not trying to stake a claim, are you? She just transferred here, actually. Built up a reputation as a tough guy. All the way back in middle school, actually. Every delinquent around here knows who he is. Some flirty rich kid who won't stop following me around. He seems to be close friends with a gang leader at Sakura. <laughs> the transfer, huh? You got the wrong uniform on, sweetheart. Oh, look, th that's... It's just because that damn Four Eyes made a mistake. I mean... Obviously. 
Don't want to go around wearing those girly skirts anyhow. Seems kind of weird if you ask me. A transfer at this time of year? Maybe that's just how it happened for her. Or maybe she's trying to pull some shit. Hey, just lay off already. But why'd she come here of all places? Why here? Well... Found her. Go on, then. I've been waiting for you. You're dismissed. I'd like to speak with her alone. Yuki Takamiya, 16 years old. A first year at Suzugamine Girls High School. Entered a boys school and engaged multiple delinquents. Twelve of which were sent to the hospital. Your reputation precedes you. I went to Nigakuri to settle a score. And somehow the cops managed to sniff me out. One of those dicks must have snitched. Any of those Kuri boys end up dead. Three had bone fractures, the others just bruises and scrapes. <laughs> That's too bad. Hmm. Got something to say? They're the ones who laid their filthy hands on my friend. All I did was give them what they had coming. None of your damn business anyways. <laughs> you seem a little tense. Allow me to get to the point. We've taken notice of your particular set of... skills. We'd like to work with you. Seriously? And by that, you mean selling out my friends? I'm not gonna be your stooge, and I don't work with cops. Go find some other sucker. Your father, Heita Takamiya, currently serving a sentence for the murder of a gang member. Yeah? So what? There have been attempts on his life by other inmates. Not surprising, since the man he killed was a gang leader. I imagine it's a matter of reputation for them. Your father has been assaulted twice, but he is alive. For now. <sighs> now, if we were so inclined, it would be quite easy to transfer him to a safer facility. Contingent on your cooperation, of course. God, I hate you already. He's behind bars for stabbing a Yakuza. Maybe he's nothing but a two-bit gangster, but... he's the only real family I have. On to business, then. Are you familiar with Shikishima Industries? Publicly, they manufacture a wide range of products. Rockets, planes, trains, ships, even home appliances. Not so publicly, it seems they're also developing nuclear weapons. We suspect they are colluding with another nation to do so. And what does that have to do with me? We began investigating, and found that several miners are connected to these weapons. All of these children are of high school age, and are being rounded up at a school affiliated with Shikishima. Shikishima. It's that company with all those commercials for TVs and fridges. So they're making weapons, too? So they're using kids to make nuclear weapons? This shit sounds ridiculous. All right, so they're making weapons. But what do these kids have to do with it? I'm glad to see I've piqued your interest. Take a look at those documents on the table. It's a list of their names. If you bastards got that much dirt on them, why don't you just bust into Shikishima yourselves? We'd prefer not to have this go public. And the less the police are involved, the better. Wait, if you're not the cops, then who the hell are you guys? We are a special investigations unit. 
government established and affiliated. Some might call us spies. I am director of the SIU and your superior. Before we get into the specifics of the job, do you have any questions for me? Ugh. Class 1B, Iori Fuyusaka. Class 2A, Renya Goto. More Class 1, Kisaragi, Karabe. <laughs> Class 1C, Natsuno Minami. We need someone to investigate these students. And that someone is you, Yuki Takamiya. Not John. But why her? <sighs> Who's this? Allow me to introduce you. This is Ryoko Shinonome. She is another undercover investigator and your superior. Just as she did, you'll be transferring to Sakura High School. We'll handle the paperwork. Hey, pump your brakes, you old man. I haven't agreed to any of this shit yet. They got dirt on you too, Dopey? Is she the one? Yes, she is. Hey, I'm talking to you. She doesn't look like she knows much. I can already tell I'm not gonna like you. <sighs> that damn Four Eyes. He says there's some spy agency. It's short for Special Investigations Unit. They may not be cops, but they're honestly all the same to me. You have quite the abrasive personality. You have... We're not finished. Do you accept your assignment? I don't give a shit about your assignment. Well then, I think it's safe to say we're not getting through to her. Don't worry. She will work with us. It's her destiny after all. No sign of her today, either. Where are you, Nachan? Shiro. Uh. Hey, you! Got a sec? You're in class 1C. That right? Yes. Did you need something or Hmm. Natsunomi Nami. Not Natsunomi Nami. Not Nami's in your class, isn't she? Oh, yeah. She's been out for three days now. Have you heard anything? The teacher just said she was out sick. Did they hear from her directly? I don't know. Hmm. Sorry for bothering you. Okay. 
What should we do? Stop by Natsuno chan's house again? Those weird guys might still be there, though. <sighs> Got a sec. Nachon. I heard you talking about Natsunomi Nami. Who are you? Takamiya, but that's beside the point. I want to know what's going on with Natsuno. Why hasn't she been coming to school? It sounds like she hasn't been at home either. We went to her house yesterday, but her mom just kept apologizing over the intercom. The police were there, too. Were they really the police, though? <sighs> well, that's worrying. Thanks for letting me know. Usami-chan! Sorry, did I keep you waiting? It's okay. Let's get going. Nachon hasn't been at home, either. And those cops... Or whatever they are. What were they doing there? What are you doing? What's your problem? You remember your orders, don't you? You're supposed to keep a low profile. Hmm. I can't recall. Maybe you've forgotten about your father, too. What did you say? <laughs> One more thing. Don't go looking for Natsunomi Nami. What? Those guys they thought were the police. They're agents with the SIU. In any case, Natsunomi Nami isn't your concern. She's a part of my assignment. So stay out of my way. Are we clear? Hey! Hold on! What could have happened to Nachan? I bet that four-eyed bastard has some answers. Time to do what I do best. This is unacceptable. I thought I made it clear that you are not to contact me. I need to know what happened to Natsunomi Nami. And I know you have answers. Teenagers run away from home all the time. That's what the police say, but the school insists she's out sick. Looks like nobody can get their story straight. So which is it, huh? I'm not an idiot, you know. Your suspicions are not unfounded. But our investigation is still ongoing. I don't have a clear answer myself. We don't know where she is, or even if she's still alive. The evidence so far points to kidnapping. Who the hell would want to kidnap her? Shikishima? They could have done it without anyone realizing she was gone. There'd be no need to draw such attention to themselves. No. Someone else is behind this. And that's who Shinonome is looking for? Someone at the school could be behind this. It's possible they are there even now. In any case, the situation is dangerous. I suggest you keep your nose out of it. Shinonome-kun has this under control. As for you, Takamiya-kun, you will continue to monitor the other students as instructed. Have I made myself clear? Through that. All right. Okay. What to do? This place is a dump. She... Not... There you are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> Don't you have...
have anything better to do? Takamiya-san, you are the Holmes. And I am the Watson, Erika Aiba, at your service. Please, call me Erika. I will do my best to assist you in solving mysteries. How would you like to start? I see. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. I met Aiba while I was trying to find out more about Nachan. Seems she likes me. Follows me around like a damn puppy dog. Even my steeliest glare doesn't phase her. Frickin' weirdo. Nachan, my childhood friend. We went our separate ways in middle school. But we still kept writing to each other. She's the only person I really care about. It's been several days since Minami-san has gone missing. She isn't sick, contrary to what her teacher says. And she didn't run away, contrary to the rumor that's been going around. It seems likely she was involved in something much more sinister. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. So, what should we do? Conduct interviews? <laughs> I love mystery novels. I've always wanted to be a detective, too. <sighs> I'm not playing pretend, you know. Uh, yes, of course. I am merely your capable assistant. Huh? Well, at least I'll try to be. What should we look into first? What? The wind feels nice. Been keeping this place all to yourself, huh? This is Amiguchi's. He got a 92? <laughs> Maybe he's not just a dumb pretty boy after all. And then again. He did ball this up and leave it on the ground. Yep, still an idiot. Some flirty rich kid who wants... Maybe Nachan's in here. Or not. Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Natsuno Minami's still out, huh? Seems like it. Did you notice anything strange about her? Before she started taking days off, I mean? Well... I haven't really thought about it. But now that you mention it, I noticed she was always hurrying to the track room at break. Even during class, she seemed to always be a bit anxious. The track room, huh? She was in the track room even during break. What was Nachan doing? Is there anything else you noticed? About Natsunomi Nami? Hmm. I did see her fervently scribbling something in her notebook. And it didn't seem like it was just notes on the lecture. Hmm. Huh? She was... She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Her name... It was Yakushiji. She's pretty dull, actually. 
Was there something else? Was there something at that damn four eye? Nachan was writing things in this notebook. Things that had nothing to do with her classes. Could it have something to do with her disappearance? Interviewing. Hmm. The word has such a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Have a minute. I got some things to ask you. Now you. You've been going to Natsuno Minami's house, yeah? Any news since? Oh. Can I help you? No. This girl. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Yuri Fuyusaka. You're the one next to her, in the red glasses. Her, too. Tomi... Kisaragi, I think? So, uh... Yes? Oh, could you be... I mean, the way you're dressed. Are you one of those Sukeban girls? <sighs> oh! Are you, like, hiding a razor in your skirt right now? Uh, of course not. This is the first time I've seen one in real life? Oh, wow. Uh, is your friend okay? Stay here. You're on the track team, right? I'm a second year and captain of the track team. Nachon. Did you need something? Did you need... I wanted to ask you about Natsuno Minami. She skipped out on our last few training sessions. But I guess she's out sick. Did she look sick to you? She looked fine to me. Right? <gasps> yep. I thought so too. Hello. Hello. I think it was after that one incident. That's when Minami-san started skipping training. And school, too, I guess. What incident? There was a fire in the North Building. Oh, yeah! Maybe it's unrelated. But... Right around the time of that fire, Nachan started skipping her training sessions for track. Could it be related? Nachon. You heard anything about that fire in the North Building? No, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. I can see it clearly now. The primary suspect. I am certain. Their intentions were not pure. Fire? In the North Building? Yeah. I heard an explosion started it. Really? I heard it was arson. You on the track team? Yes. You know anything about the fire in the North Building? No. Natsunomi Nami is too, right? 
Did you notice anything strange about her? Besides her being absent from school. Well, depends what you define as strange, but... Natsuno did stop coming to training. But I'd still see her in the locker room. Doing what? It seemed like she was there to get something. Something like... Some kind of UFO-looking thing? I don't know exactly. It just looked like a box when it was in her bag. A box in the locker room, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Something that the girl on the track team mentioned. She said Nachon went into the locker room to get a box. And described it as some kind of UFO gadget. Hmm. She was one of them. She's a name on the list in Four Eyes' file. Interview. Gata. Why are you here? It's a public roof, ain't it? I said, why are you here? Just checking if my handkerchief was dry yet. That handkerchief was yours? Yeah. So what? <laughs> I thought it was a girl's. <laughs> I heard there was a fire in the North Building. I also heard that it was caused by a certain cigarette-smoking delinquent. You trying to accuse me of something? First of all, I don't smoke. Second of all, the fire was in the girls' bathroom. And rumor has it, it wasn't even really a fire. Something happened in the girls' bathroom of the North Building. Something happened... So about not... I mean, Minami. What are you getting embarrassed for? You've called her that since you were kids, right? Right. So, Nachan. You know she's gone missing? Yeah. I do know. I suspect the black suits have something to do with that. Why do you say that? I saw Minami being chased by them one time. You what? What the hell is going on? Tim Four Eyes never mentioned that little detail. I also heard rumors about some kid in middle school. I guess he's been looking for her too. Something fishy's going on. But it's getting complicated. I can't keep up. The agent on Nachan's case. Shino Nome. Do I have to ask her for help after all? I mean, she is pretty messed up too. <sighs> have I answered enough of your questions yet? Get lost. Have I answered? Something happened. I want to take a look for myself. Let's go to that girl's bathroom in the North Building. Certainly.
Holy shit. Are you seeing this? There's no way all this was from a fire. Not one burn mark in sight. Seems more like a bear went on a rampage. There's signs of damage all over the place. This can't have been the work of just one person. These scratch marks... They're carved pretty deep in there. We are not allowed to be in here. Oh, we'll get in so much trouble if they find us. What is wrong with you? It just feels like we're actual detectives now. Judging from this level of destruction, I deduce that the perpetrator was... someone with an extreme hatred for girls' bathrooms. Uh... I have constructed a criminal profile. Hmm. Our suspect is... a maintenance lady, built like a bear. What do you think? Hmm. This isn't how I expected a crime scene to look. In mystery novels, the perpetrator's name is always written somewhere in blood. Yeah, when there's a dead body nearby. You really are strange. Someone's eyeglass frames. They're red. Probably belong to a girl. Any ideas? Who do you think these glasses belong to? Well, the glasses are broken, so they won't be wearing them anymore. Do you remember anyone wearing a pair like that? Now that I think about it, yeah, I do remember someone. Nachan's friend in Class 1B. And a name on Four Eyes' list. Tomi Kisaragi. Tomi Kisaragi. I think I saw her in the Class 1 hallway just now. I gotta find her. Maybe whoever those glasses belong to knows something. Oh! Wait for me! run off like that so suddenly. <laughs> I can't keep up. She was somewhere around here before. <sighs> Not here either. to the girls' bathroom in the North Building, that right? What happened there? Oh, what's with all the questions anyways? I know you were there. Are you talking about what happened in the North Building? I had nothing to do with it. Why would I go all the way there to use the bathroom anyways? <sighs> Are these your glasses? What's this all about? Go ahead. Take a closer look. Well, they do look the same as mine. But you probably noticed. I'm wearing mine right now. So obviously they can't be mine. Hmm. All right, listen up. These glasses were found on the floor of the bathroom. And you're the only one in this whole damn school that wears glasses as distinctive as these. So you're blaming me? What could I possibly gain from setting a toilet on fire? Fire? You're not messing with me, are you? Actually... Yeah? I saw her... the day of the incident. 
Usami-chan was in the North Building. But Miwako, <sighs> what the hell? But I really did see you there. I saw Natsuno-chan there too. Wait, what? Kisaragis. What the hell's going on? But what about Nachan? I, I mean, how did Natsuno Minami look? Hmm. She was in a hurry. She had her bag. Oh, yeah! On my way back from delivering the copies, I saw another girl. But she was covered in dust. It was really weird. And now that I think about it, she was coming from where the bathroom was. Who was it? Hmm. Well, she looked mild-mannered. And I know I've seen her face around here before. But I don't know which year or class. What's wrong? Oh, it's just that I think... I think I forgot something. I'm gonna go get it now. So two Tomi... and... a girl covered in dust. What in the hell happened? In the girl's bathroom? All right. So many mysteries about what happened in the girls' bathroom. But one thing's for damn sure. Nachan's definitely involved. Gotta look for more clues. This place is a dump. I've been looking for you.
can't go wrong with it. Some. Yeah. She. Not. She. Was, not. Some. Some. Right before the incident in the girls' bathroom, there was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. So that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. Some. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Maybe we should look around the girls' bathroom again. Oh, didn't I tell you? They've started renovating. Even if we can get inside, there's nothing to see anymore. Well, shit. That was fast. It's been... S I met Ibo. So... I'm... Which should... Maybe not Johnson. Have a Maybe we should look around. Again. Is your handkerchief dry yet? You really come all the way up here just to make fun of me? I really ain't in the mood to deal with you today. Just leave me alone, will ya? I... I think it may be ill-advised to associate with hoodlums.
That room is for authorized personnel only? It's just a damn locker room. Can't get in the locker room as long as that ditz is around. Guess I have no choice. I gotta ask for her help. I can... She was in the track room even during break. Oh, yeah? Yo, Iba. I want to take a look around the track room. But that goody two-shoes over there keeps stopping me. You want me to be a decoy? What? You don't want to do it? Oh, good heavens! You and I are partners, Takamiya-san. I shall not let you down. Yeah, okay. Just hold her attention until I get inside the room. Wait for me out here when you're done. I beg your pardon. Oh, yeah? I would like to inquire about Minami-san. You too? Oh, was there someone else? Well, yeah. Hmm. Tiny nameplates. Nachans. Found it. This must be that notebook. The one that girl in Nachan's class was talking about. She said she saw her fervently scribbling into it. Hmm, nothing I haven't already looked at. What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. I have finally encountered my destiny. He has arrived from outer space. An actual extraterrestrial being! In summary, whoa, aliens really do exist. These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and space itself. Who could have dreamed that their technology had such capability? An actual gateway to time travel, right in Tokisaka Shrine! He says he's looking for a robot. It's called Sentinel Number 17. Writing inside of it seems to enable him to fight against evil aliens. A robot. Could this be what Four Eyes was talking about? Is this the weapon Shikishima is developing? you were supposed to be distracting that girl. She was called over by her senpai. So, off she went. Ugh. I thought I told you to wait outside. I can't do that. The locker room of the athletics building. Just think of the drama that unfolds here. An extraterrestrial being. Did Nachan make all this up? Or is it possible she really was abducted by aliens? Tokisaka Shrine. Maybe Nachan went there. Either way, it's definitely a clue. Yo, where's Tokisaka Shrine? It's nearby, actually. <laughs> huh. 
I should go check it out. Take me there, will ya? I'm gonna go grab my bag. I'll meet you at the front gate. Shinonome. Something that... Hey. Yuki Takamiya. Weren't you told not to contact me? Shinonome. There's... something I need to speak to you about. So, before Natsunomi Nami vanished, I heard she was being pursued by men in black suits. If that's true, you've got some serious explaining to do. I've already told you. Natsunomi Nami has to do with my investigation. But I can tell you one thing for certain. We didn't kidnap her. If we had, there'd be no need for this investigation in the first place. Are you giving me your word on that? Get back to your assignment. Wait. There was something you said before. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it. You said you hid something for me. Oh, right. You told me to hide it. You don't remember, do you? It was in the passageway to the old school building. You were watching something. It was being shown through a projector. And you started crying. A projector? Yeah, and you were saying something about Four Eyes. Mr. Ida? Oh. So sudden. My pills. Uh. Shino no me. It wasn't too long after I transferred here. I saw her. She was near the old school building. Sorry to make you wait, Takamiya san. thinking there were fewer people around here. So, this is the old school building. I heard it's gonna be demolished soon. No doubt it is old. It was built during the war. Seems like a shame, really. This place is so quiet. Would have been a perfect place to hang out. If I had been serious about my studies, I wonder if I could have gone into Sakura the normal way. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh? My ID is now registered. I'm shutting off your AI function. Search for it. It's somewhere in your memory. Look for the information on me and Mr. Ida. Is this me from the future? His love was nothing but empty words. Mr. Ida, he was using me right from the very start. <laughs> I was such a fool. We are all that remains of humanity. And still we deceive each other, so filled with hate. I have had enough. This can't be real. Humanity has always been fated for ruin. Project Ark was a mistake. But it is already in its second stage. I cannot stop it. All I can do is derail it. I have linked in parts of the terraforming project. The heavy machinery will then purge humans from all sectors. 
If everything goes according to plan, the final phase will be reset. And all sectors will fall into a never-ending loop. What remains will be a peaceful world. Finally free of humanity. No, I couldn't have. This place will be destroyed as well. The human race has reached its end. We have no need for a future. What in the hell? Wait a minute. You're the girl that was with Four Eyes. Shinonome, right? It's impossible. Are you okay? Did I do it? Was it really me? I destroyed the world? No, I won't believe it. Mr. Ida would never deceive me. What are you talking about? There's no way. That isn't my future. <laughs> Just take a deep breath. Okay? Come on, stand up. Who are you talking about? Was it Four Eyes? If that's the future we're heading for, then what good are these? Shit. Medicine? Here. Don't you need these? Why? Why are you trying to help me? Well, I just... You're my senpai at the SIU, so... Uh. Oh, yeah. That thing is crazy. Is it a new kind of projector or something? So how do you work this thing? I want to see that video again. Uh, hey! Are you alright? Get that thing out of here! Please! Don't tell Mr. Ida. Don't tell anyone. Please! I can't believe you collapsed on me like that. Uh, hey, whoa. You sure you're okay to get up? Here. It's your medicine. Morimura made you take those pills, too. It was the first thing she did when I carried you in here. Are you sure it's okay? To take so much of it, I mean. I don't understand. Why did you have my medicine? You threw the bottle on the ground, so I picked it up for you. I threw it? Yeah. Anyway, about that... thing. Are you sure it was okay? Huh? What? The thing you told me to hide. I said no such thing. Are you trying to play games with me? You were babbling on and on about that damn four eyes. And crying. A lot. What? Me? Don't lie to me. 
the hell is going on with this girl? It literally just happened. Uh. Shit, seriously? What are those for, anyways? I can't think straight unless I take them. I uh, know, dude. That looks like bad news to me. Oh. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Takamiya-san, please, just stay out of this. <sighs> Is something wrong? No. It's just... You don't look too well. Maybe some medicine would make you feel better. Yeah. I'm out of here. Cool. Guess I'll grab my bag. Oh, I'll go with you. Ah, oh, shit. Wajima. Yo. Out of my way, punk. <laughs> you trying to give me orders now? You better get out of my face. I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> you really have crap timing, Aiba. Uh, um... Takamiya-san? Are these people... friends of yours? That's right. And if you're friends with her, that means you have to be friends with me, too. Hey! You lay a finger on her, and I'll break all ten of yours. Oh? Uh, you think you can threaten me? Bastard. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Heavy your way. I owe you a lesson from before. Stay back, Iba. Maybe this time it'll stick. All right, break it up. called the cops on me. Hey, buddy. Can I go home now? No. Damn it. Four hours isn't gonna shut up about this. It's gonna be a real drag if I get suspended from school. Quit pacing. Just stay still and stay quiet. Hey. Just wondering where the ladies' room is. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll just stand here with my mouth shut. What follows is an investigative...
I'll take over from here. Yes, sir. Onishi the Ogre. Glad to see you haven't changed, Takamiya. What? So, what happened to Wajima's lackeys? Most of them got away. The two we caught only have minor injuries. I've been worried about you. They took you away, and I didn't even know you were transferred. What happened? Are you involved with the SIU? Tell me what you know. Sorry, old man. Can't talk about it. <sighs> Half a year ago, there was an incident involving the transport of heavy machinery. It was reported as an accident, and in the middle of all of it was a young lady, Ryoko Shinonome. I took her into custody. Shinonome? But just like with you, those men from the SIU took her away by force. Her statement was a curious one, though. She claimed both her and her weapon came from the future to fight against Kaiju. So what? You believed that crap? There was another heavy machinery accident just recently. I saw it there, just before they covered it up in a tarp. And let me tell you, that thing was no ordinary piece of construction equipment. Something is going on in this town, and I have to find out. You'll tell me what you know, won't you? <sighs> You'll tell me what you know. <sighs> Shinonome and her weapon came from the future, huh? I remember, in Nachan's notebook. She wrote about time travel. And a robot that fights. Onishi the Ogre may just be another old fart. But he's an old fart I think I can trust. Maybe I should talk to him. And have him help me, too. So... How much do you already know about the SIU? It seems there's an understanding among the higher-ups, but it's still a mystery for us underlings. As far as I know, they're doing extensive research on Shikishima Industries. I figured as much. Shikishima Industries. Now, I don't know how much of this is true, but according to Four Eyes, Shikishima is making nuclear weapons. And there are miners involved. They told me to watch him, which is why they transferred me. Miners? Ryoko Shinonome is at Sakura High, too. Natsunomi Nami. Natsunomi Nami has been missing since last week. Are the police even looking for her? Natsunomi Nami. Huh. The name doesn't sound familiar. She's a first year at Sakura High, and the SIU are looking for her. You'll let me know if you find anything? I'll keep my eyes open. An extra... Take a look at this. It's a request to limit traffic while transporting heavy machinery. The thing Shinonome claimed to have arrived in is on its way to Shikishima's new shipbuilding dock as we speak. If I can get there, maybe I can finally figure it out. What the machine is, and what happened to Nachan.
hearing what Onishi the Ogre had to say, I had no choice but to get on this train. Shikishima's shipbuilding dock. No idea what shit I'm gonna find there. But the anticipation is twisting my stomach into knots. The shipbuilding dock the robot was moved to. It's on a landfill near the port. A deserted area with nothing but storage. I'll take this train to the last stop, and then wait near the facility. I'll have to wait until dark to sneak in. Ogata? Hmm? Huh? Takamiya. What are you doing here? Obvious, ain't it? I'm going home. But I thought... Don't you live near Nachan's house? Yeah. When we were in elementary school. I live with my grandpa now. Where are you going? Oh, well, uh... To see the ocean? You all right? So where's your minion? Decided not to follow you around today? You mean Erika Aiba? Aiba? You're in class D, right? She's in your class, isn't she? Huh? That's not Aiba. Aiba's been absent from school for a while now. <sighs> the next stop is Akebi. Akebi. Oh. Gotta switch trains at the next stop. I'm gonna take off. See ya. Not Aiba? Then, who the hell is she? Shit. Who can I even believe anymore? I guess just myself now. Trust nothing I don't see with my own eyes. And the first thing I'm gonna see... ...the weapon at Shikishima. <laughs> Security sure is crap here. Sneaking in was almost too easy. Though, when it's this damn dark... ...it's hard to see much of anything. Ninji Ogata, Class 1D, has made the claim that Erika Aiba is not who she says she is. If that's true, then who's the person that's been following me this whole time? And what does she want with me? Uh huh? Where's that light coming from? Wait a minute. It's my skin that's lighting up? Well, that explains Who's there? it. Wait, I know that voice. Ryoko Shinonome. What are you doing here? I should be the one asking you that. Hey, you... Your leg is glowing. What's going on? Our bodies are responding. We are pilots. Pilots? We are being called by the 14th Sentinel. Son of a... What the hell is that? Is this... the thing that was being moved through the streets? This is a weapon. We will need it for the upcoming battle. And you... Are one of the people who can pilot it. Yuki Takamiya. You. I remember you from the list. You're Renya Goto. What do you mean, one of? This is my Sentinel. Sentinel? Shikishima. Where do you think you're going? <sighs> We're not done talking. So, this is the Sentinel? 
this is what Nachan was looking for? A robot that can fight aliens? Really? Aliens? Was she planning on fighting some little green spacemen? Well, then what are you trying to do? Save the world from the kaiju. <sighs> Stay back. The hell? Is that real? You want to find out? So, this is the weapon Shikishima made? No. Shikishima did not make this. We did. Who the hell are you guys? From our perspective, this world is nothing but the past. You mean, time travel? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Very. The Sentinels themselves are weapons from the future. Stay back. Get out of my way. Or am I gonna have to beat the crap out of both of you? There will be none of that. After all, you too have a part in this. I don't have jack squat to do with this! Your glowing skin suggests otherwise. I don't know what you did to me. But I've had enough. What did you find? New code has been added several times. How many times did he come into contact with her? They must be close. You're... from the nurse's office. I'd like to research you a bit more, Yuki Takamiya. What are you...
multiple Dymo signatures confirmed. We're starting to get even more of them. That's weird. They're a little different from the D-forces in the database. What do you mean? They're similar to their original designs, but they've been modified and optimized further. The system's making changes to the Kaiju on the fly, specifically to fight all of you. My current processing is at 6%. Be careful, everyone. I don't know how long we gotta hold out here, but... Not gonna back down now. What? Can't mess this up. Stay I have to focus. Out here! We can do this. Right? Please, help us! No room for hesitation. How's the Sentinel? Number 11, moving out. Now then. How's this? I won't back down. Take that! Threat suppressed. Hit. Don't waste any chances. How's the Sentinel? Number 11, that moving out. The practice round's over. I'll make it work. Round's 
over. What next? Set my turn level. now. Return. Set no room for hesitation. Return. What's our plan?
Get it? Enemy unit destroyed. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur.
No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. This place isn't too crowded. It gives me room to hang around and think for a bit. Better take advantage of that. They came ashore during the air raid. They're enormous. Must be over 30 meters tall. Instead of wheels, they move on long leg-like appendages. Quite a terrifying sight. Like something out of hell. Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard. But she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth. Not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. You can hardly see any stars in this era. Though I have to say, the city lights are a sight to behold. Hmm. Nothing's changed today either. hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there, hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. Why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert, but I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the Sentinel possess an ability like that? Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. But on that day, at that moment, that fantasy became a reality.
electromagnetic rounds are offline. Outputs drop by 50% in both electromagnetic battering rams. reached its operating limit. Where am I? The air raid. Everything was just on fire. All these giant towers with glass windows? What the hell's going on? The last thing I remember is being surrounded by those new American weapons and... No, it can't be. I've heard about major U.S. cities. These high-rise buildings are common. Was I captured? And they got my Sentinel too? They must have done it when I lost consciousness. Brought me to the mainland as their... No, wait. If the Sentinel just reached its operating limit, then not very much time could have passed. But this view says otherwise. It's not my homeland. Somehow, I ended up on U.S. soil. If that's the case, fine. I guess this is where I'll die. But I'm not going down without a fight. I'll face the enemy, even without my Sentinel. Uh, the Sentinel. This is bad. The Sentinels are top secret. It can't fall into enemy hands. Sentinel. The enemy cannot get their hands on the Sentinel. That's the kind of issue that becomes a national crisis. But what can I do? I can't activate now, let alone initiate self-destruct. I need to slow down and think things over. I should probably go lie low until the Sentinel recovers. But not because I'm afraid. My country. My little sister. I'd give my life for them at the drop of a hat. But I have to be smart right now. And that means waiting for the Sentinel to be up and running. that I have a plan, I'd better move fast. I should get out of here before American soldiers show up. I'll stay out of sight until it's the right time to move. Everyone here appears to be Japanese. But something's off. These signs show both kanji and the English alphabet. Ashitaba Printing, Ashitaba Bank. Why are they named after my hometown? You want to stop by the arcade? Sure. The one at Sun Mall? Nah, the one at Joyland. Let's go try out those big new Sega machines that came in. I have no idea what they're talking about, but their language doesn't sound foreign to me. Did you see him in last night's episode? Yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Right? I watch everything he's in. Female students. 
Though that's quite a bit of exposed leg. It almost seems like a different dialect. But it's definitely Japanese. Japan, but everything seems off. This is all just a terrible dream. Right? Right. It's nothing to worry about, just my brain acting up. That's why my surroundings appear to be different. We knew what the risks were going in as Sentinel pilots. Professor Doji made it all very clear to us. That's right. This has happened before. I experienced a similar illusion during the Sentinel sync test. He's wearing a boy's school uniform, but appears to have a girl's haircut. <sighs> huh? The hell are you looking at? This one has a particularly strange hairstyle. Hey, you trying to get your ass kicked? It looks like I've finally gone crazy. You want to see crazy? Hey, stop! this room oh, hold on I think I remember some guy with weird hair hit me with his bag this doesn't look like a detention facility either I'm still seeing things or someone removed me from the Sentinel whoever it was brought me to some kind of lab shaped technicolor projection device the sentinel has its own spatial projector as well but that's highly confidential military technology uh, it's about baseball i'm not in a military base am i Just an illusion. Foreign phonograph records. Takatoshi-san used to let me listen to his. Why are there so many records here? There are way more than I saw at the Hijiyamas. Japanese. Lots of textbooks lined up here. Japanese history. So I really am still in Japan then. <sighs> this can't be right. 1945. The year of Japan's unconditional surrender. Surrender? We lost the war? 1945. That's this year. August 6th. Atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. 140,000 killed. Three days later, second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. 70,000 killed. All from just two new American bombs. What is this book? 1951. U.S.-Japan Security Treaty signed. 1964. Tokyo Olympics? How far does this go? Wait. What did that calendar say? 1985. It has to be fake. When was this printed? It says here... 1985. Could it really be? You okay? 
Here. It's so cold. That's all that was in the fridge. <coughs> wow. Not a big fan of soda, I take it? Some kind of carbonated beverage? I had ramen once at a festival in Tsutsuji, but I was just a kid. 1985. Am I still in Japan? But in the future? Who are you? I'm Shu Amiguchi, and we're at my apartment in Kamazumi. Keitaro Miura. So, how did I get here? I called a taxi and brought you over after you got knocked out. So you... helped me? Guilty. You know, you really pushed Ogata over the edge. He was already pissed from being chewed out. If he gets in trouble one more time, he's getting suspended. Be real nice if you two could work things out peacefully. I need to know one thing. What... year is it? Uh, what? Afraid you got knocked into a coma for the last few years? Relax, you didn't get hit that hard. It's still 1985, all right? You haven't missed a day. that we lost. I'm proud my country could rebuild after what happened. But I won't accept this future. Now that I know we lose the war, that's all the more reason to go back. I'll bring the Sentinel with me, and I'll change history. It's my duty to fight and protect the people. I have to save as many of them as I can. But what if it's impossible for me to go back? What if I'm trapped here? Shihiro. All right, that's enough. Get it together. Don't get discouraged. You will make it back. No matter what it takes. Hmm. I wonder. What if I never actually traveled through time? It's possible that space-time here is warped somehow. But it could just be a local effect. I should try heading toward the school. Maybe time is flowing normally over there. like the school's still here. <laughs> Isn't that... Hey, hold on! Uh, Miracoon? Thank goodness! You're Natsuno Minami, right? The one I met at the shrine. What are you doing here? I've got to say, you had me pretty worried. I had no idea where you went. I just... I can't believe you're here too. I couldn't find you anywhere. I thought you got snatched up and hauled off to Area 51. But anyway, what have you been up to? Wait, first... Where have you been? <sighs> A kind student's been letting me stay at his place. Aside from that, I've been sleeping outdoors. Outdoors? Natsuno-san. Get it together. 
together, Keitaro. She certainly is quite... Yes. I admit, she's bright, cheerful, attractive. But right now, I have more urgent matters to tend to. Despite a catastrophic loss, Japan recovered quite well. It seems to have entered a prosperous new era. Almost too prosperous. Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. It only ever felt like a far-off fantasy. To think it ever become a reality. Why? Our mother... I checked the library for any records of such a weapon. But in all of history, nothing like it has ever existed. Not in the US, not anywhere. What was that thing? Hang on. This is my mess, so I have to figure out how to clean it up. But then again... Hmm... I can't really bring a boy into the house. Oh, yeah! Granny Tamal went on a trip. So Juro-kun should be the only one home. That house does have a lot of rooms. Granny Tamal? Uh, sorry. Let me go grab my stuff really quick. I'll be right back, so just wait here. Then we'll head over to the Karabe's house. Karabe? Managed to leave quite the dent. Chihiro? <laughs> you don't have to cry. It's not like you did this on purpose. I'm sure Uncle isn't mad about it anymore. What about you? Are you mad? Of course not. I'm your big brother. I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. Now, come on out. So, how do you hit the pillar with the laundry bucket? You must have been playing pretty rough. The bunny was biting. And it beat up giant ghosts. As the ghosts smash all the houses. And more of them keep coming. Such strange ghosts. Did you come up with them yourself? No, Tamao told me about them. I'm sorry, Chihiro-chan. My father has quite a short temper. I'm sorry. This was all my fault. Tamao-san? It only happened because I told Chihiro-chan about my dreams. Is it okay for you to be awake right now? Mm-hmm. I've been feeling much better lately. And I have Goto-san from Tokyo to thank for that. He's been sharing some foreign medicine with me. It's just that... Ever since I started taking it, I keep having strange dreams. But they feel like more than just dreams. They're like memories that I just suddenly remember. <laughs> the sirens. This is bad. Turn on the radio. Military broadcast. Air raid alarms have been sounded. Enemy is flying at low altitude. More air units to be expected to prepare against the coming invasion. We ask all citizens to unite as we fortify our air defenses. It's a massive enemy raid. We have to hurry to a bomb-proof shelter. Come on, Chihiro-chan. We have to go. Jiro-kun! Are you home? Minami-san. 
Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamau and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? Your Yakush... Natsuno-san? Natsuno-san, is this... It's fine, it's fine. I live super close by. So if you need anything, just let me know. There she goes. Well, this is awkward. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... I really don't want to be an inconvenience. Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? No, I shouldn't. Your stomach thinks you should. No, that was, uh... I'll go fix you a plate. So, Tamao-san is your grandmother? Is she in good health? Grandma? She's fit as a fiddle. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That's why she isn't here. Shimane? She must be with her mother's side of the family in Iwami. Do you... know my grandma? Yes. You do, huh? So then? How long do you need a place to stay? Not long. Just until I can make my way back home. Well, all right. If that's the case, it shouldn't be a problem. Just try not to cause any trouble. Feel free to use the guest room on the first floor. Thank you. There's a projection device where the radio used to be. It's been lightly remodeled, but it's the same house. I could have sworn it burned to the ground. damage on this pillar is missing, and it wasn't changed when they remodeled. If this really is the Karabe's house, then it should be right here. Chihiro left a dent in this pillar.
matter where I am. I met Natsuna-san over at the shrine. She ended up dodging my question. What was she doing there? She attends the same school as Jurokun. At least that's what he told me. I need to figure out how to take back the Sentinel. Then I can find a way to return to 1945. Though, I can't seem to reactivate it. I've tried countless times, too. I hope I didn't break it. If there's a mechanical issue, I'd love to take a look at it. But security around the building's been tight lately. Now I can't get too close. I can't just sit here. Actually... That factory at the Mountain Pass may have survived the air raid. It might still be standing in this era. Before... Um... I... I saw when the war supposedly ends in that history book. August of 1945. If that's true, then Japan loses the war in just three months. Despite... That's an... Ayame Park. This is where the factory used to be. Chihiro? Is it really you? What business do you have with my little sister? Who are you? I'm that child's older brother. Is there something you need from her? No. She just... looks like a relative of mine. Mm. Let's get going. Hero, if she's still alive, she'd be over 40 by now. If she's... We don't have a family burial plot where I'd find her. I have no idea what's happened to her. She's either alive somewhere in this world, or... <sighs> Chihiro, I'm going to find my way back to you. In any case, I should go talk to Natsuno-san. She must know something. Sakura High School. It looks nothing like the school I attended. It's still here. It's been renovated, but I do recognize this building. If this is the school building, then over there's where the potato field used to be. Looks like that plot of land got bigger. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way in. If she's... We don't have a family burial plot where I'd find her. I have no idea what's happened to her. 
she's either alive somewhere in this world, or... Here. Do they not use this building? This building was brand new. Now the floorboards creak. The pillars are all scratched up. And really has been 40 years. Is where I waited for Takatoshi-san, and more Tamao-san came to see me off. How strange. It almost feels like it was all just a distant dream. All right, enough. This isn't the time to be getting sentimental. Megumi-san, thank you again for the bento you gave me. I found a nice spot to eat it by the Kaide River. A bento with meatballs. Quite luxurious. I was very impressed. Oh, they were just regular old meatballs. Nothing special, but I'm glad you liked it. What are you doing out here? Are you looking for someone? What are you doing at... I'm trying to find Natsuno-san. Would you happen to know where she is? Minami-san? She should be in the track room. The athletic building's over that way. Want me to go check? No, that's okay. Oh yeah, so for dinner tonight, I think I'll make Hamburg steak. You seem to really like it. You mean that giant ball of meat? Hamburger meat, yeah. It's Jiro's favorite. So try not to come home too late. Those meatballs they call hamburger. I've never had anything so delicious. Enough. This is no time to be distracted by food. Natsuno-san's over there. Everyone's staring at me. I'm glad I found Natsuno-san. But I don't like all this attention. Hey, you! You've been standing there an awfully long time. What are you doing? I'm waiting for Natsuno Minami. Minami? How do you know her? And how old are you? Looks like a middle school uniform to me. No, I'm, uh... Seriously? You guys have to be so nosy? Natsuno-san. Come on, let's go. So, Minami's got a boyfriend, huh? So... Sorry I took a while getting changed. It's fine. I said I'd wait. So, whenever you exercise, you all change into outfits that show your legs? That's... fascinating. <laughs> anyway, you kind of showed up at school out of nowhere. Everything okay? Natsuno-san. I met you before. Back in 1945. And now, here you are. Huh? You must know something about all this. About how I ended up in this era. Please, tell me what you know. That's, uh... 
Jeez, how do I put this? <laughs> Look, I can't really talk about it here. We could go to the building I used back in my time. It seemed to be empty. The old school building? We can go in there? Yes. It was open. All right. Then we'll talk about it there. Let's go. I always thought this place would be locked up. We should be good here. Miura-kun, can you keep a secret? Uh, of course. Okay. <laughs> then I'll tell you. Don't freak out, okay? This is BJ. He's an alien from the future. BJ's looking for the robot he used to get here, and I'm helping him find it. A robot? Does the word Sentinel ring a bell? <laughs> that Sentinel from back in 1945 belongs to BJ's alien friend. There are a few of them, too. How does she know about the Sentinel? And did she say it was made by aliens? It's a top-secret military weapon created by Japan. I don't need to tell you this, but those babies are capable of time travel. <sighs> I don't care who's responsible for creating the Sentinel. I need it to save my country. But what do I do? The circuit should have repaired itself by now, but I can't seem to reactivate it. This... BJ. I have some questions about it. I've heard Shikishima engineers talk about something like this. Isn't this actually a type of scout unit? Shikishima? They don't dabble in alien technology. All they do is make weapons, and BJ is no weapon. But... Keikaro... Miura... If he's just a scout unit, explain how he can talk. Don't be a jerk, Miracoon. BJ isn't some kind of robot. This is just a spacesuit. Aliens come in all shapes and sizes. My guess is the only thing inside that suit is BJ's brain. <clears throat> Why are you searching for the Sentinel? What's your objective? Truth? Do you wish to know where you came from? Do you not? What are you talking about? I came from 1945. Incorrect. Your log proves otherwise. My log? Yeah, show us. This log. If you really have it, I'd like to see it. Professor, I have switched over to a private channel. Professor Takamiya, can you hear me? Is that... Your code? Professor Takamiya. I'm connected now. Thanks, mira -kun. What the heck? Yuki-chan? Everything goes smoothly with the shuttle? I was able to secure a seat thanks to you. It'll probably be the last shuttle. This place will be lost by tomorrow, too. Has the front line advanced that much already? Afraid so. If anything, they're picking up speed. Did Natsuno get out safely? She arrived in Sector 4 about five hours ago. Ah, so she's there with you. You know, you two. I never approved of your relationship. <laughs> what? Mom! There's my girl. 
You know I'm only kidding. I didn't think you wanted to talk to me anymore. Of course I do. I'm sorry about all the trouble with your father. He and I haven't been on good terms since we split up. It's okay, Mom. I want to be with you. I know. Me too, Nachan. Yuki-chan's my mom? I'm sorry, Professor Takamiya. The shuttle's about to take off. All right. I'll see you at Sector 3 in 14 hours. We'll be waiting for you at Landing Zone 10. Looking forward to it. The destruction is spreading. It's only a matter of time until the surface is lost. What the heck was all that? <sighs> that was just a segment of the log I've retained. I have to know. When was that log recorded? In the year 2188. That doesn't make sense. How is this even possible? Yuki-chan's my mom in the future? She's from 1985. She seems to know about the existence of other Sentinels. Is that how she's able to travel through time? Maybe there's another way. In any case, she appears to be a central figure in all this. Could she still be at school? track room is? Yes. Oh, right. Have you seen Juro around anywhere? No. I see. Maybe he went home already. For dinner tonight, what should I make? could have Hamburger. Again? No, no, that's all right. I'm fine with anything. Well, let's see. We've had nothing but meat these last few days. I think I want to make some fish for Juro. Okay, I better run to the store. I'll see you later. I ch... Um, I don't... If... Before... That scout unit is an alien from the future. At least that's what Natsuno-san says. The footage he showed us is allegedly from the future. If it's real, then how am I still alive 200 years from now? <sighs> All I know for certain is that it's no ordinary scout unit. Natsuno-san's over there.
you again. Minami isn't here today. Must have been really important. She even ditched practice. Is that so? Hey, are you Minami-san's boyfriend? How far have you two gone? What? No, you've got it all wrong. Do you happen to know where she went? All she said was that she was in a hurry. But I don't know where she went. I know where. She went over to Tokisaka Shrine. What's she doing there? Not sure. I didn't ask. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? That's where I first met her. But it was back in my own era. hardly changed at all. The surrounding thicket, on the other hand, that has changed considerably. I don't see Natsuno-san anywhere. I wonder if she's hiding behind the trees again. What I'd give to see that. couldn't find it. I wonder where it could be. Natsuno-san. Whoa! Whoa, hey, uh, what are you doing out so late? And why are you here of all places? Natsuno-san, what was that just now? Whoa! There was a big flash of light and you just... appeared. Just like when I came to this era in my Sentinel. Same flash of light and everything. I, uh... Come to think of it, this happened at the shrine back when we first met, too. There was a similar flash, almost like lightning. I get it now. You have to come here to travel through time. What do we do, BJ? Please, tell me what's going on. I just want to go home. Are you just going to leave your sentinel behind? Oh yeah, that's how you got here. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> You're dead set on this then? You definitely want to go home? I'll figure out how to deal with the sentinel later. It's Shihiro, my little sister. If there's any chance she made it out of that hell alive, then I have to find out. Hmm. Okay, that makes sense. BJ, think you can make it happen? with Natsuno Minami all this time. <sighs> Are we back? Is it really that easy to travel through time? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? If we have the power to travel freely through time, can I just send the Sentinel back to before the war starts? Nope, that's impossible. We can't just jump around as far as we want. 
we can only travel 40 years at a time. Besides, this is as far back in the past as we can go. I see. That's unfortunate. For now, let's find Shihiro. All right, let's go. She's most likely at an evacuation shelter. If not, then I might find her at the Karabe's house. station are both empty. Radios are down. No one's answering. Where is everyone? You see that? It's that creature. Okay, so... That thing is an alien weapon, and it's here to invade Earth. The Sentinels were created to fight them off. This is just like what happened in the city from the future. After the aliens invaded, everyone was gone. Wait, if people are disappearing in the past, what's happening to everyone in my era? <sighs> the Kaiju aren't secret US military weapons. They're alien invaders from the future. And the Sentinels are the tools we need to defeat them. That's... Tamao-san! What happened? Calm down, Miss Morimura. Uh, Chihiro-chan! Where do you plan on taking her? Uh, I apologize for what I've done to you. But you have no reason to worry. Uh, Wait! Goto. The one who was giving you medicine. Uh, Tamaho-san! Disappeared. Universal control has shifted her. Does that mean the aliens got her? Probably. It's likely that everyone is being held there until this world comes to an end. According to the history of this era, it has indeed been 40 years. But this era doesn't seem to be based on the era I'm from. The two aren't connected. Perhaps this isn't really time travel after all. Renya Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. If he's in 1985, then Chihiro will be with him. Back in 1945, everyone mysteriously vanished. But here in 1985, 40 years later, there's no historical evidence or impact from that event. 
It reminds me of a concept I read about in a science book. The idea of two similar parallel worlds. Renya Goto. He's the one who took Chihiro from me. He might be the same guy that Tamao-san gets her pills from. That's... According to Natsuno-san, a boy named Renya Goto attends school in this era. He can apparently travel through time, too. And BJ said he's from 80 years in the future. Natsuno... Even if I do bring the Sentinel back home, how can I bring myself to fight? The ones I swore to protect are gone. Our mothers... The Kai... Could he be at the school? I don't care what it takes. I'm going to find him. And I'm going to get Chihiro back. Goto is Natsuno-san's senpai. He also attends the school in 1985. And according to BJ, he's from even further into the future. <clears throat> Miyura-kun! Natsuno-san! Perfect timing. I was just about to go looking for you. Same here. I've been worried about you, Miyara-kun. That was some rough stuff. I can't even imagine how you must be feeling. You okay? That was... Thanks, but I'm fine. In fact, I came here to find Renya Goto. But I have no idea what he looks like or how he dresses. Could you point him out to me? That might be a little tough. Goto-senpai hasn't been back on campus. I asked around, and no teacher knows where he lives. Well, that's a problem. <sighs> oh, Natsuno-chan! Miwako! Done with practice already? Oh, you have that picture of Goto-senpai, right? The one you took when he wasn't looking? <laughs> hey! Not so loud! Sorry, sorry. So do you have it? Yeah... Yes, this is it! Hey, Miura-kun! Miura-kun! Look, I've got a picture of Goto-senpai. Pardon my interruption. He's the tall guy in the back. This here is Renya Goto? The one with the glasses? Yep, that's him. Thanks, Miwako. How could this be? The man I saw at the park was Renya Goto. The bastard who kidnapped Chihiro. Natsuno-chan. What's going on between you and that guy? Huh? Nothing's going on. Just a normal, casual friendship. <gasps> casual? You mean... N no Not that. How could this be? Hero? It really is you, isn't it? Please say something. Uh -uh. 
I found this. It survived the air raid. I meant to give it back to you earlier. This is your favorite stuffed animal, isn't it? Big... Big Brother. Don't lose it again, all right? I won't. Chihiro... It really is you. I'm so relieved you're safe. I suppose it's true. It's not like my memories were displaced. My blissful dependency is your little sister. It's become part of my identity. Denial can cause enormous strain to one's psyche. Chihiro? Are you... okay? Better than okay. I've regained my original memories. I'm Chihiro Morimura. Morimura? You're the one who insisted on keeping that a secret. Yet you gave it away in the end. It's you. Sometimes a bold change in plans is necessary. You'd know that better than anyone. Wouldn't you, Goto-kun? I didn't expect to see you here. Renya Goto. What the hell did you do to Chihiro? <sighs> I don't appreciate the hostility. But what you see here is Chihiro in her original state. She was never your little sister to begin with. Shut up! I'm not listening to a word you say. I won't forgive you. And I will avenge Tamao-san. I believe you misunderstand the situation. Chihiro, listen to your big brother and come with me. We're going. Where, exactly? Back to 1945 where no one's left? Don't you see? It doesn't matter where we run. <laughs> if we have any hopes of preventing the loop, we need to prioritize gaining control over all systems. You've always been the dependable type. You used to be an excellent design engineer. What are you talking about? I'll always be on your side, Chihiro. That's what you told me, remember? So please, cooperate. <sighs> Is everything prepared, Goto-kun? Already. Good. Then I shouldn't waste any more time. Let's hurry. Chihiro! <sighs> Don't even bother. Get out of my way. Chihiro is coming with me. She's being targeted for assassination. <laughs> and I highly doubt you have the capacity to protect her. What? Who would... Hey, Sekigahara. Should you decide to cooperate, let me know. <sighs> Sekigahara... Did he travel through time, too? Is that how he got here? Tamao-san. The military police are gone for now. How are things looking? They're searching for Kiriko-san. I can't believe she's a spy. They seem to think she's associated with him. He must have dragged her into this. I just don't understand. Why protect a wanted man? <sighs> that woman... Her name isn't Kiriko Doji. And she doesn't come from this world. You're a lunatic. I don't get it. What could she want with the Sentinel? You know about the Sentinel? You really are a spy. If she were to try and escape, she'd likely use the gate. If we leave now, we might be able to catch up to her. Sekigahara-san, please, I have to know the truth. I was told that my parents, 
aren't really my parents, and that I was brought here from the future. Is that what Kiriko Doji told you? I don't know why she'd lie, but I think that explains the dreams I keep having. She's tampered with your memories. <sighs> He's out of his mind. Don't listen to a word he says to Mao san We should just turn him in. Keitaro-san, please. I don't want it to come to that. Keitaro? As in Keitaro Miura? How the hell do you know my name? I see. So it's you. What are you on about now? You and I have been fighting alongside each other. I've never seen you before in my life. The Miura of this era hasn't. The Miura of the future has. The future? Yes. He no longer has his physical body. His consciousness is currently stored inside a scout unit. Then... Keitaro-san is... One and the same. <sighs> I've had enough of this nonsense! You, come with me. I'm taking you in. Don't move. Oh, Sekigahara-san! You bastard! Like you said, I'm out of my mind. Poison is coursing through my brain as we speak.
wires? Man, why am I stuck on the ground? Quit whining. I wish mine was stuck on the ground. If it meant I could hit like a train. The fourth generation models have some unique features. They can use the latest plasma weaponry and interceptors. On top of that, they're equipped with barriers and high output laser weapons that didn't exist at the turn of the 22nd century. The rotors match the drill flies, and the barrier was clearly taken from Apsos technology, meaning the fourth generation mechs were created by Okino, derived from the designs of the Daimos themselves. Is that true? He makes it sound so cool. I was basically copy-pasting random design elements with no idea how it would actually work. Really, the Sentinels have always kind of been siblings to the Daimos. We must survive. Initiating shield, thank Thanks. you. Thanks. We will not lose. Initiating shield. Good timing. Let's go, Natsuno.
down quick. Deploying decoy. I won't. 
No problem. I got this. I 
I won't back down. Sentinel Are we number 19. winning? Sentinel number 20. Unbelievable. I'm acting like a number 12. We must win. Initiating shield. Much obliged. Nah, I gotta think. What now? Sentinel number 13. Good timing. Let's get it! We will not lose!
Wait. You're not saying. I'm saying I've got a bad feeling about this. So we made it through. The fight is far from over.
Kamiguchi. Kinda brings back some memories, huh? It's like our brawl on the big bridge. Oh yeah, when we threw down with those curry high punks in middle school? Kinda went south when someone called the cops on us. We all had to jump in the river to get away? Sure, but that was after we knocked 20 of those chumps on their asses. Got the same kind of feeling seeing these clowns is all. Square up, strap in, kick ass. Are you two done trying to prove how badass you were in middle school? Give me a break. This is coming from the leader of the Suzu High Girls? They're here. As moving as this nostalgia's been, you need to stop wasting time and start wasting kaiju. The hell'd you say? Hey, asshole, get back here! Hey, don't go picking fights in our own squad. What, you're not gonna stop him? Eh, Ogata's fine. He got up in my face like that when we first met, and now we're cool. Let's go. Yeah. 
fights by now. Number 10, moving out.
No fight I can't win. Here you go! How's that? That ought to do it! Always think ahead. How's this? Hit. Target destroyed. What? I'll try. our plan. They don't stand a chance. Take that! Threat suppressed. <gasps> Still not used to this thing. No way through this! Thanks! Now then. Locked on.
I'm on it. Mike, you want me to go? Okay, I'll go. Someone's gotta do it.
work. I guess life comes at you fast. The practice round's over. Signature. There's only five enemy sentinels left. 
for hesitation. Here goes. How was that? Confirm 
termination of Gladiator Dymo's signature. Just three more. Don't let your guard down. Hope I can pull my weight. Here goes! Nailed it! That's soft power! Let's turn this around! Let's do this! Was that okay? How was that? No room for hesitation. How was that? Unbelievable! And they're finished! Confirmed termination of Gladiator Dymo's signature. Two left. Almost there. What's the plan? Come on. Did that do it? Cut it down the I'll take them down quick. I'll destroy you. A hit, yes. Stay calm. Two left.
was inside a washing machine. That freaking inspection hatch. Definitely don't recommend. He hit my butt so many times. Ah! How in the... How am I supposed to get down from here? Companion ladder on the front. Oh, right. The thing I used to get up here in the first place. Whew. That was scary. Just the thought of slipping and falling all the way down. My hands are real sweaty. My race. If it isn't sick. BJ, are we? We made it back, right? It is 1985. A robot as big as this. I can't believe it's capable of time travel. Alien technology sure doesn't disappoint. city right now? That's not good. What if those men in black get a hold of him? They probably want to take him to Area 51. Our situation is more critical than his. Sentinel number 7, it's even capable of time travel. Huh. Oh no. A bunch of police cars are starting to gather down there. I guess we did kind of destroy the building. Oh man, we're gonna get arrested, aren't we? We need to leave. Yeah, okay. What the heck are we gonna do about this? Not to know. Right, first things first. Let's get you in the bag. Senpai, what's going on? Minami, someone's trashed our room again. Also, watch this. I've searched for quite a while, but I couldn't find Miura-kun anywhere. I bet he got captured by the men in black. And it's all because of me. What exactly? Shh, stand over here, quietly. Watch the laundry basket. <laughs> Did you see that, Minami? Crap, this is bad. You know what I think this is? Mm. It's a spy camera from a peeping Tom. <sighs> it's the same creep that trashed this room. He must have set this up. Actually, this is... uh... this is mine. Yours? Yeah, it's a... it's an alarm clock. A clock? So you just carry it around? 
Yeah, well, the thing is, I can't seem to tell time unless I look at this clock. Isn't it kind of big? <sighs> I gotta be careful. This is confidential information, after all. Dressed like that? Uh, yeah, I'm just in a hurry, so. I need you to show me what's inside your bag. Stop! He's still after me. What do I do? really sucks. Isn't Minami. Oh god, Takun. What's up? Why are you in such a rush? Actually, I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'm being chased by men in black suits. What? What'd they do? Nothing yet. But if they catch us, who knows? Section, maybe. Definitely a full body search. Full body? S so those clothes will probably be in the way. Huh? You know, that little outfit. Outfit? You mean the spacesuit? Well, yeah. They take the whole thing off. I imagine they'll search every nook and cranny. For real? Those lucky mother. I mean. Those sick bastards! Don't worry. I'll take care of this perv. Huh? Hey! <gasps> you ain't getting away with this, asshole! <clears throat> what the? Where'd this guy come from? Never seen someone go down so easily. He came from over there. Well, that was... something. Crap, he's coming! Someone was just here. Mm. The hell are you doing here? Yuki-chan? Good timing. I could really use your help. What now? We've been pursuing a suspicious individual. She's still in the area, and she's concealing something. If I just help him out now, maybe old Four Eyes will let me have my way. 
Fine. It's an SIU assignment anyway, right? That's why I was hired to go undercover in the first place. All you have to do is locate her. Leave the capture to us. So, what does she look like? <gasps> There's no way. Is Yuki-chan working with the men in black? Yuki-chan. Again? I can't believe my one and only Yuki-chan. She's working with the men in black. That means she can't know. She can't know about BJ. I've searched for quite a... Sen... His name... Secret... to lock you up, BJ. But those men in black are still wandering around. Let's go to the gate. Okay. We need to get out of here before someone sees us. Hmm? Mm. My notebook's not in here. My research notebook on aliens. Where did I put it again? I was writing in it during class today. Oh yeah! I took it to the audiovisual room. Crap! I totally left it there, didn't I? It has all sorts of records on alien BJ too. It'd be a disaster if someone saw it. BJ is about to be seen by someone. I'll just hide it. <laughs> Man in black. It'd be bad if someone saw my notes. I gotta get my notebook back, no matter what. Aw, oh, yeah! Got it! All right, Minami. Listen up. All top-secret documents need to be kept extra secure from now on. We can't afford leaks. Put them somewhere safe and keep a sharp eye on them. Right. You got it, boss. Yatsuno, we have to keep moving. I know, I know. To the gate, right? No. I've detected an unfamiliar signal. It's coming this way. What is it? Unable to identify. Estimated threat level is extremely high. Leave this area now. Oh. Saw me? No. <gasps> Whoa, what the heck? You almost hit me. Man. What's going on? Why is you saw me? That is 
Vlad told me he's around here. What? So she's an imposter? No, it's an android created in her likeness. Oh, I get it. Those evil aliens are after you. So they made a robot to track you down. Where are we now? I ran into the bathroom. This is a dead end. There's nowhere to run. Not helping. It's too late. Do as I say and come out quietly. Someone else is here. What a surprise. How'd you find me here? I thought number 17 was gone, but its signal led me here. <sighs> now that I've found 426, I can't just walk away. Whatever you have planned, I won't let you go through with it. You know Ida was full of crap, don't you? And you still have something against me? Many people fell victim to you. That much is still true. That's why I have to destroy you here and now. You're awfully dramatic for a machine. And I'm awfully strong, too. <laughs> well, his body really is falling apart. I can barely hold my gun straight. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever seen you resort to violence. I never expected it, knowing who you were. Uh, I guess uh, in your heart is just a machine. Uh, you monster yourself. No different from me. Whatever. Makes it all easier. <laughs> what the heck just happened? It seems quiet now. a robot. It looks just like Usami. What are you doing here, Tamao-san? And this. Did you do all this? Nakuno, stay back. Hey, don't jump out like that. She's also an android. Created in Tamao Karabe's image. She's a robot, too? I'm the one who called her here. However, as of a few moments ago, I can no longer identify her. Stay back, Yachino. <sighs> I didn't expect you to be here, too, miura -kun. You're... I see. You switched bodies. BJ! BJ? Say something! Don't worry, he's not broken. 
What did you do to BJ? Why did you come for him? Forgive me. We seem to have a misunderstanding. I've come for you, Natsuno Minami. What? Those monsters, the ones that destroyed the city, they have a new commander. And it's you. So, starting now, I'll be the one giving you orders. Usami. Uh, man, I can't really remember what happened here. Ow, my cheek kind of stings. believe my one and only Yuki-chan. A small puncture on my cheek. Looks like I got stabbed by a needle. I must have gotten it in the girl's bathroom. But why can't I remember anything about it? Did I... Was I captured and had my memories erased? What if they implanted something in me? Hmm. I'm probably overthinking it. At least for now, I told Mirakun... He should stay at Jirokun's house. After all, I'm the one who dragged him into this. I need to take responsibility. Ugh. I mean, not in a weird way. Sentinel number Sentinel isn't secret. Wait. How are you here, Tamao-san? This place isn't ideal. I'd be found far too soon. Hmm. Maybe Tamao-san was abducted by a UFO. Wonder what they did to her. <sighs> Who is this? Does she want to join the team? Oh, um, well... Wait, don't tell me. You turned in your sign-up form but never came, huh? It's Iba-san, right? Erika Iba? Uh. So, Iba-san, you're in Class 1D? Right next to Minami-san in Class 1C. Uh, yeah, right. Have you recovered from your illness? Well, actually, she... Not entirely, so can't join yet. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's too bad. I hope you get well soon. Maybe she just looks like Tamao-san. Could there really have been someone like this just next door? Huh. Erika... Aiba... Class 1D... Next door... Hmm... She's pretty weird. Yeah. Right. I should go tell the coach. Be 
DJ. Did she find you? She? The girl that was just here. I was on. Nobody was here. Huh. <sighs> Let's go to the gate. I'm almost done with practice. We'll go there after. Sound good? Now to know. The gate. I didn't see any men in black outside. Maybe we can sneak out. You gotta stay in there. in danger there isn't a second to spare yeah whatever what is it now I thought you had no seconds to spare yeah I just don't worry about it it's for something important right Thank you. Leave the future of Earth to me. Okay. A grave responsibility rests on my shoulders. We're here. Activate gate. Sentinel search range. Where should we look this time? How about sector one? Sector one has been searched. No sentinel found. See. Sector 2 looks suspicious. Sector 2 was our first destination. Yeah, but we didn't get to look around much. Let's go there again and do a proper search. Access code approved. Designating sector. Tripods, but we shouldn't let our guard down. Okay, how should we do this? Yeah, you wait here. Huh? You're going by yourself? Fires continue to burn on the surface. It's too dangerous. Time required to search the path is. 27 minutes. Oh, come on! We come all the way out here and you just leave me all alone? It's not often I get to time travel. I certainly won't waste it waiting. I'll make it quick. Just gonna peek around a bit. here I saw something light up <laughs> is that a sentinel <laughs> look 
who found it first. That's what you get for leaving me behind. Brain's okay. I'm sure I can save him. Oh, where is it? Is this it? This light bulb thing. I think it's this. There's some letters on this. Shikishima. Shikishima Robotics? Wait, as in the appliance company? I'm such an idiot. PJ's not an alien. He's a robot made in Japan. PJ's not an alien. Different robot? You found a sentinel. Sentinel number eight, a remote control type. This is not sentinel number 17. <gasps> Were you made by Shikishima Robotics? You're just a robot made in Japan. You're no alien. Isn't that right? Yeah, I bet this is another one of Shikishima's. Uh, does that mean the tripods too? Four-legged autonomous cranes from Shikishima Industries. High Quad 150B. No way. They're heavy machinery robots for the development of Mars. But why? Why are robots meant for Mars invading Earth? They are not. This place is not Earth. Not Earth? It is a speculation. A lack of proof makes it only a possibility. Okay, but... What? The basis for my speculation is this log. All right, go on. There are 117 planets under consideration for the project. Of those, the top prospect is a planetary system 12 light years away. I don't think this is going to work. Aren't you the professor's daughter? Yes, I'm helping with the layout. For the migration ship? It looks quite small. In the harsh environment of space, it is not possible to sustain life for extended periods of time. The ship will be carrying only our DNA. In the final phase of the project, humanity will be restarted. So we're creating aliens. How large of a population are you estimating? We're planning for six million. And you really expect me to approve of this project? If you just listen to my mother's explanation, it is not necessary. This endeavor is nothing but self-satisfying. It is impractical. Now that my father has passed away, I am the one in charge. The research will be disposed of and the funds suspended. You can't! Ogata-san, please! This was recorded in 2188 with Natsuno Minami's ID. A communication log between Natsuno Minami and Shikishima's top executive, Renji Ogata. 
Oh god, Takoon? After this slog, the plan was implemented. But 2188 is in the future. We are further into the future than when the log took place. Natsuno, do you understand? It is possible. You are the alien they created. <sighs> Go. I saw a log made by me, but from 2188. In it, I spoke about a project capable of creating humans on another planet. And according to BJ, this is that planet, and we are those creations. But the log alone doesn't leave me entirely convinced. A small... Kelly, there's something else about Sentinel number 17. There are logs from 2188 hidden inside it. If I can find this Sentinel, then I can find out once and for all if these aliens are real. Turns out, he wasn't an alien. He was actually a futuristic robot made by a Japanese company. The agents continue to lurk around the school. They gotta be searching for something. And I think I know. I'm almost sure of it. They still think BJ is an alien. stayed hidden this time. You mentioned something once. That we're the ones who are aliens. That this is a different planet. I find that hard to believe. robot are you anyway? I am an AI. Only integrated into a Sentinel. There was an incident. I had to transfer myself into this drone. So when Miura-kun called you a... a piece of Sentinel technology, he wasn't wrong then. The Sentinel you're searching for. There's more than one, isn't there? The video logs from 2188. Sentinel number 17's memory cell. It contains all of the logs. Now that I've seen one, I need to know the truth. So I'm gonna be tagging along. At least until I get a good answer. Got it? Yes, you know. Certainly no time to be training. Let's go find it, little guy. <gasps> Again, Natsuno? I... Uh, uh... Listen, I'd really appreciate it if... If I didn't tell Senpai? Huh? Ooh. Hey! Where do you think you're going? Skipping training again? Well, the thing is... There's something I really gotta do, so... You first years are such slackers. 
And now I gotta deal with our track room getting trashed. Ugh. Maybe a stray cat got in. No. Someone broke the lock in the middle of the night. I wonder... Were those men in black looking for BJ? Here you go with your nonsense again. there either. Sector 3 has been searched. No sentinel found. 2065. Number 8 was there. But we couldn't find number 17. Sector 1. We've searched there already, haven't we? Where could number 17 be? Let's go to Sector 1. You want to look there again? What year is it in Sector 1 anyways? 2105. Hmm? The 22nd century? Access code approved. Designating Sector. the lights on. Hey, BJ. You said this place is underground, right? How are things looking up on the surface? Highly contaminated with toxic levels of radiation. The environment is too inhospitable for us. Seriously? So we ended up nuking them? It was the government's last-ditch effort after the city was destroyed. And we still couldn't beat them? There were too many of them. This underground facility is the last place of refuge. Nowhere else is safe. <sighs> what have you been looking at this whole time? I'm searching for... memories. Like your own memories? After I ran a self-diagnosis on this drone, I discovered my memories were fragmented and inconsistent. 72% of them have been deleted. They've been tampered with twice, possibly more. By who? Unknown. Though in all likelihood, the memory of the Sentinel's location was deleted then. In this facility is this era's largest quantum computer. If anyone were to store memories here, they would be at least 300 meters below. What's wrong? Someone just shifted to the hangar. They're coming this way. <sighs> what do we do? Who are they? They erased every last trace from the system. We must hide, quickly. Wait for me! What do you think? Hard to say. I need more information. This decode is... problematic. It attaches to the part of the brain where memories are stored. It must be physically severed to be removed. The damage this procedure does to the brain... is lethal. That program... the one that severs the code... that's what's infecting the Sentinels. Right. Sentinels. 
I wasn't aware that control over the automated factories could be partially adjusted. You did well to discover that detail. It wasn't me. It was Juro Izumi from two loops ago. Two loops ago? Hmm? Have you forgotten? We've restarted twice since the world ended. I see. The shifting range isn't just limited to residential zones. Sector Zero makes that possible. In any case, we don't have much time. Where did you get all this information from? <sighs> from the computer and the underground UFO. <laughs> UFO, huh? Is that what you've been calling it these days? Well, can we go there? <sighs> yes, we can. You are the one who made it possible, after all. Have you really forgotten? In case you couldn't tell, I have a child's brain. The occasional memory lapse is to be expected. Now, let's go. Wasn't that Chihiro-chan? And Goto-senpai was with her. You saw that too, right, BJ? Oh, no, Man, if you didn't stop me, I totally would have jumped out at them. She was dressed like a kindergartner. That was Chihiro-chan, right? Miura-kun's little sister? She didn't seem like she was unhappy to be there. And there was something different about her. Goto-senpai was talking to her like she was a scientist. I saw Goto-senpai in the past. I guess he's able to time travel, too. Hey. VJ? I've located it. It was in the access log's history. My memories really were stored here after all. Really? Apparently. I predicted all of this. Somehow. We have a problem. What is it? I'm unable to locate the memory data. They're stored in the cache somewhere. But they appear to be hidden. Isn't this supposed to be some super strong computer? Can't you do a quick search of it or something? After a preliminary scan of the cache, 9.216 million data units were found. If I were to trace every unit, I'd need about 80 days. I must have left some kind of hint. Something to identify the data unit. Identify? What do you mean? Each unit is a three-dimensional construct. Their coordinates consist of two alphabetical letters, as well as two numerical values. Back when we first met, I just assumed BJ was your name. But maybe... BJ? That's the name you gave me. No, I didn't. You're the one who said it. I have no logs of this exchange. Wait, let me think. Yeah, it was something like... BJ-11-5... BJ-11-5. So, was that it? Yes, I've located it. Oh, right! And? And? Sentinel number 17. I know its location. So? Where is it? At an altitude of 500 kilometers. No way! So, it's up in the sky? Yes. In an artificial satellite orbiting the planet. Orbit? Like, in space? I cannot access it from here. Let's go. 
Where? To space? To the place Raya Delta mentioned. The UFO. <laughs> puncture on my cheek. Why does it glow when I touch it? It's scaring me. <sighs> maybe... Maybe aliens really did put something in me. I saw... Goto-senpai. He can also travel through time. So, who exactly is he? Huh? You're... A second-year student. Did you... need something from us? Working with the men in black? Her affiliation is unclear. However, her intentions. She wants the logs, doesn't she? Correct. For information on technology and the future. My bag's been open too. She must have looked in here. People are starting to suspect me. We gotta hurry and find that sentinel. It's only UFO, right? You said UFO, but... It was manufactured in Japan, wasn't it? It is the name of a control system. <sighs> right. So, where do we find it? The gate. That second year could be outside still. Don't worry. If I see her, I'll just sprint right on by. I don't see her. We're here. Activate gate. What's the matter? It is sealed off, just like Sector 5. So we can't go today? There is an opening in Sector 3. We may be able to go from there. Sector 3? It is in 2025. Forty years from now. Which means I'll be in my fifties. I'm having mixed feelings. Access code approved. Designating sector. We're 
here? Jeez, this place is falling apart. I guess 2025 got hit pretty hard, too. Uh, there's something on the ground. It's a student ID from my school. Ryoko Shinonome, class 2A. This picture, that's the girl I saw in the track room. How'd this get here? This place is in ruins. But it almost seems like someone's living here. Is the UFO close by? It's 1.7 kilometers away. Hey, don't leave me behind again! We're supposed to stick together! Stop right there. <gasps> Shinonome-senpai? Wait, did you time travel too? I've been waiting. I knew you'd be here. This is 426's hideout. You're working with him, aren't you? 42 who? The heck are you talking about? I've never been here before in my life! Don't play dumb. I'll deal with you later, Natsunomi Nami. And when I do, you will tell me where he is. But right now, my mission is to take that data unit back with me. Now hand it over. Ryoko Shinonome. You're being used. There's a reason they want you to find me. It's to prevent you all from seeing the logs. And uncovering the truth. I don't care about that. Even the logs about you. And Tetsuya Ida. You're not taking BJ! Natsuno, don't... Out of my way. <laughs> Natsuno! It's freezing. <gasps> Wait... Where... am I again? Uh, oh crap, that's right! PJ! PJ! He's not here. Maybe he's... Nope, never mind. For here either. Beep! Not over here either. What a mess. With the way things are, it's looking pretty grim for me. I can't go home. Footage he no point in trying to make sense out of his story. And still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout unit from the future? And it possesses my consciousness? Not to know. Back. A. Chihiro. 
She was acting like a completely different person. Design engineer? Controlling the system? What was she talking about? <sighs> Chihiro. What's happened to her? Chihiro... Morimura? She's the original Chihiro? Is there no going back to the way she used to be? <sighs> Chihiro... Even if I do... Natsuno-san... I'm not sure why... But I really want to hear her voice right now... Could she still be at school? What's hap- Accord- The lights in this era stay on at night. No need to carry a lantern around. No point in trying to make sense out of his story. It's still too early to say anything for sure. But a scout unit from the future? And it possesses... Natsuno-san's over there. he's lost somewhere by himself. If he's caught, we'll never see him again. All right. Let's split up and find him. Okay. He couldn't have gone too far. Maybe he's inside one of the school buildings. Okay. Then you search the buildings. I'll search the campus perimeter. Okay. I'm on it. Thanks. RC thing? It went back behind the North School building. Think it belongs to the radio club? It was all boxy and weird shaped. Didn't look like a helicopter to me. <sighs> so it can fly. Behind the North building. That's where the old school building is. sign of them. Sounds like rotor blades. Are you trying to draw attention to yourself? Natsuno sounds worried about you. Well, that's fortunate. I've been looking for you, too. Is what Sekigahara said true? Are you... me? That's correct. I am Hitaro Miyura. <sighs> Why 
Why do you look like this? When the world was destroyed, I died. <sighs> I had to take your place and fight a sentinel. In order to do this, I was resurrected as an AI. So you've been using a sentinel to fight off those monsters. That's what you're looking for, right? Correct. Then how did your AI end up in this scout unit? There was a malfunction in the Sentinel. So I uploaded a part of myself to this drone. However, 72% of me is still wrapped inside the Sentinel. Does Natsuno-san know? That you're me? We didn't get a chance to meet in the previous world. I'm very fond of Natsuno. It's best that he doesn't know. If you're really from the future, then you must know. What's going to happen? My experiences are all from past events. Past events? Time is relative. Even with future technology, time travel is impossible. We never travel through time. But you're Keitaro Miura from the future, right? I'm an entity that used to be Miura. Before you. I have been in the Sentinel. I can now access all logs. So the rest of the footage is available. Promise me. Uh huh. Before the final invasion begins, you'll research the logs and figure out a solution. Shihiro Morimura's plan, Operation Aegis. It will lead you all down a path of destruction. Shihiro's plan? Promise me. Why are you asking me this? Because... I'll be gone soon. Mori Murasan. Is all going as planned? All issues have been resolved on my end. Four sectors are ready for the final phase. The remaining one is at roughly 70%. Sectors. Their structures are similar to these colonies. So that's what I've been calling them. So we'll have five sectors then. I've chosen not to divide them based on orbital positions. Instead, I've separated them by historical eras. I've been meaning to ask, why don't we create a residential district of the present day? The decision was made to start over. From a time before the world took such a terrible turn. Before the nanomachine incidents? Perhaps humanity tasted the fruit of knowledge too early. When it was being decided how far we should go back, we couldn't come to an agreement. So we ultimately settled on preparing residential districts by era. I've always wanted to live in the 20th century before the war. So this works out perfectly. However... Some resources of the era are quite old. Accurately reproducing them might pose a difficulty. I don't think I can do it with confidence. That's fine. As long as our civilization survives, I'll be happy. Once it's completed, just one district will be the size of a city. It'll have a bustling population of 1.2 million people. We have more residential areas than we originally planned. Miss Karabe's hands are going to be awfully full. I'm sure everything will be finished on time. I have to get back to work. Understood. Let's go.
Yo. <sighs> Man, I'm back in my in my dream. Her soul was in an android body. That's got to be the craziest feeling. What would it even be like not having a body of your own? This dream's probably my motor's Yuki Inaba's been hijacking the airwaves. Also, she can talk to me through the TV. She knows me somehow. Not just that. She says I'm the only one she can depend on. <sighs> I'm still waiting for the punchline here. Man, she... I see Tomiki Saragi in there. Ah, come on. What am I getting self-conscious for? It was just a dream. It's got nothing to do with anything I actually feel. But if I bump into her, things could get awkward fast. <sighs> what I really need now is a cold drink. Just gotta grab a drink, sit down, and chill out for a sec. Hmm? I see Yuki-chan. Yuki-chan's in the cafeteria. I should get going. Whoa! Yuki-chan! Amiguchi! I was just thinking about you, and now, here you are. Destiny sure wants us to be together. What the hell are you talking about? So, Yuki-chan. Didn't I tell you not to call me that? You like Hey C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. Not Chan used to drink it, that's all. Gotta lay off the smokes anyway. So, I need something else to focus on. <clears throat> Look at that! We match! Like hell, idiot. A little uh... sweet, a little sour. My motorcycle's a Shikishima. You know, I came by bike today. Got it hidden away nearby. We could go somewhere right now. No. How about the beach? I know a place with a great view. I said no. What, you don't have any place you want to go? A place from back in the day? Somewhere with good memories? <sighs> Got a place on your mind? Or is there a reason you can't go back? Of course not. I just got to thinking. Reminded me of my grandma on my mom's side. Haven't seen her since my parents divorced. You don't say. <sighs> you set me up. Well, let's go. What? Let's go see your grandma. What are you, nuts? She's not even in the city. Her place is in Hamanashi, a whole prefecture over. Uh. That's what I thought, dumbass. It's too far. No, let's do this. I want to go too. That's just about a hundred kilometers one way. Huh? Come on. Hey! This is the perfect chance to check something. After what I heard from the TV last night, I've got to find out. Shukun, let me tell you where you are. 
What do you mean? This is my house. That's not what I meant. Think bigger. I'm talking about everything you know. Hmm? Everything in this city. Everything you've lived. It's an isolated enclosure. Just 30 kilometers in diameter. An enclosure? Hmm. But we still get news from all over the world. You're telling me we're closed off? <laughs> no, that's too much. I don't buy it. That's a reasonable reaction. So... I think you should go take a look yourself. I'm going to unlock a part of the Suwabuki Bypass. You should now be able to see the truth. <sighs> go to the edge of the world. To the outer walls of the city itself. <sighs> Whoa! What the hell? How'd I agree to this shit? Huh? You say something? You ever think anything through on the Gucci? Hey, I can get us back within two hours. Home before sundown, easy. Don't worry about it. How about you tell me a little bit about your grandma? She's out in the boondocks. Nothing but rice patties. Yeah? Used to go to her place every summer. Walking between the fields in the mornings to do radio gymnastics with everyone. No kidding! I did the same thing in the countryside when I was a kid. In the afternoons, Grandma would give us some watermelon. We'd swim in the river and catch fish with our bare hands. Then we'd go catch cicadas off the old Zelkova tree, up on the hill behind the house. That's weird. What? My grandpa had a Zelkova on the hill behind his house, too. And we'd go catch cicadas off it. Oh, yeah? And the river, the watermelon. It sounds exactly like what I remember. Not that weird. Doesn't everyone remember the same stuff from vacations in the country? No, but that's exactly what is weird here. kilometers from the middle of the city. This tunnel should end around the prefecture line, so... like a construction site. It just goes on forever, above and below. I can't even see the end. The outer walls. But what the hell is it? How do we get through? I don't know if there is a way through. What if... All our memories from outside town are fake. What if everyone's been convinced that an outside even exists? No way. I can't believe it either. How could I? It mean this 30 kilometer enclosure, this isolated city, is the only world we've ever known. about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. 
Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Back in the... In the... This... My... She was right. We found that weird barrier on the edge of town. Maybe I should listen to her more carefully. I just wanted a nice first date with Yuki-chan. So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. <sighs> Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Something tells me that's not really gonna work here. Wonder if Yuki-chan's here. Aha! Yuki-chan! Quit following me. Let's go to that tunnel again. We gotta get it on video. Send it to TV stations. Blow the lid off this story. If that was real, we gotta tell everyone. Slow down. I got bigger fish to fry right now. Hold on. What bigger fish? Because what we found was a huge fish, man. What's bigger than that? <sighs> I got detention. Detention? I kind of bombed the quiz. I mean, so bad that they're saying my test scores and my transfer paperwork don't make sense. Usually I just ditch, but I just got into the same school as Nachan. I don't want to get kicked out over this dumb crap. I see Tomiki Saragi in there. <sighs> Could use a sugar boost. Yeah, a little pick-me-up should do it. Sold out. Oh, hey, last one. Ah. Man, I needed that. Okay, let's think about this. Yeah, I only really see this going one way. I tell someone, and they dump me in a psych ward. So, what can I do? Ami Guchikun. Oh. Hey, Kurabe kun. Could we hang out again today? You got it. Let's see. Why don't we go to your place this time? Don't you have the place to yourself right now? I want to check it out. It's true my grandma's away visiting relatives, but well, right now I have a guest staying over. Things are a little awkward, so, uh, sorry. It's just... Done already? Huh? Sorry. Looks like all we've got is soda. Thanks, Amiguchi-kun. It's getting dark. We should probably go get dinner soon. You're coming, right? My treat. You already paid for my ramen last time. I feel kind of bad. Then what? 
You want to call it a day? I can still tag along. I'll just pay for my own food. Oh. You watched the video I lent you? Hey, you recommended it. How could I not? Did you already finish it? What did you think? Kind of a campy plot. You've got this mad scientist who loses his real body, so he builds a new body and sets out, bent on revenge. It was interesting, but definitely not for casuals. <laughs> for a B-movie? That just proves it's a masterpiece. stuff? He's one of the only people who might believe me. But how do I even bring it up? Don't want to get this wrong. I know if I don't make myself absolutely clear, I'll just come off as a crazy fanboy. Actually, maybe I better keep my mouth shut. Oh. What's up? Just learning something about you. I figured you were only really into Western music. Never thought you'd be into the idol scene. Miyuki and not Oh, that. I mean, you know how it is. I just got curious. I'm getting hungry. Did you want... Well... <sighs> well, anyhow. Want to get food? Swing by the video. Oh, speaking of. Before I forget again, here you go. This one I brought with me. It's basically the sequel to that other sci fi one. This story was meant for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. For you and me. Memory transfer complete. Now, open your eyes, Juro. Or, maybe the name 426 would be more appropriate. Do you recognize me? Tetsuya Ida. Or at least... An older version of him. I see him has gone a long time. You always seem to notice that whenever I wake you up. It's been three years since you died. Next year, we enter the 22nd century. And how do I look now? Oh, this is horrific. No arms or legs. Not even a face. You'll find the pain receptors are all still there, at least. So I'd really recommend you cooperate. You are now an android. Your consciousness is stored on an electronic brain. So you pulled my data from Sector Zero. Brought me back as a ghost. I brought you back because we need to talk. You clearly did the most work on that underground supercomputer. So we're going to have a little chat about your research. Let's talk about your final project. You were testing an unorthodox function for the inner Lossiter, downloading memories into a human brain. I'm picking up where you left off, so I'll need more details. Records say the memory transplant was a success. But all the raw data from the experiment was deleted. Why did you delete it? Did you hit some snag with the method? Okay, maybe you're still a little groggy. Let's wake you up. Okay. Why 
Does that information matter to you? Planning to take over someone's body? You killed Kisaragi. And I will make you pay. I'm bringing her back. As a human. <sighs> this is incredible. How many times have you revived me here? Not the first, not even the second. Damn it. Only you would find the one gap in my system security. You've been bringing me back and killing me for a long time. You even taught me to tell you how to interrupt the D-Force's production. Must have been painful if you got that out of me. Handling the Dymos code is dangerous, you know. How far back did you look? I really need to keep an eye on you. So that's your process. Copy me into this husk of tin. Then erase me once you have what you need. You're a dangerous man. Better get rid of you early this time. Can't afford the risk. Itakun. What's wrong? I found out from Morimura-san. You're trying to transplant my mind. Aren't you? You want to replace the Tomi Kisaragi of this world with me. Do you realize how horrifying that is? How could you? Wait, look. It'll mean you can be human again. It means you're going to sacrifice a living human girl. But she's you. It'll be your heart and mind going into your own body. What's wrong with that? <sighs> You know she's dead. The girl you're talking to. She's just a machine wearing Tomi Kisaragi's face. But your heart is real. You're still you. Don't you get it yet? The girl you knew will never come back. Even if... Even if you steal her body and transfer my mind... Please. Please, I... Without you, I'm... You know I love you. But... I can't support you. I can't support this. Uh, that explains why you woke me up. It sounds like things aren't going according to plan. Who's that? Uh, well... I can tell you your biggest failure right now. She's standing right there. You should never have revived her as an android in the first place. All you had to do was transfer her mind into a flesh body. You could have gotten everything you want. Nobody the wiser. Shut up! Juro Izumi. You're Juro Izumi. Prisoner 426, aren't you? Why did you wake him up? Same reason he brought you back. With all his means to an end. Tools to be used and thrown away. Why him? Just had some technical things I wanted to check. Don't worry. I'll erase him as soon as I'm done. I had a couple more questions. But we'll get to them another time. I noticed you kept Kisaragi's memory from before transplanting her into the android. Hmm? Paranoia getting me in. You didn't need to keep so many backups. Strange move for a man who sees humans as replaceable hardware. Or maybe you had the same contingency plan for her. You could erase her and start over as much as you wanted. heard enough. No need to get emotional. After all, me and your Kisaragi here, we're just data. All you have to do is reset us, and we spring to life. Just like you did to me. <sighs> I'm erasing him now. Just keep your eyes on the console for me.
That should do it. You know he was just trying to mess with our heads. <sighs> Are you mad at me? Data transmission had been remapped to the delete button. Guess he was too worked up to notice. Never thought I'd find an escape route planned out for me. And by one of my past selves, no less. So, how are you doing? <sighs> what happened? Hey, Kisaragi. How's the view from the other side of that shell? A shame it might end up getting you deleted. And by the man you love, too. Oh, very classical tragedy. Easy, me, son. Sorry. But I need this body more than you do. Sleep watching a video. Looks like Karabe kun went home. And the tape must have hit the end. It's automatically rewound. Ah. Uh, that dream just now. Feels like it started off the end of the last one. surprised anymore. Are you still the same Shu Amiguchi? Yeah, I saw it. But what are you talking about? What you saw wasn't a video. Everything you saw was real. All events of the distant past. Okay, hold on. I borrowed that video from Karabe-kun. So let's assume you're telling the truth. What's Karabe-kun's part in it? Does he want me to see this stuff too? He's... He's the same as you. Watching the past unfold. Even if he has no idea. He doesn't know that it's why he keeps coming over. Or even that he's communicating with me. Wait, you talk to him? When? We were just hanging out, playing games, watching movies. That's how it appears to you, yes. I keep seeing that guy in my dreams. It's his past you're seeing. He resembles you greatly. His name is Tetsuya Ida. Okay, so now you've shown me all this crazy vision stuff. Now what? I have to find out what he's thinking. What he intends to do. If he's thinking of resetting the plan, then he has to be stopped. There's a plan? Okay, so what's this plan? <sighs> Come on, what have you got cooking? This isn't gonna be some big evil scheme, right? It's not. It's called... Project Ark. The plan is meant to save humanity. As a species, you will all be moved to another planet. And whether you know it or not, this plan revolves around all of you. Whoa.
Karabe-kun, probably Fuyusaka too. The dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? <sighs> and how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki Inaba talking through my TV. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? If I just tell the truth, they'll throw me in a loony bin. Miyuki and back in... Well, it's not just our names. He and I are totally different people. In my... The way Miyuki and Abba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. They already happened. It's all in the past. The way she describes it, these aren't just dreams and videos Karabe-kun and I see. They're actual events that happened in the past. The past of Tetsuya Ida. I just wanted enough. Yuki-chan? Nope, not here. Well, she is occupied. Detention is a cruel mistress. Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super awkward. Kurabe-kun. Amikuchi-kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. <sighs> huh? Oh, nothing. See ya. Karabe-kun. Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out, too? Hmm. <sighs> Maybe I need some fresh air. Everything out in the open. I guess I could record Miyuki and Abba talking to me. Send that tape out to TV stations. What's got you so spaced out? Uh, Amiguchi. Just got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Yeah. You could say that. Hey, uh, remember when I skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh, I actually spent those days stranded in another time. Stuck in the future. Huh. Well, me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. So, what's going on with you? Huh? Oh. You know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. Yeah, that's about what I figured. Mm -hmm. Oh, I totally forgot. What's up? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. This shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. Again? 
Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh, wow. Is that what this is about? I'm sorry. Really, I... I I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Launch point looks to be Yai Machi. Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Notify all ministries and agencies, and the US military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. And call in Ryoko Shinonomi. Still ascending. What's it trying to do? That Sentinel. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? John, I knew it. It's like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. Good timing, too. Kinda hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing yours? Sentinel number 20, transmitting. It's gone. I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I'd never have expected you. Shu Amiguchi. Four eyes. We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us, and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to. Especially from guys like you. 
Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan? You know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. <laughs> no way! Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... Oh. I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. If Aseki Gahara isn't 426, then who's the one that messed with the Sentinels? The co- The Aseki Gahara. Aekun is a year younger than me, and a childhood friend. How could I think he was the culprit? Rano. Number fourteen. Answer the question. Are you all right? Stop following me. That's not happening.
empty. I guess they're done selling. <laughs> that girl. Shino Nome. What are you doing? What? Those black suits, they're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU, too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. Four Eyes has something on you. That's why you've been forced into being a spy for him? Four Eyes? Tatsuya Ida from the Special Investigations Unit. Mr. Ida, but why would he... You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here? In the science room? Can you remind me? Sakura High, Sector 4. The first one you set up. The gate in the science room. Amiguchi's not here. Shit, we left him. Tell me the truth, Mr. Ida. Am I just being used? Because if that's what you want, then I don't care. <sighs> but... You having feelings for another girl? I can't accept that. Mr. Ida, you were just going to throw us aside, like nothing. Also, you could have a do-over with her. Shinonome-kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. <sighs> You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. Stun mode deactivate. <sighs> Wait, Shinonome-kun! Goodbye, Mr. Ida. choice but to call in the black suits. Is Mr. Ida... is he okay? How would I know? I haven't had any contact with him since. No. I couldn't have. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. Might even be dead. understand. Why'd you do it? I... I saw a recording. A recording of what? No. Stop. I don't want to remember. No more. I don't want to. Time. I need to hurry. I need to find as much as I can today. Where did I leave off? Accessing Mr. Ida's research. Okay, log 3214. And the next one is... <sighs> research on AI? The data's gone. Strange. The log just ends here? The 
most recent log is from three years ago. Anything more recent than that has been deleted. Weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. The surveillance footage from when I came here last. Found it. Hmm. Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. So they're the ones that opened the passageway. Okay. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage, I'll find out who deleted the logs. Anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. I'm sorry. You made that body just for me. No, I'm the one who let my guard down. I'll make you another right away. You should make bodies for the others instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware. You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the compatible. By putting our bodyless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be. The UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a Sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. You can look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi, everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No. Absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Iyakun. Tommy. Please. Put me into a sentinel. I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, none of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. What if we just start over from the beginning? From that day. Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way.
हाँ Waiting to use me. <sighs> Whatever Goto and them are trying to do, it's beyond me. Ryoko Shinonome. Seems like she's completely forgotten. But she's the one who told me to hide that box in the first place. Ninji of. Right? Nachan was hiding a box in the locker room. Come to think of it. That projector I hid looks a lot like a box, too. Could it be the same one? Nachan, I saw something that looked like a weapon in the Shikishima facility. But what Goto and Shinonome said doesn't make sense. Maybe they let me go so they could track me. To get to the organization behind the scenes. Some flirty... I need to take a closer look, but I can't let Aiba know about the SIU. I'll have to go alone. There you are! I've been looking for you. <sighs> Nenji Ogoth... Nenji... You're in the same class as Ogata, aren't you? Yes, but I doubt he remembers me. I don't leave much of an impression. <sighs> Are you upset with me? Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Sorry. I just remembered I had something to do. We're done investigating for the day. Aww. Smells like mold in here. I saw something. It's in here. There it is. Somehow able to project things. <sighs> How did Ryoko Shinonome make this thing work? I guess you could call this a box. So, this is what Nachan was hiding? If only I could show this to that track girl. <sighs> Yuki Takamiya. Uh huh. Good work, Takamiya. You managed to recover it from him. There's valuable confidential information in there. Confidential? Yes, in that data unit. You had orders to look for it too? Uh, actually... Anyway, good job. What guy were you talking about? You haven't heard. I came in here because I thought I saw him. Eiseki Gahara. He's a vicious criminal that will stop at nothing to get his hands on this information. I don't think I'm that bad. <sighs> oh, it's you. guy I didn't kill him he's just unconscious hey hands off get away from my box right do you even know what this is 
This guy was saying it's confidential, so... Activate AI. <laughs> Miura. Do you know who I am? Shikigahara. You got your memory back. Where am I? Sector 4. The old building at Sakura High School. Then we have a problem. Natsuno got left behind. Did you say Natsuno? Are you talking about Natsuno Minami? Does that mean you know? You know where Nachan is? Who are you? I'm Yuki Takamiya. But that doesn't matter. Just tell me where she is. I do mean Natsuno Minami. According to my last memory, she is currently marooned in Sector 3. Sector 3? You'll understand once we get there. Let's go, Miura. I know a shortcut. Are you coming with us? You bet your ass I am. Saka Shrine. I knew this place was important. Nachan came here too. You don't mean. Are you saying this is Sector 3? What's it doing? Activate gate. The hell? Don't move. Executing shift. Nachan. Where else could she have gone? I can't believe the stuff about time travel was real, too. How long has Nachan been stranded here for? Canned food isn't hard to find if you look for it. As long as she didn't do anything reckless, she should still be alive. So, what happened to this place? It was attacked by the Daimos. The Daimos? The swarm of machines that look like monsters. No one is left in the wake of their attacks. And their next target is your town. <sighs> what? The only chance we have of surviving is to fight back with the Sentinels. Sentinels. We need you for this too, Takamiya. You're saying I have to get in one of those things? So you've seen one? In Shikishima's facility. They were calling it number 14. That's Ryoko-san's sentinel. <laughs> He's back. Right on time. So, what'd you find? I scanned for heat sources from the air. I detected no signs within a five kilometer range. We may have to prepare for the worst case scenario. Shut your damn mouth! If she is still alive, she's either deep inside a building, or she's moved farther away. I will widen my scan range. Not John. All right. We couldn't find Not John. What if she's alone? Shivering, scared in that ruined city. I won't give up on her. 
city in ruins. And this one's next. Is that what this place is gonna look like? I can't even imagine. That guy I met inside the old school building. He's on the run from those black suits. Named Sekigahara. He'll be hiding out in one of the old classrooms for a while. Him and Miura. If I want to rescue Nachan, I'm gonna need their help. So the box I thought was a projector was actually a talking machine named Miura. And the stuff Nachan wrote in her notebook, she must have been talking about that. So it wasn't just made up. I'm sorry for doubting you, Nachan. We finally found out where Nachan is. She's been left in the ruined future city. I may not be able to get to her yet, but I will save her. I saw streets. Some. There you are. I've been looking for you. Feels nice. Right before the incident in the girls. Questions? I already told you everything I know. You want something? Nothing for me. Thank you. Yuki-chan! Amiguchi! I'm telling you. Destiny sure wa- <sighs> This again? How's that hay, C? I heard vitamin C helps keep you healthy. I'm not drinking it for my health, dumbass. What the hell do you want, anyways? How about a date? No thanks. I mean, really. How many times is it gonna take for it to stick in that floppy-haired head of yours? How about... until you go on a date with me? I got my bike with me today, so I was thinking. Ooh, a bike? Sounds wonderful. Uh, who's this? Apparently, she's Watson. Huh? Are you from another country? <laughs> Yuki-chan, where are you going? Sorry, pretty boy, but I got more important things to do today. We are actually quite busy. Okay. Well, I guess I won't keep you. You're awfully docile today. Just don't want you to hate me. For being too aggressive, you know. Hmm. Huh. Yuki-chan, next time's a date for sure. Ugh. Well then. Shall we? Yeah. Are we looking for clues in the cafeteria? Nah. Oh, talk 
Kamiya-san. I see you're still wearing the uniform from your last school. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, if you need help with anything, come and see me anytime, all right? Tamao-san. I haven't heard from you in some time. Where have you been? You need to check back in with me, understood? Morimura gave this note to me. <sighs> Shit. She wants me to do something. And the first step is talking to Aiba. There's something I want to check on the way home. Come with me? Certainly. has been sick, confined to her hospital bed. And I overheard you talking to the school nurse, Morimura. She called you Tamao. Is Tamao your real name? Uh, well, I guess the jig's up. You're right. My name is Tamao Karabe. I harbored no malicious intent. Plus, a twist like this in the third act? It makes for a better detective story, don't you think? You remember the incident in the girls' bathroom? Yes, but why bring that up now? There were two Tomi Kisaragi's witnessed that day. And I recently found the second one. Who's there? Ah, oh, Sekigahara. Hey! Oh! Oh, what are you doing? Is that... Tomi Kisaragi? It's a machine made to look like her. An android. <gasps> Can't get it to work anymore. Data's been corrupted too. But before it was destroyed, the inside seems to have been replaced. Meaning he got away looking like someone else. Who's he? Juro Izumi. He's a mass murderer. He may be without a body, but I know he's plotting something. found this shoved into a broom cupboard. He must have hidden it himself. This place is behind the North School building. The girls' bathroom. The other Tomi Kisaragi. This is the culprit. A robot? Weird, right? And it's been bugging me all this time. Who this guy could have jumped into next? Know what I mean? You heard about these nano machines? I just learned about them myself, actually. Had to sneak into the Shikishima facility to do it, but... They said someone close to me altered me somehow. Several times, in fact. What's the matter? cat got your tongue? Because the only person who always seems to be around me is you. You're not Erika Aiba. You're not even Tamao Karabe. You are a fugitive. One that used a robot who looked like Kisaragi to escape. 
You are housing the consciousness of a mass murderer. A man by the name of Juro Izumi. <gasps> you think I'm a man? Are you okay? Well, this is annoying. <laughs> I could swear I made sure to erase your memories. Finally dropping the act, huh? I suppose this time... I'll have to erase quite a bit more. Like hell you will. Look behind you. So this was a trap. Morimura's idea, actually. It's been a while, hasn't it? I never thought I'd see you dressing up as a schoolgirl. You're insane, Juro. At least I'm more sane than you. Trying to save your own ass by derailing the Interstellar Project. I'm doing this for you and me. We can make it out alive. Not the you as you are now. But the one before you awakened here. For the small sacrifice of 15 other lives. It's not a sacrifice. They'll be able to lead happier lives this way. Even if it means they're denied their future without ever knowing why? I have shot you here on Sumire Bridge once before. I have no hesitation as I do so again. <laughs> oh shit, Aiba! Stay back. It's not dead yet. <sighs> you really are a robot. Just what the hell were you doing to me? Getting you ready. Ready for the game that will soon begin. Things are about to get underway. I don't have time to deal with nuisances like you. He jumped. Jumping from this height in the state he was in. Not even a body made of metal could survive unscathed. He shouldn't be able to move very well. We need to surround the perimeter. Yes, ma'am. You need to go straight home. We'll look around where he fell. Understood. Aiba... Nachan. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. A city in building. Erika Aiba is a robot? Or more accurately, a criminal by the name of Juro Izumi, who has no physical body of his own. He wanted to do something to me. Something that involved shooting me up with nanomachines. The Kisaragi involved in the bathroom incident. It was really just a robot built to look like her. Then that robot got damaged and was disposed of in the old school building. And now the robot's brain is in Aiba's body. So the... How many days has it been since Nachan went missing? I was told she'd be able to find food, but... I'm worried about her. I should hurry and get to the old building. 
Sekigahara is there. I saw something that looked like a weapon in the she. Some. Anyone there? Are you in here? Where is he? He said he was gonna be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Or maybe he got caught. We are here. Sekigahara, what happened? The nano machine separation inside the brain is progressing. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. <sighs> Um, hey. I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsunomi Nami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? Miura? It is only speculation. But there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great! Let's go get her! Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. Come over here. What is it? What is this thing? Take it with you. I don't know how to use it. You'll need it to save Minami. <sighs> I need to ask you a favor in return. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that message. Will you be okay by yourself? Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. So, where is Nachon? Southeast, 3.2 kilometers. There is an unusual concentration of androids. Great. More of those creepy ass robots. They must have found something. Something? You mean Nachon? I know. I won't fail. I'm ready. Lead the way. One step outside, they'll attack. Ever since I got here, they just keep on coming. I ate my last can of food yesterday. And now the soda I was taking sips from is empty, too. Oh, what should I do? 
Am I going to die here without anyone knowing? Space to do it. Oh, Yuki chan! The Chi Molar's magnetic shield is still active. BJ! This is why the androids could not approach. You came back for me! Of course. Snow talk must come later. There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you with everything I have. <laughs> This should be a good spot, right? The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the Sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. To change the registered pilot of Sentinel number 17. To you, Matsuno. Wait, right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. And this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, that's not good. Then, what do we do? We'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. Now to know. From now on, Sentinel number 17 will be... Right, right, no problem. I'll be the one who pilots the robot. And I'll fight together with my pal, BJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Natsuno. If anything, I should be the one fighting. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together and survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently. Natsuno. It's time to activate. Okay.
How do I do that? It... It disappeared. Does that mean it worked, BJ? BJ? You okay, buddy? Say something. He's no longer with us. What? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data. But the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. So in order to make room for the logs, he... deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong! He's just fooling around. Come on. Wake up, BJ. BJ?